Poof. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. Nice to see everybody. I'm, I'm assuming you can hear me. I kind of always have to assume that now. <laughs> Thank you. Shit just changes on its own. Everyone's talking about food. I ate good food too. Mm, thanks, Puno F Chaos. Look at this dumbass, dude. This shit just fucking started. Did you <laughs> get you. ruthless early access at avoiding the puddle? Did you not see the title of the stream? Don't you think I would be playing it if I did? Uh, anyway, a nice shitty question, bitch. No. But even if I don't, when it starts... It starts at the same time as the league. <laughs> so you. I'll just play Ruthless while all you guys play regular. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then I'll play the real league when it starts on console, which is like five days <laughs> later. You. Uh, it'll be cool. Mm, what do you guys got going on? Good food? Me too. I had a really dope day. <laughs> yeah, lots of fun. You. I had a lot of fun today. It was pretty cool. I'm pretty pooped, but I felt like company. Yeah. Excuse me. Ads, what the fuck? Shut up, bitch. Stupid little ad complaining green name cocksucker. You know what's the worst thing about these stupid bitches that say shit like ads, what the fuck, like I did that shit? I'm pissed and I'm yelling and this motherfucker can't even hear me. He's watching an ad. Stupid little bitch. He can't even hear me yelling at him. Fuck. It's the worst part. Stupid asshole. Uh, anyway, mm, how's it going? I had good turkey and potatoes au gratin. It was hella good. And, uh, antipasto salad. And it was good. I enjoyed it. Oh, and for dessert, my mom made pumpkin cheesecake ice cream cake. It was good. <laughs> really good. That was probably the best part. I would say. I didn't know it was the best part until it happened, though, because the rest was the best part, but that shit was good. From scratch. It was good. Uh, thanks, Aduro Churo and Tombs. Um, and thanks, Electricity and Kevin Malone Chili. Thanks, Demodon, Kubelios, Puno, uh, Helioso. Crow and Parka Forever, Data Dog, Fango. Thanks, bros. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks, Mike Grimm. Thanks. You guys eat good food too? I could fire up my PlayStation. Hold on. Mm. It's so hard to read this. It is tiny. Oh, yeah. Let me get one of those. Sweet. Midnight nut. Uh, pumpkin and pecan pie with vanilla ice cream. That sounds pretty great. <laughs> you can't Thank see you. yet. Hold on, I'll, I'll fix it. Mm, come on. Why can't you see? Oh, wait. <laughs> Thank Hold you. on. Can you see yet? You can't see shit. Why not? Hello? Oh! Nice! That shit took forever! So stupid. Computers suck. Uh, anyway, where were we? Do you guys want to watch this? I mean, I'm down. City, where we're down. Searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Hey, thanks, it's Big Pulp a Pump. And Key 4. Watch for Rebecca. Bizarre murder cases Pervert. have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of cool. families being attacked by a group of about... Yeah, it's my first time playthrough. Victims were apparently eaten. Man, my the first time playthrough. <laughs> I remember that. I'll never forget that one. Uh, I made my mom take me back to Blockbuster. 
I rented this shit. And I, when we got home, I remember the best thing about that experience I remember is like how quickly I pushed that eject button. Thank you. I remember that sensation. The dogs jumped out of the window in that first hallway and I just fucking immediately, I remember my finger. Push that button, that shit popped open, put it back in the case. Mom, <laughs> we gotta go back to Blockbuster. Fuck this game. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trading this shit back in. Fuck this. This game sucks. It was so scary, I couldn't believe it. Fuck this. <laughs> I remember that. She took me too. I don't remember what I got instead though. At the time when I was younger, I had this friend named Akira, and he had a brother named Isao. And his brother Isao was like always playing the latest PlayStation games in Japanese. They were Japanese. And so he would play these games. He also, I remember watching Isao play Metal Gear Solid 1 in Japanese. And think he wouldn't let us play. We had to like stand in the doorway and shit. <laughs> we weren't allowed to go in his room. We we just could stand like at the door and watch him play. So me and Akira would stand there at the door and watch Esau play Metal Gear and think like, man, that's gonna be sweet when we get to play. It was, it was pretty cool. Because uh, Akira had an American PlayStation. Isao had a Japanese PlayStation. And I had an American PlayStation. That was not quite at the point where people were bootlegging. That was closer, like that was earlier than that. Whoa. Oh. Weird, I thought I noticed something different. Easter egg. Those pants. Very Burton. It says their weight too? I never noticed that. You can barely see it. What's her weight? 142.1 kg? How much is that in corn dogs? Convert that shit to US. Resident Evil. 42? Or 142? <laughs> Thank you. Pounds Lamau. Whatever, man. Fuck you, dude. Weird ass. What do you guys use? Fucking Lira or Rupee happened. or some weird ass shit? Bitch. Barry. Uh, Where's Barry? I never played the Saturn oh, RE1. Sorry. Stones? <laughs> bread? <laughs> <laughs> we use pieces of bread where I live. What is that? <laughs> I'll go and check. <laughs> okay, Fuck Jill you. and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Anyway, stay in the hall in case <laughs> of an emergency. You. Chris? Take care. Damn. Jill. Uh, thanks, BKP. <laughs> Thank you. And Mr. Somar. Uh, thanks, Lil Eris, Flushing RE1. And Asramza. And Melvin. Clam hat and AE Wolf and Cool Whip. I mean, what are you doing? And fraud. Don't tell me how to drive. <laughs> Thanks, thanks. ZMO and Skoden and <laughs> thank Chun. You. And mm, thanks, Darla Dale. Big smile. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks, Maverick Gate and Scene Drive. Thanks again, Darla Dale. It's on. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty great, man. I had such a sick day. It was really like. One for the record books. My, I went, first of all, I got to drive my car, which was so fun and like fast, you know? So that was awesome. I picked up my grandma's sister. She's like a hundred years old and uh, it was awesome. I pretty much spent the day talking to her and it was so cool. She just has really fascinating shit to say <laughs> and it's tight. Mmm... And uh, I went to my mom's house. The rest of my relatives were there. Not all of them, but, you know, a few. And, um... <laughs> Thank you. You know. Any hot takes? <laughs> she had some pretty wise shit to say. I don't even think she realized 
she doesn't realize how heavy and meaningful the shit she says is. She's just talking shit, you know? But that shit is mad deep. It made me think, like, man, I hope I live that long. That would be so sick. The ultimate success. Now, nah, neither of them are bigoty, which is really cool. Ah, uh, a little bit, but not, not as much as... Honestly, sometimes I feel like that generation, the two, like my grandparents, that generation are way less bigoty than like my just above parents and uh, that uncles and that generation. They feel, they seem like they're way more like, well, dude, come on, man. Are you streaming this? You know, then my grandma and that, that the oldest generation of my family, they seem a lot more, you know, I think they're just too old to be bigots. They don't give a fuck about anything. Everyone's cool. I think, I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Am I supposed to fight Thank that you. dude? No, you go back to the main hall. Too old to care. Sabim, what are you doing, my friend? Yeah. Up. Don't tell me I'm Wesker, driving. rolling Chill. for Beavis. Thanks, Papa John's generation and Moldy Guava and Shido Gaming. Thanks, guys. What happened? Man, driving Chill was so Wesker? fun. And all the food was good and it was cool. Like, talking to my cousin was there. Yeah. That's my, excuse me, my aunt's daughter. She was there. She's like 19 or 20 or something. Like a genius, you know. And like, uh, pretty cool. Nice catching up with her. Mm. Is she hot? I mean, she's like, uh, yeah, I think you would think so. Definitely. She's 20, though. But you're like 15. So maybe when you get a little older, fucking punk kid. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Is her mom single? My aunt? No. Uh, her husband was there too. He's cool. Fred. His name's Fred. He's cool. They're all cool. Did I get the gun? Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice catching up with them. And hearing about, like, you know, she's only 20. But she's my, like, I was really old. My mom, basically, my mom had me, and there was no one else there. Like, until I was, like, 16 years old, I was the only kid. Her brother, her sister, no one else had kids. So I was, like, the only one, and I had no siblings. So everyone tested out all their fucking parenting strats on me and <laughs> like you. just so happens that every one of the like kids that came after me are geniuses like what the fuck dude they're all doctors and shit my <laughs> uncle's kids are like surgeons and doctors and you know fucking college geniuses and shit like, what the fuck dude and they all tested all that shit on me. They were in the lab the whole time. They even admit it. That we were laughing about that shit today. They all know it. Everyone knows it. They tested out all their fucking setups and shit on me. And then they did the real tournament shit on their own kids. I mean, it worked out. I think they did a pretty good job. Thank you. But pretty funny, though. Do any of them watch you regularly? I don't think so. They always like ask how things are going and shit, but I don't think they watch. I mean, I am I don't I doubt it. Um, but I don't know. I don't really think about it. The way I do things is I learned a long time ago, many, many years ago that you have to assume that everyone is watching you. Like, your mom, your dog, everyone. Gary Oldman, 
You have to assume that because it's actually true. At any moment, but anyone could be watching you. News. So that's just how you have to consider it. Like at any moment, any person could be watching because it's the way it is. People come and go all day long. Like who knows who these people are, man? Random ass Shaquille O'Neal or, you know, everyone. Mm, thanks, Doctor of Streaming and Citizen Phoenix. Thanks, Fat Bong Rips with Grandma and Lorenzo Lucci. Thanks, True TV and Jazz Minds and Godzilla the Hun, Yuki Hira and the whole gang. Thanks, bros. What do I have now? Nothing, right? So from this point, we go across the street, I think. This game is tippity top, man. One of the best. What is this shit, dude? Are you kidding? You must not want to be allowed to be in here. 141 messages, previously subbed for 12 months, permanently banned. Very impressive. Uh, anyway, happy Thanksgiving, shithead. I'm thankful for being able to get rid of unwanted fans. In this case, you. He's gonna be apologizing <laughs> like crazy. They always do. I'm so sorry. You know what it is? If you apologize and I look at your crime and I think, you know what? He apologized. And then I scroll up to look at the rest of the shit that you say. And I don't like you, I'll <laughs> still you. accept your apology. Hey, apology accepted, but you are not getting unbanned. This is not about what you did to get banned. What you did to get banned only revealed who you are. And when I evaluated that, I made my decision. We're full. Okay, that's the way it goes. It's not about, oh, do, is that really, do I deserve a ban, some shit like that? I don't think I deserve a perma ban. They shit, say shit like that. Are you fucking serious, dude? Deserve? You got a lot to learn about life, man. This shit is not fair. People are going to dislike you for no reason. And you have to learn to come to terms with that. You're going to have to. It's the way it is. You yourself know that you don't like some people. They rub you the wrong way. And you that happens to you too. So you just gotta understand that some people are gonna feel that way about you. And it's nothing to get butt hurt over. You guys are over here saying, come on, bruh. You don't have to say, come on, bruh. It's totally normal. It has nothing to do with, uh, you guys make everything fucking racial or sexual. That's all you do. But it has nothing to do with that. It's just normal. Two fucking honkies could meet each other and one of them could not like the other one. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. <laughs> Such a funny word. That's a funny one to be called. When someone calls me a honky, I think that's a funny one. But not the weirdest one. <laughs> Sometimes people call you some shit that's like, whoa. <laughs> it's a funny, uh, funny word. Whoa, what is it? Out of avoiding the puddle, <laughs> says you. Oh, thank you yeah, no shit, bitch. Are you trying to get fucking Sorry. killed saying shit like that? Oh, Who else yeah. said it? <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Stupid moron. Nice tag. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined <coughs> the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Have you played the DS version of RE1? Um, I don't think so. Nintendo DS? I never had one. Here from the Bravo team? <laughs> Thankfully. Well, Thank you. Because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. Damn badgy pizza. But it's strange. 
I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. She serviced that shit. Short Thanks, short Venomware and Revelations by John Nelson? What the fuck does that mean? Are you trying to sell your own fucking hip-hop album or some shit? Like one of those bums passing out CDs in the parking lot? Uh, what is this shit, dude? Diary entry? Been watching your old Warzone video. Listen, man, shut the fuck up, dude. What is this? Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, bitch. Fucking. What is this, dude? What do you want? I've been watching your old Warzone videos. What do you want, dude? Can we cut to the chase? They do that shit when they knock on your door, too. They knock on your door and they start talking about all this shit, dude. Like, hey, what do you want, man? <laughs> what are you trying to fucking get to? What do you want? I disconnected my doorbell, but I left the doorbell there. So these dumb fucks, they just finger that doorbell. Oh, must be no one home. Ding dong, stupid bitch. And I could see them from the camera too, like fingering the doorbell like a dumbass. Uh, the shit's unplugged, you pendejo. But I got the lasers on them like Predator. You know what I mean? Now fuck <laughs> off. Thank you. Shit is tight. Uh, thanks, Dead Cell. And thanks, it's Ramende. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Mm, thanks, Mal7 and Kadrick and Sawcon and Dr. Derm. Happy Big Friday, bros. Sammy, what are you doing, my friend? Shut up. Useless knife. Uh, thanks, hella dramatic. And fat fuck predator and dead cell. And, uh, into the night and fair beery. Thanks. Yeah, excuse me. Well, what should I do now? <laughs> Thank you. If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Oh, wait a minute. All right, oh. let's do it. Fuck! Yes, sir. Oh, I, I blew best. it. I was pushing X. I have to prepare something. Would you like You're to supposed ahead? to say no. I said yes. Thank you. I fucked up. I fucked up. So there's literally no reason to say yes? Like... No gives you free heals. What does yes do? Sex scene? Man, fuck. If you say yes, she doesn't... She's not there to give you free heals, right? Like she goes, oh, can I heal your wounds? And then it says yes or no, and then you say yes, and she heals you. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's pretty sexual. According to the chat. But then again, pretty much everything is according to the chat. <laughs> Thank you. Sexual and racist. Yep, I know. I know you guys very well. I've known you for a while now. I knew you since before you were born. Say hello to your mom for me. Uh, thanks, Master Baven and Illustrate and Tall Grund and Guy Yoshi. In Fairbury, I don't have this. Well, then I'm out of here. <laughs> this guy said, Hey, Eris, I'm a big fan. Uh, you want to meet my mom? He said that shit to me. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Hey. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Come on, man. Bitch. Um blinded. And then the double base. No? Where do you get this shit from? Does he have a sibling now? Who? The guy? You know I no never way. liked you, Rip. How was big dinner, Amiibo? It was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, Tommy Burger, baby. Damn. Lumpy, huh? Tommy <laughs> Burger, baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh. I forgot about that. Uh, thanks, Edgeward and Christian Rock Rules. Thanks, CG and uh, Dot and Baven. Thanks, bros. Not another Tommy Burger, baby. They're everywhere. Yeah, I just felt like company. I had a little bit of gas left in the tank. Fuck it. You know how much I love Resident Evil. You can't go through that door. You don't have the key. How do you fucking play this game? I don't know. This is why I love this game so much. Because I can never remember how to play it. I'm lost! <laughs> How could you be lost? This is like being lost in your own house. <laughs> Where's my bathroom? <laughs> That's like, might as well be. I've been in this shit so many times. Still kind of lost. And hey, let me know if you guys know where to go. Um, thanks, ESL Second Language and Edgeward. This is not the right way. Okay, I think I have an idea on where to go. Happy Thanksgiving, Brew. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving, Sean the Sniper. Um, oh, yeah. Someone asked me what I ate. My aunt made turkey and a bunch of other stuff. And my mom made potatoes au gratin. And uh, she made antipasto salad, and um, for dessert she made uh, pumpkin cheesecake ice cream cake from scratch, and it was awesome. And I spent all day talking to my grandma and her sister, and I drove my car. It was really cool. I drove it fast, and I enjoyed that. Been a while. Um, it was cool. Very nice day. Really good day, actually. One for the record books. Mm, thanks, B. Brock. But uh, awesome. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. Thanks, Mountain Dew Pendejo Blast. Yo! Happy Thanksgiving in RE1. <laughs> hey. The trophy's thanks. mine! I had a dope love turkey sandwich. A dope love turkey sandwich? What's love turkey? Sounds gross. Uh, thanks, eating good, and big thanks, Riot Kitty. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you. you. Gotta get the arrowhead on the second floor. Is this guy making a fucking joke, dude? That's high risk. There's no arrowhead. <laughs> I think he's trying to make a joke. He's an ambitious little joker. I mean, what are you doing, my friend? Shut up. Don't tell me I'm right. The arrowhead's in the fucking remake. He's right about where it is, though. But there ain't no arrowhead. Uh, thanks, smoking hot barbecue. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Pandar. Yeah. Excuse me. Thanks for the ten dollar dues and all the other dollar dues. Happy, uh, you know, Big Friday and Thanksgiving. All right, this way is where you claim I'm supposed to go, but I think this door is about to be locked. I'm pretty sure this shit is locked. <laughs> Thank you. What do you know? So then I gotta go upstairs. Then. Fine. Fine. Thanks, Mister Trioxin. Yeah, it was like uh, not just a regular good day today. It was like substantially better than a regular good day. It was fucking tight. So many different uh, little things that equaled super great. Great day. Mm. 
Hmm. Did you get the sword key from the bed? Oh, fuck! That's what I did wrong, man! All you dumbasses in here, there's only one dumbass that knows what dumbass mistake I made. Yesterday. Fuck! That's what I did wrong. I didn't get the key from the fucking bed. I was so distracted by that fucking stupid shit where I said, you know, yes instead of no. And then I was yippity yapping about what, what does that do or whatever the fuck I was saying, stupid asshole. I forgot about the key on the bed. That's what I did wrong. Damn it. Anyway, no big deal. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, dessert got you baked? Dude. Pumpkin, cheesecake, ice cream cake? What? From scratch? Got my motorcycle license. Here's your cut. <laughs> motorcycle license, dude. Hey, you better be careful. I, and I'm not even kidding. Be real careful. Uh, thanks to Casa. <laughs> Thank you. You know what's cool about motorcycle drivers, like the cool ones? If you move over and let them go, they say thanks to you. I like that. Because, you know, they're always trying to not get killed on the freeway, at least in L.A. traffic. So if you, like, move a little bit, like, you see them coming, and you kind of give them some space, they'll be like, what up? You know, little thank, thank you wave. I like that. It's like an unwritten code. Those guys are crazy in LA. You gotta be crazy, man. You gotta be crazy just to be driving in LA. Uh, hey, Crystal. Thanks. Thanks. Me too. Thankful. I'm in. Thanks very much. Motorcycles are sick. What are cagers? I don't know what that is. But I like motorcycles too. I just would never ride one. Like, if... In my opinion, riding a motorcycle is as wild as, like, you know, bungee jumping or some shit like that, that I would never do. <laughs> you know, it's cool that other people do that, but there's no fucking way on earth I would ever fucking go bungee jumping. And to me, riding a motorcycle is pretty close to that. It's right, right around there, at least in L.A. Maybe if you're in some fucking in the middle of some hillbilly town where they don't have cars and people don't get pissed. Uh, maybe. I went the wrong way again, didn't I? But I think it's like the right way still. Can you open this? Ooh. <clears throat> if you're on an open road by yourself. Yeah, well that's basically like uh, taking a bunch of words to say what I just said, right? Similar. Similar to what I just said. It's all good, man. It's cool. Uh, thanks Sephiroth Strife. Thank you again, Crystal and Dayman and Dotcom. Cool Whips. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Hey, uh, that's cool though. I mean, whatever. Motorcycles are sick. You know, a lot of my friends have been enthusiasts. So I've been around motorcycles a lot. They're cool. They seem like fun. If you're, like, into it. Personally, I'm not into it. Everyone thinks I'm into motorcycles because of the way I look. They they profile me. Double bass pedal. Yeah, I get profiled as a motorcycle, like, uh, biker guy. But I prefer cars, personally. I like cars a lot. In fact, driving my car today really made me, like... The pandemic really fucked up buying cars because... Right around the beginning of the pandemic, I was already starting to, like, look around and think about what car I wanted. And then, like, I just stopped, you know? And I thought about that, like, man, that's crazy. My car only has 18,000 miles on it. That shit is a fucking gem, dude. You know, someone would pay good money for that car. It's a 2017 Dodge Charger Daytona. And I kept it clean. Hmm... So it makes me want to trade it in. But there's nothing I want to get. No cool cars yet. Yeah, I'm having a fucking good day, dude. Really good. Um, it's funny that it had, it could have been anything. Like, we could have just gotten together for any family get-together, right? 
But it just so happened to be Thanksgiving and like, man, so many cool things to be thankful for. I figured at the end of the day, might as well polish it off with a little stream since that's like the most thankful thing I could think of outside of all the stuff that already happened today. Mm, why not? Are they gonna jump? There's nothing under there? Ah! Fuck! My bad. Sorry for yelling. That did startle me. I thought they would have already jumped if if I... Whatever. I already walked. I pushed the thing. Eject button. That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck. 1996. I was in the sixth grade when this game came out. Is that when this game came out? No way. 96? Is that true? The sixth grade? You were four? 96. Flush. I was one. Damn. These are babies. Actually, I think, uh, pretty sure Shallot was one or something like that. Oh. Uh. Damn. Why'd you pick up that green herb? Uh. Thanks, Sephiroth. Hmm. Man. You couldn't even see their faces on the original. They had to, like, iron this shit out. With HD. Yeah, it's on emulator. It's Textures look sharp? Yeah, they do. I can't get that yet. Yeah, this is on Duck Station. If you haven't heard of it, it's fucking the best. Duck Station is the best PS1 emulator that I know of. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. Yeah. It makes every game look tight, too. Excuse me. Cool. Let me reload this shit. <laughs> Thank you. Are you playing Ruthless? I didn't get accepted into the alpha or whatever, but when the league starts, I'm going to play Ruthless. Yeah, on PC for sure. And then on console, I'll play regular. Unless I really love it. I don't know, but yeah, I'm interested. It seems really fun. I ain't trying to be butthurt about it. I mean, that's the way life works, man. Yeah, I've been playing on PC for League Start for like two leagues now. They added pad support on PC, so I don't have to use this stupid peripheral mouse and keyboard. Uh, thanks, Lysay's dog, and keep it craft. Thanks, A1. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Big Friday. Those are birds. Thanks, Skern underscore. <laughs> Thank you. Is this an infant? Yeah. Lively boy, yeah. And then other side, right? No. No. Say no. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. This guy? Yeah. Thanks, Shingo. Thanks for the subs. Caw -caw. Thanks, Undesirable. How's it going, man? Thanks for the tier three. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Mm, mine was... I can't even imagine how mine could have been better. <laughs> I'll be honest. That was pretty much like perfect. Young man, say no. What did I just push? Did I push middle aged man already? Man, I always fuck this up. First time playthroughs all day. 
Uh, didn't I just say? Oh, I double mashed it. Fuck. No. This better work. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Uh, thanks, Blunt Lung and Lysay's Dog or whatever. Thanks. Sinister music. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I might as well use that herb. Because I'm going to forget this shit here and I'm going to be like, where's the other fucking thing? And none of you guys are going to know that I forgot to... Whoa. I didn't pick it up. Mashing has been fucking me up. Quit mashing. I forgot what we were talking about other than Thanksgiving and shit. Motorcycles or something? I don't remember. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Potatoes au gratin. Man, I don't even know what kind of cheese she used, but it was crazy. I brought some leftovers. I brought turkey and potatoes. Those were my favorite part, so I brought those. Mm, I didn't bring too much, though. Just enough. Maybe like a meal and a half. Meal and a half. Stuffing with liver? Dude, these potatoes weren't just cheesy. They were like cheesy and other stuff too. Creamy and garlicky and all kinds of shit. They were really good. I was like, man, what the hell? Why is it gotta be Thanksgiving for you to make this shit? <laughs> you know? And she was like, all right, all right, I'll make it for you. She was really good. Uh, anyway, um, um, dessert, uh, she just got here. Hey, back girl. The dessert was, uh, pumpkin, cheesecake, ice cream cake. And it was fucking good. Yeah, it was good. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Uh, thanks, Legend of Kyle. Yeah, it was really good. And it's like, um, it's almost like my mom, like when everyone was telling her how Happy good it was, she was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Usually she's like, oh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. But this time she was so like, yeah, I know it was good. I made it. She was like real like uh, popping off and shit. It was though. You couldn't tell her shit. That shit was hella good. Uh, thanks, Salsa Shark. And... Thanks, Legend of Kyle slash S. I don't know what the fuck that means, man. Thanks. Thanks, Puppets. Cho. <laughs> and Thank Flameback. Mm, thanks, bros. Man, I'm already running out of ammunition. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, wasn't there a... Oh, no. Wasn't there a small key? Did I not have enough room for it? Could have sworn I saw a small key somewhere, but I didn't pick it up. Mm. My mom didn't cook everything. She just cooked the potatoes. She made the antipasto salad and like other hors d'oeuvres and shit. And she made the cake. My aunt made all the other stuff. Oh, I guess she made the right. I don't know who made what, but they, uh, you know, they did a Thanksgiving this time. We skipped two two Thanksgivings. Two hey, thanks. Thanks, Shooter McGavin. That's nice of you. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Shooter. Thanks. Thanks, JSS and Dory Chan and Ty Damore. Thanks, bros. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, Callisto Protocol. That's pretty exciting. Some dude in the chat said that there's... Deluxe Edition exclusive fatalities in that game, which is fucking funny because there aren't many things that they could include in a Deluxe Edition that I would pay for, but I might... <laughs> that one I kind of think is a good idea. It would... If they're sick, they will make your first time playthrough better. As opposed to, like, anything they give you... Like, let's say they give you a limited edition gun that does a shitload of damage. That's going to make your first time playthrough worse. Or a sword, or some dumb looking fucking armor. All those things are going to make your first playthrough worse. But, the cool looking kills, that's going to make it better. Also, a game mode you have to buy as a DLC. 
What's the mode? Do I have any ammo? Six bullets? Fuck. Uh, thanks, Lothair. And thank you again, Shooter McGavin. Ruthless difficulty. As far as I know, that mode launches on the same day as the PC League. So since I don't usually stick to the PC version as far as the League goes, I'll just start with Ruthless. Damn, accessibility mode. Thanks, Joe Silly. And thanks, Lothair. What about you guys? Any cool, weird cheesecake and shit? I'm pretty hyped up about Callisto Protocol. That's like, is it really this week? Nah, it's not this week. It's next. Man, it's like a week from Saturday or something, dude. This guy's stoned. It's like a week from Saturday. Second or third? So a week from Friday. A week from Friday, which is tomorrow. December 2nd? Yeah, I, I think so. What are you what do you pick up in this fucking room? A book? You don't pick shit up in this room? What the hell? Marshmallow pumpkin pie? What the fuck? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Sounds fucking good. Happy Thanksgiving, you little pie eating bitch. Damn it. Didn't you make a s'mores dip one time? What do you mean one time? <laughs> of course I did. You know, I'm a I'm a dipper. When the stars touch the sky and you see the equiax, I'm the big dipper. I did many times. That shit's a good idea. <clears throat> Skillet, a little bit of chocolate underneath, shitload of marshmallows, toast it up. Get your graham crackers and go for a little little dip. It's better than making s'mores. It is. Cause like, you know, s'mores, they they're always like s'mores are overrated. S'mores are a lot like uh um like Coke and root beer floats. To me, oh fucker. To me, Coke floats and root beer floats are hella overrated. And it's because the idea is really good. The flavors are really good. But when you execute, they don't... The, the ingredients are unable to fuse. They can't have sex with each other correctly. Because their genitals are not doing the right thing. If you think about it, like... Okay, you make a marshmallow, right? You toast that shit. It's fucking smoldering hot. But you put it on the chocolate... The chocolate is not going to melt. You take a bite out of this weird, half gooey, half chocolatey mess. It's all over your hands. The chocolate's not melted. It's just not even like... Uh, what do you guys call me a bigot for? Because of the, the... Did I say the N-word again? My bad, dude. It's sometimes... Hey, man. I'm doing my best here, okay? I've been working very hard for the last 20 months to keep that word out of my vocabulary. All right? Very hard. I have a team of people working around the clock. <laughs> okay? You know? To keep that word out of my vocabulary. He said that shit like he was bragging. Papa John said that shit as a public statement like he was bragging. I've been working very hard for the last 20 months to keep that word out of my vocabulary. He said that shit. How hard? <laughs> Working very hard. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, root beer floats are like that too. You ever had a root beer float? It's basically just drinking a root beer and then eating some ice cream. It makes no sense combining the two. It doesn't work. It just doesn't. The idea is good. And the flavors are amazing. I love marshmallow, but the chocolate needs to be melted. That's just the way it is. The chocolate, it must be melted. Uh, thanks, little kitty Glock. Cool name. Thanks for the brand new sub. Um, to me, s'mores, like 
flavored stuff is S. <laughs> Thank you. To me, that's S. Like, if they have, like, a s'mores shake or, like, a s'mores ice cream, any kind of s'mores, that's top. That's why when that asshole earlier said that someone, I think he said his mom made marshmallow pumpkin pie, I was on the cusp of banning that guy. But only because that sounds delicious. S'mores suck. S'mores are awesome. What do you mean s'mores suck? What do you fucking like? You know, sardine ice cream, dog food ice cream. God knows what the fuck you put in there. Shithead. Uh, s'mores suck. That's some attention seeking comment shit. Stupid bitch. Uh, nice shitty ass mouth, bitch. Uh, thanks, Popeye's chicken sandwich. And thanks, uh, Super Freak. Uh, Ben and Jerry's Gimme S'mores flavor is S tier. If it's the one I am thinking of, it's not that good. You should try the 7 Eleven s'mores. Thank you. I usually like Ben and Jerry's, but that's their s'mores flavor sucks. In my opinion, 7 Eleven s'mores is good. Uh, for Ben and Jerry's, one of my favorite flavors is cookies and milk. Milk and cookies, that's what it's called. That's pretty good flavor. Um, I forgot, it's been a really long time, but I, there are a couple Ben and Jerry's flavors that stand out. Oh, cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun, Ben and Jerry's. Whoa. With that weird caramel shit in it. It's got, like, some cinnamony swirl shit going on. Shit's fucked up. Dangerous. Um, milk and cookies, cinnamon bun. And one time I got one. I might have been limited time. But it was, like, pecan pie or something like that. Sticky buns. I think that's what it was. But it had pecans in it. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was, like, candied pecans. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it was good. Really good. Yeah, it was shockingly good. Hey, where do you put this shit, dude? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy how many times I've played this game. <laughs> this is the perfect game. Every single playthrough is the first time I've ever played it. <clears throat> the perfect game. It's like the perfect joke. The greatest joke ever told. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way as usual. So what, man? This game's not about just the game. It's about, you know, everything. Everything involved. My childhood favorite door. Your favorite door. <laughs> Top 10 best Resident Evil doors in history. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Timeless. Uh, thanks, El Gay Masway. And thanks, Swamp Bite. Uh oh. Do I have enough to. Zero? Can I get through this guy? I don't like. Whoa. Abort. Uh, <laughs> okay. Maybe he'll like, yeah, now's my chance. Ah, oh, man, I fucked up. All right, but I can go now. There's one more guy. Thank you. Can I open this? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, you gotta turn. Thank He's gonna turn. When he turns, that's my chance. Now. No, no. Yeah. Oh, get off of me, you motherfucker. He's lucky I don't have ammo. What am I, caution? Both of these guys got a bite. Everyone gets a turn. Thanks, Running Shoes and Santa Claus Jr. and Steel Legend. Thanks, bros. Uh, this way? Maybe? Alright, sure. Did you play Metal Slug before? Did you play Metal Slug before? What do you mean? Like, ever or on stream? Metal Slug, to me, has always been like, I'm at the car wash, and they have one of those SNK machines, and I have a quarter. There's only one thing to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm a Tarma main. Tarma! What about you? 
Yeah, I love that game. I love... The game itself is mid. Or high mid. But the, the like, sounds it makes and the idea of the game is a lot better than the game itself. That shit is mad old. I do like the way Melee looks in that game, though. I always have. The way you, like, knife them and you rip them to shreds, but there's, like, no blood. Shit's pretty tight. The art is nice. Yeah, those sprites were cool, but only on CRT. I mean, I don't know. They made those in HD and shit, but... There's just nothing like playing that shit on a on a SNK cabinet with the with the game selector, you know. Uh, turn the blood setting off. No, I mean even with the blood setting on, wasn't it just like a little, like <laughs> thank you. It's barely even blood. It's like uh, you know what it is, bitch. Uh, yeah, I gotta go back through again. But this time, get the shotgun. Where is the shotgun? Other side. Then I'm going to go there first. Down here. Enemy chaser. Yeah, I like those Vietnam like war veteran guys that you rescue. And they always go, thank you. Those guys are tight. Those guys are in the background in the new King of Fighters stage. <laughs> new law. Thank you. Those guys are cool. Mm, thanks, Tran Notes or something. And Waxy Bow Dangler and Oinkins and Running Shoes. Thanks, bros. Happy Thanksgiving. Sounds like everyone had something good to eat. The cool thing is, like, you know, a lot of people are either not near their family or they don't have one for one reason or another, but a lot of people, like, make the best of the situation and, like, eat something hella good. You know? Which is cool. Like, some people are, like, Whatever, my family is whack. Fuck them. I'm eating lasagna. And it's like, damn. Nice. That sounds pretty good. Lasagna is good. <coughs> Boohoo sad bitches. Lol. <laughs> I'll give it up. Boohoo sad bitches. Lol. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that up. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. You're hired. Fire the last guy. Did I say no? I guess... Mm, might as well say yes. No? Maybe I have to have the shield? I don't know. Uh, oh, I have to use the item. But I'll be right back. Uh, right? Oh, maybe you just have to use the <laughs> item and she starts Thank playing. Uh, hey, thanks, Cornered Fox. Fellas, Namadad. That's uh, New Year or some shit, right? Or Christmas? I don't even know how to say Thanksgiving <laughs> in Spanish, Thank do you? you. Uh, thanks, Nordsmead. Man, I, I remember, like, thinking, oh, I want to try mead, and I went to, like, some store where they sell that hippie-ass shit. Mead fucking sucks. I mean, it's tastes like kind of like shit. I didn't think it was good. It's me, Chris. Mead is tight? I don't know. I didn't think is it was that all that good. Go I thought it was... Kind of shitty. Personally. Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Yeah, you can make me. It was all right. You know what? One time I, I was like, this is many, many years ago. I was dating this girl and, you know, you do stupid shit. Uh, so I ended up at a renaissance fair. And it ended up being a lot cooler than I thought it would be because... I thought it was going to be a bunch of nerds, but it actually ended up being a bunch of chicks with their titties out. So, that was awesome. And a lot of food. But when I was at uh, that event or whatever, at the fair, 
What is I it? tried a bunch of different kinds of beer that were My like interpretation is off the um, flavored, I guess. They were like beer, yes. but May there was like pomegranate beer. Am I tripping or was that something else? Not beer. It may have not been beer. Maybe it was mead. I don't know. But whatever the fuck that was, it was good. I remember that. Just relax. <clears throat> it wasn't like it was cider. Maybe it was cider. Whatever the fuck it was, it was good. Yeah, that's like a thing, I think. Like, to be in character and RP as a Renaissance lady, even like old ladies and big, big ladies, they all were titties are smashed together and popping out like crazy. It's like a thing. To be in character. Old ladies. I'm not even kidding you. Like, and they would say shit like, you know, my brewski brew or whatever he says in that movie. May thy quench thy thirst for thy brewski brew or whatever. <laughs> Basically, that's what they said. They're like in, in the character. They always talked all this shit about how good those big drums, you know those big drumsticks? They're not that good, they're overrated. Compared to the other shit that they have at the, at the fair, that drumstick is like F tier. They have crazy things there. Uh, smoked turkey is top. You think that that, I mean it's good, I'm not saying it's bad, but dude, the shit they have there is fucking insane. Like mad scientists level shit you know and you're gonna get hype about that i don't know excuse me they got it all dude <coughs> five foot beer i'm not that big on drinking but at the time i was like 10 years ago or more 15 years ago Where the fuck is that shit? <laughs> Where is it? I'm I guess I could look at the map. Um It's right there. Okay. I'm on my way. <coughs> Blacksmiths? Oh yeah, you mean at the fair? <coughs> There was a lot of horses, too. I really like horses. I like dogs and shit, but I would much rather have a horse. I want a horse. I want a horse. They are so cool. They're, like, way cooler than other shit. <laughs> horses are awesome. How about a cow? I really like cows a lot, too. I will admit. I made friends with a cow one time. I've made friends with horses a bunch of times. And I've made friends with an ostrich one time, too. Um, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Cows are dogs. Horses are like dogs, too. But they're so much smarter than dogs. Like... <coughs> not smarter. But there's something about a horse that makes you, like... It's like... I don't know, like when you look at a horse and you're talking to a horse, it's almost like there's something else going on in there. You know, what the fuck's going on in there? I don't know how to explain it. Like, this isn't just an animal. This is like some different kind of shit. It's like almost a human. I don't know how to explain it. Dogs are that way too, but dogs are dogs, you know? But horses are crazy. And the way they dig a hole in the ground when they take a piss is insane. What the fuck, dude? That shit is crazy. Horses are dumb as fuck. Man, all you're doing is hanging out with dumb horses, man. I mean, obviously, just like humans, there are going to be dumb ones. Uh, and there are going to be smart ones. 
that's how it works, dude. They're not all gonna be fucking smart. Probably the school district that you went to has a really low SAT score statistic rate. And all the horses in your fucking school district are dumbasses. Makes sense. Mm, but the horses where I went to school are geniuses. ESL remedial horses. Yep. Yeah, horses are tight. So cool. Cows are cool too. I mean, they're all pretty cool. What animal is whack? Like the lay. What animal is trash? <laughs> None of them, right? They're all cool. Ah, nah, come on, man. Bugs don't count. Mosquitoes? That's not an animal. That's a bug. Bugs are... I mean, you would never step on a fucking lizard. But I would fucking off the top rope fucking... I mean, Alex double boot cross up a fucking bug if it's in here. Are you kidding me? Tr crossover. He doesn't know what direction to fucking block. A fucking bug? If it's in here? Hell no. But a lizard? I'm over here like... Trying to make sure its tail doesn't fall off, you know? That's a totally different thing. Uh, you know, bugs, they don't count. And I, you know, I save crickets. I don't know why. Don't ask me. But I save crickets. I consider them lucky. So, if I see a cricket, I make sure it, it's safe. But other stuff, I'll fucking kill them myself. Uh, sewer rats? What about them? Are you saying... What are you saying? You don't like them? I like crickets because they... Because you know in, in uh, James and the Giant Peach, that cricket plays the violin on his legs. So anytime I think about that, I think about... Like you hear them, you know? They're playing the violin for you. And I like violins. So I don't know. I just like crickets. So I don't kill them. If it's possible. Sometimes they're fucking dumb, dude. They just jump into, you, you know, your way and you kill them. <clears throat> they're crazy. That's the thing. Crickets will, like, they spring and they have no idea where they're going to land. They just spring out of, like, uh-oh, boing. So they'll just fucking, like, land under your foot. <laughs> like, okay, nice landing, moron. Yeah, they full send that shit. But if possible, I try to not kill them. Nah. I'm not grasshoppers, not those flying motherfuckers. Those guys can get destroyed, dude. Chariot tackled. Hell no. Those guys are fucked up uh, because they look like they're made out of wood and shit. That's what I hate. They look like they're made out of like a their little twig until you get too close. And then shits. What about those roaches that can fly, dude? What about those roaches that can fly? I was at Super Arcade, and we were playing... Super Arcade was in the hood. And we were playing Tekken, and this roach on top of the arcade machine, dude... You know how, like, in the Batman movies, he'll be on top of the building? And then he'll spread his bat cape and jump off? This fucking roach was on top of the Tekken 6 arcade cabinet, and this motherfucker said he spread his wings... All the way out, maximum spread. And we we saw that shit, and it just flew into the night, Gotham night. It was so fucking disgusting. It was the grossest shit ever, dude. The way this motherfucker was on top of the cab, he spread his cape, and then he took to the night. It was fucking gross, dude. Those guys are crazy. Those guys are crazy, dude. Those big-ass ones. There was, at, at Video 94, there was, dude, oh my god, they they caught a rat, and they burned it. Chris, Chris. <laughs> These fucking barbarians that worked at Super Arcade, they you caught the rat that was like terrorizing, <laughs> su not Super Arcade, sorry, Thank Video 94. They caught the rat that they had been looking for, and they burned that shit outside like it was like some... 
Mad Max. These guys are like raiders. They burn that shit outside. Like maniacs. It was crazy. There was a snake one time. Is that a snake? <laughs> there was a snake inside video 94. It's like getting, checking out DVDs and shit. Over there. Hey, is that a snake? There were so many crazy things that happened at that place. This is insane. <laughs> Thank Video you. 94, dude. Mm, I don't have the other thing. I'll be right back. I don't have any room. I'll be right back. Damn it. <coughs> uh, Video 94 was a petting zoo? Dude, it would have been a petting zoo even if you didn't have those fucking animals. The people that went there were just like... It was a, dude, I mean, just think about it, man. It was like a, you could rent DVDs at, and it was also like a bong <laughs> shop. Thank you. So it was like a bong shop, a porno DVD place, a Tekken and Street Fighter arcade, and like, it had like, basically it was like the most, the perfect combination of shit that becomes like the CD underbelly. And it was open till like 5 a.m sometimes 2 a.m the the details that came together to make video 94 i have a picture of that place <laughs> i have a picture of that place that's so funny because it there's a car parked in the parking lot and the car parked this is just chance the car parked in the parking lot has like a dent and what looks like a blood stain on it so it looks like the car just got done doing a hit and run then went to video 94 to get some DVDs, basically. Um, anyway, what the fuck was I even talking about as far as video 94? I don't even remember anymore. The snake? Tekken was sick, dude. The owner of Vid used to like undercut every other arcade on purpose. He didn't give a fuck. <coughs> His name was Dave. He didn't give a fuck. He always would just be like, oh, they're charging 50 cents? 25 cents, huh? 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 25 cents? Huh? I didn't go where I'm trying to go because I don't even remember where it is. Oh, I know where it is. I'll go there. Talking about the snake. Yeah, there was a snake. Um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I had a very nice Thanksgiving. Pretty much no way it could have been better. I have no idea how that could be possible. Uh, a big snake? I don't know what big is to you. It wasn't a fucking anaconda. Um, it was, yeah, pretty big. Big enough for me. I wouldn't, like, I would be fucking pissed if there was a snake like that in here. <laughs> I would be fucking pissed. There was a snake, you know how I've been saying, um, I picked up my grandma's sister today and then i visited my mom and i was with my family my grandma's sister one time she had a snake in her house and she didn't even give a fuck she just went to bed but then again i'm just like that too i'm like that too i, I mean you think you'd be pissed but it's like dude what am i gonna do man i'm like that too remember when my carbon monoxide alarm kept going off i just tore it off the wall and threw it in the trash and went to bed if i wake up tomorrow it was a malfunction. Whatever. You know? I got a new one. I knew it, man. I would know if there was some carbon monoxide trying to kill me in here. You think I wouldn't know? Shit was a malfunction. Too loud. Ah! There you go. Now you're onto something. Didn't you have a possum hang out at the crib for a while? Yeah, I heard that motherfucker in the walls, dude. Stupid asshole possum. I did my Google research afterwards and found out a lot about possums that I didn't know. Uh, possums don't carry diseases usually, and they especially can't carry things like rabies and shit. Because they're actually marsupials. Their body temperature is like just a little bit off, so all these diseases can't survive in them. So they're pretty clean animals overall. They're uh, they got they got a really bad reputation because they're really ugly. I remember the last time on stream 
when I said that, I said, oh yeah, they have a bad reputation because they're ugly. Someone in the chat said, they're not ugly. And then I said, you're probably really ugly. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, hey, streaming's pretty cool. That ugly motherfucker loves possums. Anyway, I like possums too, but, um, they are ugly. What do you want me to do, man? They're not ugly, sad phase? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um... I mean, you know, ugly is all relative. There's lots of ugly shit out there that's like a uh, hairless cat. Hairless cats like kind of ugly, right? But they're cool. Like whatever, man. They don't all have to be fucking adorable to be cool. Animal's an animal. I spent 40 minutes talking to that possum, ugly or not. He was all right. Dude, this possum was looking at me. You should have seen this fucking guy's face. It was so funny. The way this guy was looking at me. It was not like a regular encounter with a wild animal. This guy was looking at me like, uh, is it cool? <laughs> like that attitude. Like, hey, is it cool? You mind if I stick around here for a while? That was the attitude it was giving me. It was pretty funny. I must say. Oh, go in that room right there. It didn't look scared. It kind of just looked like uh, it was sizing me up. Like, are you going to be pissed? Are you going to yell? Are you going to kill me? It was just kind of like looking at me. I tried getting it to come out, but without like poking at it. And uh, eventually I just fucking left. I was like, man, whatever, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. See you later. But it left. I uh, covered up the, the hole. The possum guy came and I told him to cover that shit up. The fucking stupid possum guy stank. God, that guy smelled like shit. Dude, I smelled that guy. He got out of his car and started walking up the driveway. And I said, whoa, dude, you fucking stink. And he said, yeah, man, I just got done dealing with four skunks or some shit like that. I'm like, dude, <laughs> stay the fuck away from me. This guy smelled like shit. From downtown. And he was such a, like, butthead, you know? It was like, yeah, man. You know, total fucking stoner. It was really funny. Anyway, um, that whole thing didn't work out. <laughs> that whole thing didn't work out. But, whatever. There's no more possum. Basically, the solution was, wait for that guy to fucking not be there, and then cover the hole. <laughs> and that's it. Instead of inviting this fucking moron who stinks, dude. That guy stank. Hey, someone's got to do it. I mean, what are you going to do if, like, there's a skunk in your house? You got to call that guy. <laughs> he needs to go over there and fucking get sprayed. Dude, I've... That's happened to me one time when I was, like, in maybe high school or something at my mom's house. I remember being outside and hearing some, like, rustling and shit. Ah. Uh, excuse me. In the backyard. And I went over there, and I... It was like a face-to-face -face encounter with those... You know those weird nipples that are on a skunk's butthole? They only show those butthole nipples when you are basically dead. You don't know about that? Well, let me teach you about it. Skunks have a regular butthole, but next to their butthole, they have two clitorises. And those clitorises become erect. Oh, yeah. And when the skunk feels I threatened, the they turn the around, Can they point their Please. tail in the air, and they erect those two clitorises. And those clitorises are the glands that spray that stinky ass shit, that it ruins everything. So if you see those things, you are basically about to get shot. And I've seen those things face to face, but he didn't shoot me. I saw them and I just backed <laughs> it up. You. Then it goes far too. They have range on them. Shit's fucked up, dude. Uh, but I backed up and I was safe. Hey, it's cool, man. I don't want no trouble. I'm gonna go get the shotgun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that's really true. They do have those weird nipples on their butthole. I mean, it, a lot of animals have weird nipples on their butthole or other places. It's kind of like a snake. Oh, break time. Wow, I forgot. I forgot to take a break. Um, you know how like snakes have, they can spit venom, some of them, spray it. It's kind of like that, but on your butthole instead of, you know, like on your face. <laughs> Thank you. Two clitorises? Thanks, bread time. Uh, thanks, Bay Zerker. Oh, fuck. Yeah! Hold on, I'll thank you in a sec. Out of the way. Nice. Uh, Curly Boy, thanks for 2069. And Melee MP3, thanks for the new sub. Damn, two new subs? Stingray Kiwi, thanks for the new subs, bros. Uh, dude, I got a lot of thanking to do. What gives? Too much talking, not enough thanking. Thanks, Deviness. And Cyanide and Cubone and Dopplington, MP Geist, Hajime, Leather, <laughs> whatever. Thank you. Just ACMG, Nord's Mead. Thanks again. Uh, what the hell did you have to say? I made it through the second job interview. Can I have a luck buff, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. Good luck. Uh, Thank you. What are you trying to be a cop or some shit? Uh, good luck. <laughs> made it through Thank the you. second one and you're not hired? That's fucked up. Uh, anyway, I hope you get it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank um, Samurai and Chance and War. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. Happy Thanksgiving. Damn, it's only 10.30? Feels like it's 3 a.m. Uh, thanks, Boo Boo Games and Maniac Thrilla. And thanks, Kaios 10 and Bread Time. And on your knees, Chun Li. Thanks. Hiring process. It's 3 a.m. Not for me, it's 10.36 p.m. I still haven't changed all my clocks, though. They're fucking things up. Um, I think I'm going to take a break and come back. It's not even that late. It's just an illusion. I did do a lot of shit today. But, uh, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Thank you. I did do a lot of shit today compared to the usual day. I did all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it was cool though, man. I really liked it. Really cool day. Uh, thanks, Trog Bomb. <coughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Aliens Are Gay. Let's see here. Uh, I'll be back. Poof, nice work. Hey, did you guys do any of that um, Black Friday? Hold up, shopping? Cyber Friday, Monday, or whatever? Uh, any sweet deals? No, 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 no. Why not? Isn't that what everyone do? Leather jacket and backpack? Damn, back to school. You're ready. That's cool. Damn, haters. Do you like dim sum? Uh, I don't know. What's dim sum? Uh, is that the shit where they stack up these weird things and like, there's like buns, steamy buns? Is that what that is? Um, nah, it's whatever. Uh, I'll tell you this though, it really depends where you go. Uh, because it's whatever in Southern California, but in Northern California, it's pretty good. So it really depends where you go. I think that there are a lot of, I think the ratio for dim sum places being good is like way worse than the ratio of say Thai food places or Indian food places or whatever. It feels like there's a billion dim sum places and they all suck. But when you get a good one, that shit's uh l plus ratio how old are you dude thank you uh thanks bong akimbo there's a bunch of noobs in here man thanks for all the new subs uh bong akimbo td chaos this guy's new anna toiler thanks thanks headlamp maybe you guys are esls hey greetings from america 
142 kilograms. What, did I read that right? Seems like too much. Was it 42? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Thank Misty you. Callie. The Everglades. Um, thanks, Viking Beard, Headlamp, and everyone else. Thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Armored Izzy. Damn, so no Black Friday shit, huh? That's not what I expected. You guys are always buying all kinds of... Oh, you spent all your money rolling in the EK? Is that what we got going on here? Scrubs. Man, wish games like that didn't exist. But what is this, a fucking magic genie? What are you doing wishing like a little bitch? But man, I wish games like that didn't exist. All those types of games are just fucking ruining everything. They're ruining everything. That shit should be illegal. <clears throat> it makes people say shit that doesn't make any sense either. Like, people will say shit like, oh, fucking inventory space. People who do that stuff, like play those games, they'll try and like rationalize it. Like, it's not that different. Oh, there's no pants. I heard this fucking guy too. No pants, he was playing that shit, and he said some shit like, it's not that far off from... Just DLC and microtransactions. You know? And he said that shit. It's not that far off. Dude, it's really far off, man. <laughs> that shit is way far off, man. That shit is like in another fucking dimension. I'd say it again, he says. Oh, and then this guy, he says shit like, Oh, I really like this, this game's music. <laughs> You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. <laughs> he says shit like that, dude. <laughs> shit was fucking tight. I go, yeah? Yeah, fucking, it's a hit. Billboard charts. <laughs> yeah. The game the music. I gotta go empty out my inventory, man. I'm fucking getting distracted with this shit. Those games are so whack. I didn't even know much about them originally, but the more I know about them, the more they're like, oh my god, this is unreal, dude. It's not just him, though. It's everyone. They all, they all just fucking buzz around those games like flies. You know? I mean, it's not their fault. It's not anyone's fault. I guess, like... Uh, unfortunately, people who make rules are all fucking boomers, dude. You think the guys who make laws are gonna know what the fuck Nikkei is? For them to make a law? For that shit to not exist? No way! They're never gonna know! They're just gonna be like, whatever, we're gonna keep making dumb fucking laws about seatbelts and, like, you know, stupid shit. You know, dumb shit. And they're never gonna know what Nikkei is. They're never gonna make a law about that. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Shit's whack. Did you see the... Oh, I know. Actually, No Pants linked me to that. Mercedes now has, like, a speed DLC. Not even a joke. You buy a Mercedes Benz, and then you pay them monthly <laughs> subscription. <laughs> And they unlock 20% of your car's performance for a monthly fee. You bought a Mercedes-Benz. You have all of the capabilities right here. But they are locked away and gated. Do you know what the next step is? You're going to have to pay to see what features you get. You won't know what features you're getting. Oh, I hope I get fucking volume on my radio. Lol. And you're going to roll for them. It's, I'm telling you, this shit is next. This shit is next. It's coming right up, dude. You're not even going to know what you get because it's way more fun that way. Gotcha features. Shit sucks. Uh, anyway. I don't even have the shotgun yet. Let me put this here. Uh, put this here too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, that's exactly what I thought. The first thing that came to my mind was, okay, let's say 
I am one of those dudes that figures out how to crack, uh, you know, consoles and bootleg butt pirate. Wouldn't people be able to figure out how to access this 20% without the subscription? I mean, it must be easy. Jailbreak the car, but they'll know. Mercedes will know. They could probably fucking like uh, satellite uh, kill switch you. This guy is, he's pirating our subscription? <laughs> fucking from above. Satellite, uh, what is that shit called? Magnetic P or whatever. They're, they're going to hit you with that shit. And that's it. It's over for you on the freeway. EMP. Triforce. Home or at a room or at a room. Kage. Happy nine year anniversary streaming Thanksgiving, RS. Keep up with the turkey streaming, Sir ATP Horns. Hey, Nash Crap. Thanks, dude. Uh, it has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, thanks, Teh Brotaku and Sherlock Holmes. Thanks again, Nash Crap. Hope everyone's doing great. Happy big Thanksgiving. Escon will go here. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? It's pretty amazing. I'm pretty mind blowing. To me, too. Did I pass it? I did. Got a crazy stomach bug today. Thanks for the Gatorade strat. Jesus. Sometimes you wonder. You don't appreciate things, even though I do. But, man, how do you not know about the Gatorade strat? Dude? It's like you've never even been around a mom. I mean, even if you ain't got one, or maybe yours really likes Tommy Burger, but you haven't even been around one, which is like the oldest trick in the book. The water strat. Strat. <laughs> the water strat. I invented that, you know. Mm, thanks, Moo Peru. Three dads, no moms. Even in the scenario where you have three dads, one of those dads is a mom. Probably all of them are. Thank you. Uh, but at least one. So it's, you know. Still pretty unlikely. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, thanks, Guns of Blaze. <coughs> thanks, man. <clears throat> Happy Thanksgiving. Damn, so no Black Friday deals. Just delicious food, huh? Uh, all right, I guess. Yeah, I didn't get into that Ruthless uh, Alpha, but... I'll just play it when it comes out. What is that? December 9th? So December 2nd is <laughs> Protocol. Thank you. December 9th is uh, Ruthless Mode. And what was the other thing? Second. I got to figure out what I'm playing tomorrow. What's tomorrow? These holidays fuck everything up. Thanks, Stone Solid, for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, man. How do you forget this shit? Check. It's more fun that <laughs> way you. anyway. Armor key. Okay. Play Symphony of the Night. Shut up, man. What the fuck do you want? His name's Alucard, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give it up. Uh, anyway. That game's cool. But it's, it's like, uh, it's not my favorite, but it's cool. I like it. It's just not my favorite. Castlevania fans are old as hell. Dude, I play things like Diablo 2, man. I mean, there are like Diablo 2 YouTubers that are like 70. <laughs> Telling you about... The hidden details involved in the game and shit. I haven't played any of the other 
Castlevania games. I've only played Symphony of the Night, I think. Um, maybe I've dabbled in, like, one of them here and there, but not, like, a serious playthrough. Castlevania 4. Circle of the Moon. Yeah, I'm not even familiar with these ones. But Symphony of the Night is great. It has really nice sounds and music. It's not just the music, though. The sounds in that game. And the... Just the a, a whole audio experience of that game is really good. Everything sounds weird and cool. Yeah, the music is great, but everyone knows that. The 3D ones get a lot of hate. You know, those 3D ones ended up being the type of game genre that I don't like. Which is like the old God of War games and Bayonetta and 2B Automata or whatever. All those games, that's like a genre that I personally don't find to be very fun. I don't like that genre. Like slash them up. Same with, um... Uh, what's that one with that, that, that hillbilly guy? Fuck, Dante is his name. That game. The game with Dante. Yeah, Devil May Cry, that's it. I never got into Devil May Cry. Never a big fan. I liked Onimusha 1, personally. Those two games kind of came out close to each other. Uh, Devil May Cry and Onimusha 1. And I remember liking Onimusha and thinking Devil May Cry was for, like, pussies. People that like uh, Power Man 5000 will like uh, Devil May Cry. And I was right. People who like metal that has scratching in it will really love Devil May Cry. Hmm, I don't need this. I really don't need this either, but I want to combine them shells. Do you like nine inch nails? Uh, I don't know. They're all right, I guess. I think bands like that have a really, it's just like Tekken, dude. Bang, bands like that are just like Tekken because the game itself is good, but the fucking fans, dude. You know? You know what I mean? Same with nine inch nails. Like, yeah, all right. That's a pretty cool band. They got some nice, nice tunes, talent, you know, but the fans. It's like, uh, it ruins the whole thing. <clears throat> Same with Tool fans. Yeah, that's another a good example. <laughs> yeah. Um, where are you going? Oh, yeah. I remember now. Tool fans, RE8 fans. Mm. Or people who like corn with a K. A7X fans? Is that Avenged Sevenfold? I went to a concert once with two chicks at the same time. I went to a concert. I remember that. Uh, I went to a Avenged Sevenfold. Is that Sevenfold concert? Uh, once. <laughs> Thank you. And it was because this girl who I thought was cute invited me and her friend was going. And it ended up being a really good idea because... The ratio of chicks to dudes at that concert was unheard of. There was, like, it was unheard of. There was, like, ten chicks for per dude. And, like, all of these dudes that were there that were, like, okay, ten to one ratio chicks versus dudes. Each one of those dudes was pretty much a pretty girl, too. So the ratio was way off. I'm talking, like, nine of these you know, dudes are pretty close to being a pretty girl. I mean, dude, you know, it was crazy. Pretty girls everywhere. It's like my chat room, basically. <laughs> you guys are like a Venge Sevenfold concert, basically. Bunch of chicks. Uh, it was like the Renaissance Fair, <laughs> in a way. Did I get everything in this room? Man, this guy's never gonna catch me. Even in this little room. Scrub. 
You have an A7X tattoo? Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't try to cover that shit up with, like, a fucking goose or a mom or something? Oh, no. Avenged Sevenfold tattoo. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, maybe you'll be able to pull some, like, mothers of six with that in their, like, 40s. 30s late 30s um or maybe you're a pretty girl that might be different hey if you're a pretty girl then that might work out i guess i didn't think about that that could be a pretty girl uh did you uh maybe you think it's cool are they even still around maybe they are dude whatever man it's easy to make fun but everyone has tattoos of stuff you know that's really common Uh, it's pretty funny to make fun, though. Especially, uh, I used to be friends with this guy who got a gin tattoo on his arm, but his other friend did it for him. And that shit, that shit looked like nothing like a gin tattoo at all. It He had to, it was nothing like a gin tattoo at all. And he had that shit on his arm. It was really funny. That shit was tight. Like, you're better off just telling people that it's some tribal pattern or some shit. Because if you tell them that's a gin tattoo and they know what the gin tattoo is supposed to look like, dude, you're out of luck. You're getting clowned on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've never been into that shit, personally. I like them, though. I have no problem with them. They're cool. I just never got one myself. I never really felt the urge. I always felt confident that I would change my mind in the future <laughs> thank you <clears throat> so i thought it's it's a bad idea plus i also have heard from basically every single person ever that they're very addictive and in general i try to <laughs> thank you stay away from things like that i have a pretty addictive personality thanks zaitsen and shading and thanks substantial phallus energy thanks for the gifted subs hey wolf thanks man Hope you're doing great. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Thanks, Herbalese. And he 34 chi And also Stone Solid. Thanks for the new sub. Iron Maiden Rocks. Thanks. I've been to one of their concerts, too. And uh, thanks, Lempira. Simpsons Donut Tattoo. Nah, I ain't trying to get any tattoos. I've made it this far. I don't think I need them. But I got no issues. We're cool, SA. What's the Armor King do? Does it get you into the snake door? Arnest tattoo? So far, there have been two occasions of people getting Aris tattoos. Uh, that I know of. Two occasions. One guy had a tattoo of me going like this, you know, my emote of me saying shush. Mm, one guy got that tattoo, and another guy got that tattoo that, it's the tattoo of the Bobby Hill guy, but with the beard on it, that picture. Mm, those are the only two that I've heard of. But you can only assume there's more. I mean, if there's two, there's more. There's a lot of people out there. noise uh oof i mean you know you could look at it like oof but uh i mean what do you have a fucking some kind of stupid fucking anime tattoo or some shit and you're over here talking shit i think if anyone's gonna talk shit it's me all right first of all it's my face <laughs> second of all i don't have any tattoos so i can talk shit you know One Piece tattoo? Is that an anime? <laughs> cool. Naruto, I know about that. Via tattoo? That must exist. 
There has to be a Valle tattoo. I know it. I know it to be true. Oh, you have to hit the switch. Uh, Eris, any opinions on Code Veronica? Yeah, it sucks. It fucking stinks. Uh, I don't like it. I think it sucks. Like, F. I think that little bitch that... The guy with the two Lugers... That guy is, like, the worst character. Uh, I think that it looks shitty. And it feels shitty. I think it's really long. And the enemies are so obnoxious. And not creative at all like those stretch armstrong guys that reach out and like fondle claire's titties and shit nah I, I don't like that game at all i think it sucks but i also don't like dino crisis everyone loves dino crisis but i think dino crisis kind of sucks i prefer it to code veronica though but i think both of those kind of suck i think that resident evil zero and Dino Crisis are kind of at the same level. They kind of suck. Not a big fan. But Code Veronica really sucks. To me. I've never played Dino Crisis 2. It doesn't look sick though. To be honest with you, I think dinosaurs are pretty fucking lame. They're just lame. And I liked them when I was a kid. I had dinosaur wallpaper when I was a kid. In my room. <laughs> Thank you. But... Mm. Do they even still do wallpaper? I never even thought of that. Wallpaper was the shit. I never hear about wallpaper anymore. Wallpaper used to be the shit, dude. It's old people shit? Yeah, that's the thing. It seems like it's... Maybe at hotels they use wallpaper. Thanks, Gravy Robber and Zitsin. Give me your stuff. Damn, man, I'm out of space. Your room has wallpaper? Is it, uh... Ah, excuse me, dinosaur? <laughs> Thank you. A dinosaur wallpaper. Cars? You have a race car bed? Thanks, Walter H. White. Stupid red name. That was pretty cool, man. What a great day. I really enjoyed it. It was a roller coaster ride. All kinds of cool stuff happened today. I want to get a new car, but man, they all suck, dude. I thought for sure they would have made a cool one by now. It's taking forever for anything cool to happen. And you can't even buy them now. There's like a... Oh, really? Shield. I want a new car. I've wanted one for a while, but pandemic and all, you know how it is. Just bought Dino Crisis and Code Veronica wallpaper off Etsy. We got a little funny guy here. Hey, you got any other good jokes, funny guy? Let's hear him, dude. What else you got? <laughs> you know who's a funny guy? This guy who said my side's sleeping face. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Hey, you really fucking uh, owned up that last funny guy that was on stage. Damn, he got clowned up. <laughs> my side's. <laughs> sleeping face. Yeah, mine too. Hate that shit, dude generic like comments whatever the worst ultimate worst is when people this is a very popular joke format lately it's like they go why is he and then there's the joke 
Or, you know, like question format jokes? That shit makes me fucking sick, dude. I hate that format for jokes. It really makes me sick. It drives me nuts. Why are you this? Or is this blank? You know? Is this the new blank? Or some fucking stupid comment trying to make a joke? I hate that fucking format, dude. Question format jokes make me sick, dude. They really do. I mean, specifically that format, though. Like, uh... You know, the type of joke that would be exceptionally annoying in a chat room. Especially because people keep making the same one. That shit is crazy, dude. It'll never not be crazy. It's been crazy since the day I started streaming. That all these different fucking people from different places on Earth could all make the same shitty ass fucking joke. Like it was totally planned. And in perfect harmony. Like it's flawless harmony. Shit is ridiculous. Bitches. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, mysterious stranger. What up, man? You popped up yesterday and... You, I got one mysterious stranger yesterday when I played Fallout 4, and he didn't do anything. He just showed up, he like pointed his gun, and then that was it. Nothing happened. It was really cool. <laughs> it was perfect. Uh, I got two of these. How many more? Three of these. Hey, where's the fourth one? Oh, the snake has it. Well, where's the snake? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Thanks. Thanks, Bodine. Thanks, Deep Purple. Happy Thanksgiving, bros. It was one for the record books. Yes. Damn, we've been all over the place today. <clears throat> as far as toppings go. Um... But you know the real important topping is what am I trying to play tomorrow, man? I guess maybe Carl or something. I don't know. I'll think about it. Usually I decide in the morning. Um, you know, whatever I'm in the mood for. Resident Evil. It is a good one. It's a classic. Dead Space 2. Uh, nah. But that's a good one, too. Evil West? Are you one of the devs? Nah. I heard that's a C minus at best. I mean, what are you doing, my friend? Shut up. Don't tell me how to drive. Looking slim, Morris. Yeah, real slim. Thanks, young me fish sticks or whatever. Thanks very much. Yeah, real slim. Um, though I didn't really eat too much today. I didn't really think about that, huh? I didn't really eat that much. Not to the point where I had to, like, loosen my belt and shit. <laughs> Thanks, Ken Thank Jumal. One, two, three, or whatever. I hope Callisto Protocol is sweet. I'm pretty much, like, um... In my mind, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. So, whatever, man. Thank you. I'd much, you know how some people are always like, oh, I have low expectations, so I'm never disappointed. That is some fucking low tier pussy bitch shit, dude. I never do that. I never do that. If I'm, if I want something to be good, I get hype about it. I'm like confident it's gonna be good. Because most of the time, the thing that's, good or bad, is like you experience it in like fucking two hours or three hours or five hours or ten hours, whatever, it's over. But the build up to it is months. I'm waiting for games to come out for a year, two years. I don't even know when this motherfucker Michael Murray is about to make Tekken 8. I have no idea when this shit's coming out, you know? So the anticipation is so much longer. You might as well get hype and be excited. I don't know, being excited is pretty tight. 
Especially like in the morning. Does that happen to you? Like, can't wait to wake up, plant those feet on the ground, and the when you come to and you think like, what's cool? I don't know if you do that. I do that when I wake up. First thing I do is like, all right, I lived. <laughs> and then after that, I go, all right, now that I lived, what's sick? You know, what am I hype about? And it all comes back to you. Uh, ejaculate in the morning. I told you, man, everything is either sexual or fucking racial with you morons. Fucking bitches. Uh, thanks, award show and anonymous. Thanks. Chat's full of racist perverbs. That's true. The usual. Damn. Champagne? Yeah, I'm banking on Callisto Protocol being fun. I hope so. Excuse me. But as for tomorrow, I don't know. I'll think about it. December 2nd is when that comes out. So a week from Friday, which is not... Here it's still Thursday. It's 11, 14 p.m. where I live. But Friday. A week from Friday. That is pretty soon. You're right. It snuck up. Yeah, I have pretty high expectations too. But whatever, man. I'm not worried about it. It's going to be very fun to play, even if it sucks. Like... You know, I think that streaming has a lot of downsides when it comes to actually really enjoying a game. But the upsides are so much better, especially if the game sucks. You know, like at the end of the day, you can't lose when it comes to streaming a game. Because even if it sucks, it's fun to make fun of and it's fun to play just because everyone's here. You know, <laughs> thank you. It's pretty cool. Still Thanksgiving where I live, so I can be extra thankful. Uh, this is the shield key? It has to be. If this is the shield key, then I'm going upstairs. Go check it. Hmm. Thanks, Cyrocco. Yeah, a lot of brand new subs today. Thanks for all the Twitch Primes and shit. Thanks, Young Mioni. Thanks again for the 20 bucks. Uh, thanks, Anonymous, and <coughs> Bon Jovi rocks. Bon Jovi's all right. I mean, he doesn't, I wouldn't say he rocks. <laughs> but, I mean, whatever. Who doesn't like Bon Jovi? He's all right. I don't hate him. MILFs love him. I guess at this point, they're G-MILFs. MILFs of my generation. Like, old-ass MILFs now. They sing that shit. Hey, happy Big Friday. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I'm thinking about those leftovers. I brought home a gratin, potatoes, and turkey. Dark meat. But not, I think drums get too dry on a turkey. I like thighs. That's where I'm at. Let me get some of those thighs. Mm, thank you again, Sai Rocco. Uh, if this is gonna be the snake, then maybe I should like, nah. Pumpkin soup. That sounds pretty good. I've heard people make that shit like really good. Savory pumpkin soup. I like pumpkin pie. My mom made pumpkin cheesecake ice cream cake. For dessert. It was fucking good. Really good. Q 
Can you get this before the guy shows up? No. Don't do it, bitch. Don't do it, shithead. Just enough room for the thing. Okay, that's just one bite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, time out. What the fuck? Fully? Okay, okay, I'm out. I thought I was 100% oh, entangled. Anaconda. Starring Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube. Let me out of here, you fucker. Is he gonna? He might. He might. He could turn around. That is so cheap. Oh, I'm good to go. Stupid bitch. Get owned. But I'm poisoned. I'll be okay, though. Um. Anyway, I think I'm ready. I can feel it. I feel like I'm ready to... Oh. That's perfect. Just smoked some jerk chicken with sauce straight from Jamaica. Am I poisoned? Lord of mercy. Give me serum. I'm sure the serum must be there. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. You become Rebecca. I forgot about that. Let me get that serum. Jerk turkey. That sounds great. Yeah, look at that image. So this, this occasion doesn't have to happen in every playthrough. You don't usually play as her. Interesting. Uh, what's her name? Rebecca. Did I say Sakura? Maybe I did. Are you a chocolate guy too? Is that some bigot shit? Yeah. Yeah. I like, uh, I don't like white chocolate and I don't like dark chocolate. I like milk. Milk chocolate. I think dark chocolate is too bitter and I think white chocolate is, you know. Nah. I like, uh, milk chocolate though. I guess I'm not crazy about it, but I'm also not a chocolate hater. Like, some people think, like, chocolate ice cream is no good because it's too chocolatey. I mean, it's fucking chocolate ice cream, you know? <laughs> what do you mean? <clears throat> yeah, I like it. I don't mind it. I mean, or like, you know, like a brownie, chocolate brownie or something. Yeah, I'm in. Oh, yeah, the serum. White chocolate isn't even chocolate. Shut up, bitch. Um, anyway, the rest of us who are enjoying each other's company, uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. Um, do you like bourbon flavored ice cream? Shut up. You too. Hey, you need to go talk to that other guy that I don't want to talk to. You too fucking mingle in DMs. Oh, these guys don't even bite. They only bite Rebecca. These guys are normally only barfers. What the fuck? That's weird. Mint chocolate? I don't think that's like, that doesn't count as chocolate. Mint chocolate is like anything in chocolate, you know, like strawberry chocolate or whatever, orange zest or some shit. I don't think there are that many different types of chocolate, though. It's just milk, dark, and white. Unless you're that guy. That guy was not having that shit. It's not even chocolate. And then he wanted me to go, really? What do you mean? Like he's trying to impress with his little trivia. Hey, save it for your own, your own uh, fucking script, amigo. You're giving away all the good stuff. Save that shit for your own stream. Failed bait. Yeah, I ain't falling for that shit. 
These guys try and open up conversation all day. Baiting me into these like weird ass fucking trap questions. Get shot. Uh, yeah, I got some Thanksgiving leftovers. Right? I might do a little nibbling uh, yeah. in a few minutes. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah, uh, my uh. head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. You saved my life. <laughs> I owe you one. Cool. Can I talk to you more? I'm glad I could help. Cool. Uh, did I leave anything in here? I might have. I think my inventory might be full, though. It's getting pretty late. I'm starting to feel it. Uh, yeah, I, at this point, I mean, I've basically... I mean, it's pretty likely that I will not be getting access to that ruthless shit, but it doesn't matter because... I think I'm going to really enjoy playing it when the league starts. So I'm pretty excited about that too. I got all kinds of things to be hype about. Can't wait to wake up in the morning. I guess, you know, hopefully I do. It's going to be sick. A lot of people, like these haters, like it looks kind of shit anyway. <laughs> you didn't get in either, huh, amigo? Uh, anyway, a lot of people really love it. A lot of people. In fact, I haven't heard anyone say anything bad. Every single person who has played it has said, wow, I'm surprised it's fun. Some people have said, oh, I don't know why it's fun. I can't quite figure out why I'm having fun, but I'm having a shitload of fun. I think it's just because they don't realize that they're such big ass bitches. Like, they have no idea what huge bitches they are. They all complained so much at the idea of the mode when they heard about it. They made all these negative videos about what a waste of resources it is and all this shit. And then they played it and they're like, it's fun. Weird. It's because people, they don't even know what fun is anymore. It's been such a long time since they've had it. Have you ever met someone who they're... One time I hired this guy... He was a chimney sweep, but let's not talk about that part. I hired a chimney sweep one time. Yeah, they're real. And he had a fucking top hat. But this fucking guy, his face looked like he has not smiled in 70 years. It was cemented in a frown shape. You see what I'm trying to say? You don't want that to be you. That could be any one of us if you forget about that shit. <coughs> I forgot what I said, but it took him it took me like so many tries to get that guy to laugh and it finally worked you little bitch I cracked he cracked he was a dick uh, I don't remember what happened, but he was an asshole I don't remember exactly what happened it had something to do with him being late and He was like talking shit to me about how hard it is being a chimney sweep when I was like, dude, you were late, you know, like it took you all day to get here. And I didn't even need my chimney sweats, by the way. This was like for some other duct that was clogged. The vent that blows the dryer air out at the place I used to live at, the, the shit was clogged. So I needed to get a chimney sweep. It's the same job, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, this, excuse me, this guy fucking showed up and he was a, he looked so pissed. He was late. And when I complained about him being late, I didn't even complain, man. I made like a little comment like, oh, man, I'm glad you were able to show up. It's been a while. You know, something like that. He was just talking all this shit about how the chimney sweep business uh, down the... I didn't even know that was a real fucking business or a j occupation. I thought that was a joke like in Disney movies and shit. And this fucking guy at the end of like scolding me. For giving him shit for being late. He was like, we don't give exact times. We give you a window. And blah, blah, blah. At the end of all that frowny ass chewing out, this fucking guy had the nerve with a straight face, no smile, to put on a top hat. And then said, okay, show me where the clog is. I'm not even fucking kidding you, dude. This is a true 100%. He didn't laugh. He didn't even flinch. He just got done 
talking shit and complaining. And then he put that shit on. All right, show me where the clog's at. <laughs> Is this fucking serious shit, dude? Is this guy for real? Crazy. I have all kinds of issues with service people. You know, like the skunk man that smelled like skunks, the chimney sweep, the, the, oh my God. The fucking guy that showed up to fix my washing machine, this guy was like the king of bitches. This guy basically could not have done the job without me. I basically did half the job for him. Uh, he was like, hey, come over here, help me hold this, do this, hand me this, hand me that. And at the end of the job, he was like, all right, that'll be a hundred bucks. I was like, well, what, what's my fucking cut, bitch? I did half the job for you, shithead. And then he took the hundred bucks and without telling me, he slapped a sticker on the washing machine that's like a business card. Instead of giving me a business card, hey, hit me up next time. He put that shit on there. And it's on there. You can't even get it off. Fucking little bitch. Now there's a sticker of this guy's fucking business card on my washing machine. Son of a bitch. And I did the job, basically. <laughs> thank you. These fucking guys, dude. Service. You know, if you need something done. Uh, thanks, Grillar K10. And Bennyheim. Thanks. Mm. I got the last crest. That's perfect. Subway? Thank you. Oh, dude, the worst experience at Subway was that fat girl. There's no issue with fat girls, by the way. I'm, uh, if she's got a good attitude and she's cute and the ratios are good, we're cool. But this fat girl one time was making my Subway sandwich and I asked for feta cheese. And feta cheese is all the way at the back of the fucking cooler. It's all the way at the back. And she had my sandwich in front of her. She reached over to get the feta cheese and she crushed, paninied my fucking sandwich. And it was like a fucking destruction. Completely flattened like a cartoon character. Roger Rabbit. It was like Roger Rabbit. And she didn't say nothing about it either. She just smashed that shit and then put my feta cheese on there. And then fucking wrapped it up. That was... That really happened. Shit was fucked up, dude. And also, this one time, this old lady burned her hands on my soup. I got... They have, like, a potato soup? Cheese soup? Like, dude, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes you, it just feels like you want to jump over the counter and do their job for them. <clears throat> How? Because she, she, okay, she, you know that shit's fucking hot. I don't know why she put it in the microwave for as long as she did, but she wanted it to be hot. It's probably policy, but she didn't put the lid on all the way. So this dumbass is fucking handling two cups of this soup and the lid is not on all the way. And then whoopsie daisy, hot smoldering soup all over the place. Like, dude, come on, man. Mm, I mean, you know, this shit is simple. Yeah, I guess whatever. It happens. Everyone makes mistakes. I mean, look at cops. <laughs> Whoops! Close my eyes. I thought I was, you know, fucking eating an apple or something. Dude, these, like, you know, they're humans. Everyone makes mistakes. I said no onions. It's funny how, like, if someone makes a mistake at Arby's and gives you onions, even though you ordered no onions, you're real pissed. But if someone makes a mistake, like, at the uh, Raccoon City Police Department... You know, you're going to be on the news. Whoops. My bad. Whatever happened to the possum? <laughs> Whoa. Unparryable? And also just got here? I already talked about the possum. Check the fucking archives. Uh, thanks, King Leonidas. Uh, thanks, Cure. Uh, we had a, we already went over the whole possum routine today. I don't know how you were unparried. Uh, thanks, November Fire and .png. 
Uh, going to the backyard would be kind of cool. But I'm pretty pooped. Might as well just save. Wait. I didn't get any ink ribbons? <laughs> cool. Is there one here? No. Where is there an ink ribbon? Pretty close. Amy Goo? She sounds cute. I think there's a ribbon in here. No? I could have sworn there was. Maybe it's in the, the remake or something. Oh well. Yeah, ready for another one. Tomorrow is going to be pretty tight. I really should start doing yoga. Naked, of course. I think I'm going to do that. Is there a ribbon in here? There's a dude in there. Yeah, I used to do yoga. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that game. It's a game called 171. It's like a GTA 5 clone, but I can't play it. It doesn't have pad support. Uh, stream the yoga? Yeah, sure I will, perverts. I said, I told you, naked yoga. That'll get me banned so fast. Uh, nah. Backyard is... I gotta look. Well, where's the ribbon? Is there one here? There is! Wow. Main hall save? That's pretty cool. That like never happens. You can save your progress with this. The idea of a game where you die and it ends was so crazy at the time. It was so crazy. It's time, chat. Nice work, as usual. I'm pooped. I think that it's time to go eat a little snackaroo and then get ready for tomorrow. Thanks very much for randomly tuning in, even though I streamed at a weird time. You guys did good. You're very consistent. I'm impressed. Um... I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to play, but I'll figure it out. Thank you. Thanks, St. Pepsi. Happy Thanksgiving again. Wow, it's still Thanksgiving where I live. It feels so late. That's not a bad thing. That means I'll wake up early and sleep early. I like that. I hope I do. You never know. Sometimes you end up randomly just being like a kid. Does that happen to you guys? I'm supposed to be an adult. <clears throat> you just stay up for no reason. Just being a fucking punk. You know? Every day? <laughs> yeah. I hear that. Mm, thanks. Oh, hi, Rob. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you take care of everything you need to take care of. Everyone's different. Some people are like fucking marsupials and they hunt at night. You know? Or some people are like birds. And they can't be like, you know, jobs and, and like fucking wives and kids and shit they're like you, you know i can't have that shit everyone's different school fuck school know what i mean prison well yeah could you imagine that jesus hey let's not even get into it <clears throat> that shit sounds whack wives and kids lol i mean dude half of you guys are a bunch of fucking dads you just act like little teenage bitches it's true though i know you i know some of you you got all kinds of kids Hey, thanks, Stickman Sham. Listen, uh, I got bad news for you and all your friends. I was just gonna turn this shit off 
and go eat Thanks. potatoes au gratin and turkey my life the sausagey kind I don't know what the hell you just said, man, but thanks for the 20 bucks. Something about sausage -y. Hey, all right. Thanks, Festive Foliage. Uh, hey, anyway, thanks again, Stick Man. And thanks, Festive Foliage Thank and you. Carbian. Thank you. I'm going to wrap this shit up. Thanks for all the generosity. Happy Thanksgiving. I appreciate you guys a lot. Not you fucking guys that I don't know. I mean, I guess some of you could be okay. I don't even know who this dude is. But the guys who were already in here before that raid, I appreciate them a lot. You guys, I don't know you. You seem all right, though. So you can hang out as long as you don't talk too much. Uh, you know, just kind of... Uh, what did that guy say last time? Um, feel the room or whatever? Anyway, Thank feel you. the room. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Hattori Dunzo. Suck a dick. Read the room. Yeah, read the room. Hey, read that shit. Uh, anyway, you guys have a good night. We'll see you in the sewer. Take care. Oof, hello. How's it going? Happy Big Friday. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, you can hear me, right? Damn, what the fuck is that? Is that a motorcycle or a helicopter? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Anyway, how's it going? Nice to see you, chat. Oh, it's a ghost? Well, no big deal. Ghosts don't usually make that kind of noise. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think. Hey, thanks, Papa John Adams. Thanks, Moreau. And Absom. And Talama. And Drostar. And Toasty. And Civilized Worm. <laughs> Thank you. And Hyperbomb. And Kavir. And Falsehood. And thanks, Riot. Any sweet jackpots today? Mm, the good stuff? Something like uh, exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Nico Leak. Oh, Mexico lost? Against who? I guess that is the hot topic lately, huh? You've been seeing a bunch of soccer jokes. Soccer jokes. What the fuck? People don't have shit to do. Um, I don't know these people. Argentina beat Mexico? Nightstream. Pog. Stream. Hey, Riot Kitty. How's it going? Thanks. Yeah, why not? Mm, felt like it. Thanks very much. Hope you're feeling good. Argentina won. Thanks for the luck buff. Hey, don't go blaming that shit on me, man, because then you're going to get all these pissed off Mexicans at my door. Come on, man. It's cool. Just keep it down. No problem. Don't want no trouble. See? They're already starting to talk shit. They're pissed. Hey, my bad, dude. You know? My bad. I'll hook you up next time. Mm, hey, thanks very much, Anime BBW and Fransberg. And big thanks again, Riot Kitty. Big smile. Uh, maybe I should fire up my PS1. I almost played Mario. Thank you. Super Mario World. But that shit is too intense. I might hurt myself. I remembered that last time I played Mario, I fucking pulled my meniscus or some shit. And I had, like, an issue. Because, you know, you do that grandma shit, that lean. Uh, so, I don't want to hurt myself. I got to do that shit in the morning when I'm more limber. Mm, yeah, I got to get those knee pads going. Thanks, weather report. And little pad. What do you do here? Restart. And unpause. Thank you. Let me hear it. Oh, yeah. I like that sound. Cool sound. Thanks, Mulkeen. Thanks. These game devs, they don't do the cool sounding shit anymore. You know? I wonder why not. Like the the shit that's like, you know, iconic. They don't do that uh, iconic shit anymore. Where's Waldo? Nice try. Thanks, Sung Mina's tits and Mulkeen <laughs> and you. Yoda Man. Hold on, you can't see. I'll fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. 
Hold on. All I gotta do is no alt enter. Then it's full. Then that's it, right? Yeah. Nice slow ass computer. 128 RAM and it can't do that shit. You saw how long that took? Psh, like two seconds. Weak bitch. Uh, this computer could launch a Hubble, but shit still sucks. Uh, this is my save. Yeah, 128 RAM. When No Pants asked what kind of components I want, I said I want to be able to tell everyone in the whole chat room, no matter who it is, that mine's better than theirs. And it worked. It is. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And all I do is play PS1 games. It's not like I need any of that shit. <laughs> That's even better. That is even better. You're over there fucking cranking out uh, your, your shitty ass graphics card trying to play Witcher 3 with max settings. And I'm over here with like a fucking 8090-100 GTX. And I'm playing PS1 games. <laughs> Get Thank old you. bitch. Uh, oh, I gotta recollect. I can't just be fucking talking shit. This is a serious run. What key is this? Check it. Uh, I better go to a save box to see what the fuck is going on. I don't remember this shit. This is from like 48 hours ago, man. Come on. Uh, thanks, Muddleload and erroneous and bong water and thanks where's my bathroom and yoda man and thanks uh whatever m3 arrest m3 thanks for the new twitch prime any cool uh cool shit going on like the dope stuff like jackpots uh i i thought about that dude that told me about how he bought he like rolled for a knife in uh counter-strike and sold it for a thousand bucks with two dollars and fifty cents that shit is so tight <laughs> that shit is so tight uh and i don't even know anything about it i don't give a fuck about that uh you know the last time i played counter-strike that shit wasn't even called go it was just counter-strike they named it go later i used to play that game with my friends at the pc bangs before I liked arcades. I mean, I loved arcades since I was a little kid. You know what's super crazy that I didn't know about Thank my you. dad? I think I mentioned this like a month ago or some shit, but my uncle told me that my dad was a total addict when it comes to video games. He was absolutely addicted to video games. But I never knew that because ever since I've, I was <laughs> one year old, he's been paralyzed. So... He has never been able to play video games. And I never even knew that he liked video games like that. So it was, it's so weird. It was it blew my mind, actually. Because he's never really like liked video games, obviously, because he can't play them. I mean, these days he could probably be a world record holder with all these accessibility features. I should tell him about that shit. Uh, you could beat this game with your nose if you want. But anyway, I never really knew about that shit. All this time, my uncle told me, yeah, this guy was totally addicted to video games. Like, obviously, at that time, it was like shit like Galaga and Frogger and shit like that. <coughs> ancient history video games. But still, you know, that's all they knew. To them, that shit was HD. Mm, thanks, Belizebu and Burr... Burr... Bernie, hey, this name sucks. The, anyway, thanks. Uh, thanks, Bar Bar. This one sucks too. And Muddle Load. Thanks, everybody. And look, shit's gonna be a little blurry, all right? We're on ESL hours. Do I have four crests? If I got four crests, that means I'm ready. I have four crests. <laughs> well, then what Thank the fuck you. does this do then? I don't like having a random ass key sitting around <laughs> not knowing what the Thank fuck you. it does. Oh, this shit looks pretty open unless I don't know how to read this map. Oh. I don't
don't see anything. Ah, oh, that is so stupid. Maybe it's right upstairs. I think it's right upstairs. Mm, how do I buy an ESL? ESL stands for English as a Second Language. Uh, as in fucking not very good at it yet willing to talk hella shit this is you know the pe the people that try to say you shouldn't make fun of people for their bad english because they speak an another language and shit that shit drives me nuts cuz you know these guys you would do the same shit to me man you're being such a bitch. Thank you. you would do the same shit to me if I tried learning your weak ass language and before I even knew what I was doing, started talking shit to you in your own sorry ass language. You would laugh at me like crazy, you and all your pals. You know? But yet, if you're fucking, if you do it, and oh, wah, fuck you. Pussies, dude. <laughs> yeah, thank and it could be funny. You know? You're not even considering how funny it is. Man, this guy's a waste of a shotgun shell. But he's cool. What? No! Ah, oh, I thought this was the door. Man, what the fuck? Is this it? Oh, shit. Where do you fucking put this armor key? What? How could you have all four crests and not have exhausted I mean, armor? What are you doing? Up. Don't tell me how to drive. Waldo, bitch. <coughs> bitch. Uh, thanks, Oliver Holzerfield. Up. Look. That doesn't count as a laugh. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> Whatever, man. Fuck you. Uh, and thanks. Uh, thanks, um, Milk of Magneto and Dr. Wine <laughs> and you. Dutch, and thanks, Seven Iphoon and True Drew, the up part at the end, you know. Uh, and thanks, Atari ESL 2600 and Beaker. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Thank Man you. Called Nova 10 Gifted. What time is it in the EEU right now? You guys just like waking up and having scrumpets? I'm just gonna put this key away. I don't even give a fuck about this key then. 5 a.m.? Oh shit, early morning. Or maybe really late if you're one of those. Maybe you're one of those like up all night types. 3.50 a.m. GMT. The hell is GMT Mountain? Cool. Okay, I'm taking all my shit. I'm putting this away. Taking all my stuff. Where is it? Uh, give me this. Give me that. And this. Maybe I should take some green herbs. Just in case. You never know. Sometimes shit goes wrong. Don't want to throw away this world record attempt. Uh, hey, thank you again, man called Nova, for the 10 gifted. Here, here. I'm glad you appreciate my stream. I appreciate you. Um, anyway, what was the shit we were yelling about? I feel like I yelled about something already. I wasn't pissed about anything, though, I don't think. I did ban someone earlier, or maybe two people. These people think that they could talk shit in the chat room when I'm not live, like they're safe. Come on, man. I'll catch you. Oh, this guy's gonna bite me. <laughs> Fucking dog. I'm gonna hold back. I don't, couldn't do anything about that. Ah, all right. Um, anyway, where's all the hot fucking news and shit, dude? The, the dope shit going on. It's Saturday. No news? Hey, that's good news. You're going to be a dad? Well, you're smiling, so I won't say my condolences. 
but I know what's going on. Hey, my condolences, man. It's cool. Your wife's in the chat, isn't she? That smile seems a little forced. Anyway, it's all good, man. You'll be all right, dude. Uh, even if you feel like uh, you don't know if this is going to be, you know, trust me, you'll transform. You. The moment that baby pops out of there and is completely healthy, it's over. You're going to be like a pro dad. That's how it works. It's just if you want to avoid becoming that. Unlikely? Man, just because you got fucking three weak-ass dads doesn't mean this clown is going to be whack. You never know. Could be good. I mean, he is smiling even if it is forced. He's an air sub. That's true, but I'm going to get these fucking green herbs. Fuck these dogs. He's a Tommy Burger dad? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Baby's heads are soft. You know? Uh, that shit fucking doesn't feel good when you even think about it. But I mean, it's because I saw it, you know? <laughs> shit sucks. You. Gives you like that, uh, you know that, that feeling you get when they're scratching the chalkboard? It gives me that feeling. Jesus. Ugh. Gross. Hey, don't drop your baby just because the chili dog is so delicious. <laughs> I mean, in their defense, that is a fucking good chili dog. In their defense, I will admit, if you're going to drop your baby on the floor uh, and it's going to do a flip over a chili dog, Tommy Burger chili dog is good. However, you know. I'm sure the baby was fine. <laughs> hmm. Floor pizza? I've never had any myself. But I've heard good things. The hell is Ares talking about? Shut up, bitch. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> so annoying. You know, like... Streaming is such a weird mental exercise because, like, on the one hand, you get these people that say shit like, what is he talking about? Or, like, tell tell that story or whatever, right? And then on the other hand, when you're talking about something and telling a story, you got these dumb fucks who are like, this story again. So it's like, <laughs> this is truly like a mental, like, stability exercise. It's no wonder that... Uh, you know, these streamers are losing their fucking minds and shit. Mm, you know? Hey, thanks J7PN and Liquid Metal Face. Thanks Plasma Lord. Mm, this way. Straight ahead. I mean, what are you doing? Easy My friend, shut up. Don't tell me how to drive. Can you please stop? Stop what? Thanks, Tommy Burger, PR manager. Dude, what are you talking about, man? All I've done this whole time is talk about how Tommy Burger is so good, it's almost worth dropping your baby on the floor over. You know? You should be fucking sending me a chili dog, you little bitch. Fuck you. You should be sending me a shitload of chili dogs. An entire kitty pool full of chili for my next bikini stream. Stupid bitch ass unappreciative motherfucker I love Tommy Burger but not their burgers hey your burgers suck for a place called Tommy Burger their burgers are trash but their chili dog is one of the best you could get and the chili is fucking good I know it is fucking good I don't know how they make it so, like, uh, it's, like, not juicy. You know how, like, some chili has, like, big-ass fucking beans and shit's mad juicy? Like, like, it's got, like, juice? I don't know. Runny? It's, like, runny and chunky. This shit is, like, mm, I disagree. The burger is great at Tommy's. Okay, look. Great? Because it's kind of whatever. Let me put it this way, okay? 
The burger at Tommy Burger is trash, but you could put that chili inside a shoe and that shit will be delicious. So my point is the burger at Tommy Burger sucks, but they cover it in a shitload of chili and it's delicious. That's my point. But the actual wiener on their hot dogs is fucking amazing. That's all I'm saying. I agree with you on the burger being good, but dude, Come on, man. You gotta admit it's mostly the chili in that case. Like, it's not like Tommy Burger fries are that good, but their chili cheese fries are pretty good. Because they fucking dump chili all over them. Thoughts on eggnog? I like eggnog, but uh, I don't really drink it very often, but I like it. I don't really drink alcohol either, so I don't have it like with, what do they do, put whiskey in it or some shit? But yeah, I like it. I'm not a hater. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I know, I know. It's just one letter off, too. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you guys are so predictable and dumb. But you do that shit on purpose. Because it's funny. Thank you. And it's your best bet at getting a laugh. <laughs> ah. Stupid motherfuckers. <clears throat> Ares, you are funny. Yeah, all right, red name. Thanks. Doesn't even. It doesn't exactly feel like a compliment coming from the least funny name color in the chat. But thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks, Timbo, and based butt drugs. Butt drugs? Thanks uh, for the Twitch Prime. Thanks, Oscar Meyer. Ah, I got a frog in my throat. Drink some water. Is there a guy in here? Before you hey, go drinking water you and at? spilling. How goes it, amigo? Very good. Thanks, Pouncil. Yeah, I'm feeling fucking good. Chilling. Trying to get rid of November. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there ain't, like, there's nothing sick happening in November and everything sick's happening in December, so I'm trying to hurry that shit up. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with November, though, I don't think. Wendy's Peppermint Frosty, it was trash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sucks. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Maybe I'm just in a good mood, but why did you try that, I guess? Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Why did you try that, dude? I could have told you that shit. It sounds like a disaster. Uh, I don't know. Wendy's anything, pretty much, you're in for, like, your, your chances of walking out of there happy is low. Wendy's? I don't know. I don't guess. I haven't had Wendy's. Like, the last time I had Wendy's was, like, I, it was, must have been at a tournament somewhere where there was a Wendy's. Hey, which school is it that has a Wendy's? Is it UCLA? Why the fuck would I have been at UCLA? No, maybe UCI? Or, I don't remember. Once, one of these schools where there was a food court and the only place open was a Wendy's. They had spicy nuggets. I remember that being pretty good, spicy nuggets. And they were like dirt <laughs> cheap too. Thank you. Which really made you feel like this must be high quality. Desk is locked. Let's go open it. Yeah. Hey, what are you Excuse looking me. at? Thanks for the shout out smile. 50 for 10 bucks. Thanks, G.O. Knife. Hey, all right. I don't know who the hell you are. Are you like a rapper? Hey, shouts out to Lupe. And thanks, Point Pressing Stick. Mm, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Just play it cool. 
give me one of those small keys, please. That's a big key. Don't tell me I don't have you. one. No way. What it is, Aris. Keep a trail. I will. Thanks, uh, Trineer Mega Mix. Damn. I'll listen to that. I like freestyle. That's one of my favorite music genres, actually. Freestyle? That shit? The, the thing is, it's not because musically I connect with it or, you know, like nothing deep. The thing that I like about freestyle is um, it's one of those genres where it's so hard not to jam when you're listening to that shit. It just makes your head move like you can't fucking do anything about it. It's, <laughs> it's like when they hit your knee and you kick. It's that kind of a response. That shit, it's fucking tight. Don't shoot that jizz at me, bitch. Yeah, I like freestyle. <clears throat> it could have something to do with where I grew up, I guess. And when I grew up. That probably has a lot to do with it. But it just really, uh, I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, thanks, Irish Nightmare. And King Hunter. Thanks. Freestyle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, December's gonna be tight, dude. Callisto Protocol. I thought that I forgot... I, I thought that I forgot to respond to that email that they sent me. But I did. But I haven't heard anything. They sent me an email saying, like, um, you know, hey... Play our game, please. I don't know. I don't think they're trying to give me any money or anything, but I don't give a fuck. I want to play that game. So, since I found out there's some weird-ass DLC bullshit. Oh, Deluxe Edition? And since I know I'm banking on that shit being tight, I decided that I'm going to tell them, hey, give me a code, bitch. But I haven't heard back. I guess it doesn't matter. The only real reason I, I was going to say give me a code, bitch, is because sometimes... When you accept a code from these game devs, sometimes the, the, what is it called? The thing that makes it so you can't stream? The um, uh, embargo will get lifted before the game is available to buy. That happens. So just in case that happens and all these other fucking streaming little bitches are playing that game and I can't play it because I'm the only one that didn't accept the code from their email because I just want to be able to make fun of the game with a clear conscience, you know, I end up being pissed off because I, everyone's playing it but me. So this time, backup strat, I said, yeah, let me get one of those, but I haven't heard anything back from them. You know? What gives? Hard mode is fourteen ninety nine. What does that mean? Too bad, man. Is that a joke? I just stopped smoking yesterday. <coughs> Rolling Excuse for me. Mama Mia. Wow, why am I caution <laughs> caution? Thank I've been you. getting bit. Uh thanks, Neural Hash. Hey Batgirl, thanks for the tier two. Big smile. Twenty four months. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Batgirl. Thank Thanks, K-Plox. And Italian Extreme. Yeah, man. Two years... You know, two years goes by fast, but so does ten years. The older you get, the faster time goes. It's like, you think that shit goes fast, but just wait till you're fucking however old I am. I don't even remember anymore because all these assholes add 10 years. Fucking bitches. Uh, but whatever the correct age is, it goes really fast. It goes really fast except for if it's the end of November this year. Slow ass, bitch ass November. Taking forever, dude. But usually it goes fast. N like most of the time. Ho? Huh? What the fuck? Goosh. Man, but you know this pistol ammo is pretty much worthless. Because everyone after this point is going to be buff. 
Mm -hmm. Thanks, AFK. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Himalayan Haze. Green marijuana? Going in. Did you make orange juice? No, I haven't. But I might tomorrow. Rolling for Samir. I haven't I haven't yet. I mean those fucking oranges aren't going anywhere, man. They're oranges. Uh Thank thanks. B uh Blaga. Hey, this name sucks. Thanks. Uh thanks. Mm, listen to my calls. Happy Big Friday. Is this what you're supposed to do? I think so. Fruit flies keep eating my oranges. That's crazy. You know, I, I was thinking about that. Since I was, like, sizing up my tree and, like, looking at that shit to see where all the oranges are. I thought to myself, man, I wonder why all these different fucking creatures outside don't just fucking rob the oranges. But... I don't know why they don't. <laughs> Thank you. Don't they know that shit's free? <laughs> I mean, they could steal Thank them. You. They're too sour. <laughs> Thank you. Animals don't like oranges? That's weird. They hate citrus? Hmm. Thanks, Jimbo Slice. And B. Cragen. And Billy Hoyle. Hey, Billy. Thanks for the tier three. Um... Speaking of Kragen, I went and I got my mom windshield wipers and then fucking forgot to put them on. Uh, but the good news is it never rains here, so it doesn't matter. I'll just do it next time. Cage. Mm, thanks, Orange Chicken. Thanks, Jimbo Slice. Thanks again, Billy Hoyle. Happy Big Friday. Hey, you guys seem like you're in a pretty good mood. Are you guys drunk? I guess it's Saturday night. Don't drive. I haven't had alcohol in such a long time, but that shit's pretty fun. <laughs> the trophy's mine. Where's Waldo? Uh, as long as it's in moderation, I think alcohol is pretty fun. I just don't do it very often. I got the gout. You prefer smoking? A lot of people do. Uh, thanks, Waldo. First try and liquid gold. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, three duck. Thanks, Waldo. First try. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Fucking popping off. <clears throat> no. Nice. Mierda. Next caller. Damn, man. People have been not hitting that shit lately. Hey, thanks, Billy Hoyle. There are no... It's not weighted. The odds are all equal. Bunch of scrubs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! This guy will bite you. And he bites hard. Uh, thanks, Joke a Wild. <laughs> and Thank crow you. heart yeah i guess thanksgiving was like the big november excitement and now that it's over it's like damn man hurry that shit up <clears throat> done with november thanksgiving was fucking cool though i re-rolled 28 <laughs> times for Thank volume you. what does that mean I know what volume is, so I know you're talking about Nikkei, but what do you mean re-rolled? You mean created a new email and made a new account? I hate you. That game sucks, dude. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's not even like... It's worse than the usual. That game sucks. I watched it. That game sucks. 
That game... Uh, that game sucks. You know the worst part about it? The part that really is, like, rough? There are a lot of, like, starving artists out there who are really talented and they draw, like, big titty bitches and shit. And that's, like, what they do. But they can't, like, pay their bills and shit. When all this game is, is a few lucky artists and some random asshole who just graduated from UTI or whatever and now is making this weak-ass cell phone game, but it's making trillions. I mean, basically my point is there's really no game there. There's no game there. Any game that's there is less than 1%. It's like how much juice there is in Sunny Delight. Or even less. It's like how much juice there is in, like, Arizona tea. This shit is, like, less than 1%. Yeah, Capri Sun. There's no juice in there. There's no game there. The whole thing is gambling and titties and you getting tricked into thinking that you like it. That's the whole thing. Uh, but it could say juice on the label... It can say this is a video game because you do play it in a way, but that's not juice, dude. That ain't juice. Read the ingredients, man. That ain't juice. <coughs> Thanks, Emre and Waldo Bobaldo and Waldo Second Try. Did you get any of those? Leg legally, they're orange drink. Let me get some of that purple stuff. Uh, thanks, Jovax and Crowheart and Taka <laughs> Thank you. and everyone. I used to think that YooHoo was hella good when I was a kid, and then I found out there's no milk in that shit. That shit is just water. Does not need to be refrigerated either, I don't think. There's no milk. Gross. Same with Sunny D. I found out that Sunny D, at a young age, I found out that Sunny Delight has oil in it. Some kind of oil. I forget what kind. It's in the ingredients. Ever since I found out about that, it tasted oily to me. Like, I could, like, every time I drink Sunny Delight, I could taste this, like, weird oil. It's seed oil? Is that what it is? I don't know, whatever it is. So I haven't really liked Sunny Delight either because of that. Oh, and Capri Sun? Here, I'll do you a, fav a favor, Fat, so help you drink more water. Let me ruin Capri Sun for you, too. <laughs> you know, uh, Rip, one time, he started drinking out of his Capri Sun, and that shit had worms in it. And so he found out, after research, and I did research, too, that's common. Capri Sun can have worms in it if the bag is, like, not 100% sealed, which happens because it's a soft bag. So what happens is, because the bag is not clear, you won't know. You'll poke that shit in. You can't see the liquid because it's in a, uh, you know, it's in the bag. You drink that shit, worms down the hatch. Then, because of, like, legal lawsuits, <laughs> Capri Sun changed the back of their thing. And now it is clear. It didn't used to be clear. The pouch... Used to not be clear, but now it is, so you can see the worms just in case. That's true. Google it. Anyway, I have not had a Capri Sun since then. <laughs> Fuck that. But you can look at it now. <coughs> so it's safe. Drink water. But not if you're in Mexico. Or probably some other places. <laughs> Looking sharp tonight, Aris. Thanks, it's my best shirt. Mm, thanks. <coughs> Young Money Fish Sticks? <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks very much. Thanks, Akira and Lucas and Waldo for real. Thanks. Arizona's Go Hard. My favorite one is the one that's like a snake oil, like herbal tonic or whatever. That's my favorite Arizona. I forget what it's the actual flavor is called, but it's yellow and it has red letters on it. Yeah, the snake oil. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's my favorite one. RX. I think that's what it is. The RX snake oil one. I like that one. Arizona has been so popular since I was a kid. I remember people like when I was in middle school, I remember these like, you know how these little bitches come in here like uh, begging for subs or, you know, like that classic fucking Snoop Dogg. I just stopped smoking yesterday. Those guys have existed since middle school. You'd be drinking your Arizona and they'd come up and be like, hey, let me get a let me get a swig of that, you know. And it's like, dude, man, fuck you. But you wanted to be cool, right? So sometimes you'd let someone have a sip of your Arizona. And these cans, these cans are like fucking eight inches. They're the big can. So this motherfucker's tilting that shit all the way back. Like, you know, come on, man. You know they sell this. Just stop smoking yesterday. No matter what, they're always there. Fucking little bitches. Uh... Did I drain the downstairs? I did. Now I have to fight the guy, I think. I don't even remember. Let me go back to the thing. It's not time to fight the guy. Maybe it is. <clears throat> yeah, it was 99 cents. How much is it now? It must have been like seven years ago or something now. Eight years ago, I was at 7-Eleven and I bought... I wanted to buy chocolate chip cookies. And I looked in the bag... And there were two instead of three, but they were still the same price. And I realized at that moment, this is going to keep happening forever. The longer I live, the more I'm going to realize that shit is bullshit, dude. It's bullshit. But you got to stop getting pissed about it. It's just the way it is. You're better off just being cool. Trust me. You're better off just being cool. Because, I mean, if you want to live long enough to see how expensive everything gets, then you're going to have to keep it cool. Low stress, dude. You have to. Where the fuck do you go? Oh, this happens a lot. Wow. This happens a lot. Okay, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's the key inside the room. That key doesn't actually... It's invisible. It's the invisible key again. Watch this. It's the invisible key. I remembered this time. Arizona is still 99 cents. That's incredible. 99 cents is trash these days. You can't even get a little homie at the Del Taco for 99 cents. Shit is crazy. Bruised my toe, <laughs> dropped one of those cans on it. Arizona? Bruised my toe, gotta be careful. In here, this is what I fucked up. Man, that's rough. That reminds me of all those like people who drop heavy things on their toes and the finger comes off. That's never happened to me, but it sounds awful. Look at it! Look at this fucking key, dude. Look at this key. You can't see that shit until it twinkles. That's bullshit. I always miss that stupid key. Yeah, that's really common. A lot of people... No, you know what happens is a lot of people drop weights. All these, like, gym users... They're, like, lifting weights and shit, and they'll just drop weights on their feet. <laughs> Funny. Gross. Gym users. I mean, I don't care what you do. But for me, that shit is so gross. It reminds me of the anime sweet. Like that weird tropical sensation, even though you're indoors. <laughs> Thank you. Nah. I'm out of here.
I should prepare for the the fight. That also kills me a lot. Anime humidity? No. No thanks. I don't want that. I ate that sandwich today that I like, that egg sandwich. You know what, dude? I only recently have discovered how well uh, like a sunny side up egg, specifically the yolk, goes with avocado. What did this fucking moron do? What'd you do, moron? Why was I timed out for the last comment? I don't understand. Man, shut up, bitch, dude. People get timed out in here just for fun. Probably because someone didn't like you, dude. What makes you think you deserve a, a explanation? What was his last comment? Uh, I colored my name red just for being funny. <laughs> Thank you. Man, what makes you think you deserve an explanation? You're a dumb bitch, that's why. Why do you think you got timed out? Take a wild guess, red name. You think it's because you're so charismatic and because everyone loves you? Is that why you think you got timed out? Fucking, it's a mystery. I wonder why I got timed out. Because you are not fucking likable, dude. Just some advice for you for next time, you know? Try it. Maybe try a little charisma. Stupid moron. Uh, anyway, I didn't ban you. So in theory, it should grow back. And then hopefully next time you won't think you deserve an explanation. But I really enjoyed giving you an explanation. So maybe I will. <coughs> that was pretty fun. It reminds me of those stress relief uh, things. You know that you squeeze... Titties, that's what they're called. Oh, hey, Nyans. Damn, speaking of. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you. Mm, thanks, Ale Phalanx. And Mistake. And thanks, Tank Top Fridays. And Hollow Cinder. And Luke. And Sonic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man, this name is unacceptable. <laughs> Read it, lol. How about I fucking shoot you, lol? Read it, lol. Fuck you. Uh, anyway. His name is Sonic Fox's dog. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Whatever. Uh, thanks, Hollow Cinder and Jazzy Bucks and everyone. You got really lucky. You got really lucky that I like to smile. All right, stupid bitch. <laughs> you got lucky. Uh, anyway, clip it. Someone shoot that guy. I mean, whatever. Who cares, man? Everything gets fucking clipped these days. As long as I got out of that titties shit that just happened. Uh, anyway, hey, Nyan. Thank you. That was smooth. You like those moves? Um, I'm preparing for the fight. I need shotgun ammo. Hey, you guys better be on your best behavior, dude. Just because uh, I say or do some shit doesn't mean you will live if you try it. Alright? I'm a fucking licensed and uh, sanctioned Twitch actor. I got so much shotgun ammo. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. I'm ready. Damn. That's a lot. <coughs> Mm, thanks, Hover Round and Drunken Dice. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, thanks, Killer Wolf. Did you guys finish um, the Gordon show? What did you do? Man, everyone's out for it. The Gordon show. 
dude, I love taquitos. I don't even really know what the difference between flautas and taquitos is, but I love flautas more. I think it's flour tortillas versus corn, right? That's the difference, right? It's not the same, dude. You're just a fucking uncultured gringo, dude. It's the tortilla. Yeah, one is corn, other is flour. Okay, that's what I thought. I didn't want to, like, make claims and then all you Mexican dudes... I know you're already butthurt because of the whole soccer thing. <laughs> My bad. Too soon? Anyway, uh, I didn't want you guys to get even more pissed. Uh, but... <laughs> Man, soccer jokes, dude, they're so whack. I don't even get it. But, I mean, I'm in. Every, everyone else is in, I'm in. But soccer jokes? Jesus. This reminds me of when... Remember when Twitch banned saying blind playthrough in your title for a first-time playthrough because it offended blind people? When that's not true. Not one blind person ever complained about that. But they banned that on Twitch. You can't say blind playthrough anymore. And then, because they banned that, everyone in every chat room on Twitch was making blind jokes. Like, braille jokes and making fun of blind people and shit. In my entire life, I've never heard of anyone making fun of blind people. I've heard of making fun of every kind of person. But I never heard of blind people getting made fun of. Until Twitch decided to ban blind playthrough. You know? Just saying. Anyway, I didn't bring any heels. I'll go back. <coughs> what does this have to do with anything anyway? Blind playthrough motherfuckers. Uh, what does this have to do with anything? Mierda. Die 1000 deaths. Hey, thanks, Taquito. Oh, Taquitos. What does that have to do with Taquitos? I love Taquitos. Uh, thanks, um, Taquito <laughs> whatever, and Labadoozy, <laughs> and thanks you. Las Paco, or whatever. Porridge? I love porridge. I wish I knew exactly what you were talking about. I feel like porridge is not a, it's kind of like a genre. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, too general, dude. That's like... I mean, I guess you could say that. Do you like talkies? Shut up, bitch. Check the fucking archive. No. Um, ask a better question. A more interesting one. Where's my green herbs? There we go. Uh, thanks, old socks. And thanks, Alaska Paco or whatever. I mean, I guess I could make some more. Talkies are trash? I think so. I think that talkies are trash. Personally, I don't like the flavors. I don't like the gimmicky, rolled-up <laughs> tortilla shit. Nah. I think corn or flour tortillas really depends on what you're eating. Like, if you're eating tacos like real tacos street tacos you can't have a flour tortilla that's some weird shit and if you're eating like you know it depends it really depends on what you're eating i think they're both good corn is definitely more authentic to me but it depends on what you're eating like i said like what about a quesadilla you're gonna make a quesadilla with a corn taco dude that shit is not gonna be that good Compared to flour? Or a burrito? Yeah, exactly. Think about it, man. It depends. But you know what, though? There's always an exception. I remember there was this taco place when I grew up. And they used to do fried hard-shelled tacos. But their formula of doing it was not like what you would expect. It wasn't like a taco shell that they put stuff in. What they would do is they would take a flour tortilla and they would put the meat in it, they would put the cheese in it, and then they would deep fry all that shit together. And then when they pull it out, it would like 
you know, it was like a really good fucking taco. <clears throat> yeah, they they had these like um, deep frying things that were taco shaped, so they would fry the whole thing in one. It was really fucking good, delicious. And they had this green sauce that was crazy. It was one of those like green, uh, like uh, what's it called, queso sauce. It wasn't like a guacamole. It was just green. I don't fucking know what it was. No, it wasn't salsa verga either. It wasn't like salsa. It was like one of those like crema and other shit. No, this was not a birria taco. It was just a hard taco. Like, you know how if you go to any place and you say, oh, let me get a hard taco? That was their version of a hard taco. Shit was fucking good. I don't need this. Don't take it. Salsa Verga is good, but I prefer Rojo, personally. Break time, cut. Thanks for the reminder. Sometimes I forget. Hey, Manny Biggs. Thanks, dude. 107. Isn't that crazy? Shit's like a uh, fucking long-ass time. Where's this book? Where is this fucking book? You're missing a book, dude. Uh, okay, well, I'll stand here, and when I get back, that toothless grin on the bookshelf is gonna tell me that I'm missing a book. It's a message to future self. <coughs> thanks, Crap Monkey. And everyone. Anyone I didn't thank, my bad. Alright, I'm gonna pause this shit. I have to... How come I can't pause the sound? I'm gonna get up, do a little stretch, come back, continue this flawless playthrough. Be back. Five to seven, please. Poof. Good break. I'm ready to kill Plant 420. Thanks, Crap Monkey. Thanks again, Manny Biggs. Let's see here. The sound. Oh, yeah. Toothless Grin, I remember. Feeling pretty good. Big Saturday. Don't drink and drive. I mean, you can if you want, I guess, but don't. I did my part. Don't recommend it. You know, you can even get a ticket for DUI. If you, like, let's say you think you're being responsible. You leave the bar and you... Say, okay, I'm going to take a nap in my car. So you get in the driver's seat. You put the key in the ignition. If it's a new car, you know, you have the radio on. If that shit happens and a cop sees you, you can get a DUI. I, that's true. You could get a DUI. Just for napping. You think you're being, uh, you know, responsible. But get in the passenger seat, amigo. Your buddy had one, 15K in the toilet, 15K. You know how many times you could roll for volume with 15K, dude? That hey, Nico, is let's a get Jack shitload. In the box, okay? But someone's gotta train all these, you know, cops. They don't, they don't get to that perfect flawless uh, level without all that training they get. What do you think pays for that? 15k for taking a nap in the driver's seat. I know lots of people who have gotten shit like that. Like, um, uh, you know, you just gotta know the street code, man. That's like street shit. Where's the book? Like, you don't want to take, uh, uh, sobriety tests? That's street shit. How do you not know that? You don't ever take a sobriety test, ever. That's like... The dumbest thing ever. You can't even walk in a straight line when you're sober. Why the fuck would you even do that shit? Don't do it. Uh, and backwards alphabet? 
That is impossible, dude. Backwards alphabet? Fuck you, dude. Take me to jail. That's what you gotta do. That's what you have to do. You gotta say, hey, take me to jail. Test my blood when we get to jail. I got all night, officer. Take me to jail and test my blood. That's the strat. Because it gives you so much time to sober up. By the time they test your blood, get you over there, do all the paperwork, the cop's fat. By the time you get there and it's done, you're going to be legal. You're good to go. Ready to drive home. But you probably will get your car towed and it's going to be all night. And yeah, it's not going to be fun, but it's better than 15K. 500 bucks impound fee versus 15K. Unless you're stoned. Dude, yeah, this guy I, I was in when I was in Seattle. Seattle is a very green marijuana type of place. But though I don't know, I don't know the details, but everyone's a stoner there. And uh, this guy I know had a DUI from green marijuana. Isn't that crazy? DUI, full blown. That's crazy. In Hawaii? I wonder if it depends what, probably where you are. But I think that's the case. You would think that wouldn't be such a big deal in Seattle is my point. Because everyone's a fucking stoner. I bet the cop that pulled him over was a stoner. So, that's just weird. Where do you get the red book? That's why you get high on pills instead? Dude, one time I got prescribed some kind of shit and it was a painkiller. I think it was called... I don't remember what it was called, but you're not... I was like, it said, you know, don't operate a motor vehicle or whatever. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I know how to drive. Holy moly. Thank you. That shit was crazy. You don't know how to drive. Like you... I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. That shit was not fentanyl. It was like, damn, I don't remember what the name of it was. But that shit was crazy, man. That shit turns you into the Joker in the police car. <laughs> Fucking maniac, dude. Um, Hey, you know where the... Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Uh, Tramadol, that's it. Hey, we got a street pharmacist in here. It was Tramadol. That was it. I'm ready. I'm ready for plant 420. Tramadol fucks you up. Dude, you should try driving 100 miles per hour on that shit. Yeah, it does. Uh, I immediately exited the freeway after that. I was like, uh, this is... Definitely a bad idea. And I immediately pulled off the freeway. I could instantly realize, like, holy shit, that bottle was right. You know? That was a crazy idea. Don't do that. Painkillers make your say jam itch? Are you talking about your dick or your nose? Or your asshole? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh, anyway. The best thing about that joke is he's a pretty nice guy. You know? Definitely not worthy of calling him an asshole. But... So? Who cares? <laughs> Thank you. I think that dude that makes those uh, Game Ranks videos looks like Seijin. Uh, Baldino? I think he looks like Seijin. No offense. Is she gonna save me? Chris. 
That's what happens when you say, don't heal me. Right? Oh, no! Oh, take this file with fuck. You. Use the information. This in is in order to make the potion. And the potion? Becca, please. Oh, no. Chris, don't die. <laughs> now I have to create the vigil before Chris dies. This game is pretty deep. That is, this is not a guarantee that it'll happen. You have to choose this scenario. Damn it, dude, that sucks. Cause this is not like, I might, he might die, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Uh, and I have to do this, oh, I fucked up. Oh, I had it. Oh, hold on, I got this. Right here. Right here. Hold on. Man, puzzles are cool. But when they're cool. I got it right here. Watch this. Hold on, right here, watch this. Chris. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, I don't really like him that much. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks, substantial phallus energy. Any of you guys know how to solve this? Like that. Uh, hey, thanks. Thanks, Goo Sauce. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're on a schedule here. Thanks, Surreal Thank Bite. You. Captain Flintlock. Thanks, D's Nuts. And very misinformed. Sorry if I missed your thank, thank yous. Uh, and thanks, Surreal. Oh, yeah, I already thanked you. Get thanked twice, bitch. Thanks, D is Sargs. Happy Big Friday. Oh, God, I forgot about Chris. Okay, one, two, three. What? Oh, no, I don't remember how to do this in this game. You need a container. Where are the container? Oh. Oh. Okay. Give me that. Don't worry, I got this. Chris is going to live. I'll save him. You got to get all these containers first. You might want to write this down. Uh, there are four containers. <laughs> but they you. don't contain anything yet. Uh, okay, that's four containers. Then... Uh, we got four. Do I want four? Yeah, I'll take some four. So that's green. Four equals green. This is kind of like math, so you may not like it, but I think it's pretty important to know the formula. So that's two. Now we got two and four. Two is red. Math dance game. <clears throat> I never really liked it myself, to be honest. Um... I don't need to know that. What I need to know is this. I already know that, don't I? Red. Hey, do you guys know how to do this? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Chris is dead. Do I need six? Is that what I need? Man, Chris is dead as fuck. I think I need 16. Do I need 16? 
6 plus 7, right? 1 plus 2. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Okay, I got this. First, I'll make some 6. Okay, I got yellow number 6. Uh, then I need to make some uh, 3. So first thing I need to do is get some water. Water's 1. Man, I fucked up doing this. But I, at least now I know how to do this. Like, how to trigger this event. And then I need two. This is... No, don't get this. This is four. I need two. No. Two. Chris is dead as fuck. You never know. He could live. Oh, man. And I have to take this shit downstairs, too? Okay, this is two. So one and... Uh, okay, two plus... Water. That's three. That's purple. Okay, so now I have six and I have three, right? Yo! Three plus four is seven. I know that. Oh! Oh! Oh, fucking Chris is dead. Chris is dead. I don't know why that didn't work, but uh, it didn't work. That didn't work. Uh, so I'm going to fill this with some one. Man, what the fuck was the problem there? Why didn't that work? Get some two. That was three plus six? Ah, oh, it was three plus six. Why did you add three to six? I need to add three to four. Okay, so this is four. Okay, I got this. Don't worry. Chris is going to be fine. He's fine. Watch this. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that's four, right? So now we got one. Adding one to two gives us three. Oh, nice. Okay, now I have seven. So now all I need is some two and some four, which will give me some six. And then I'll combine the six with the seven, and we're in business. Vigil Town. Right? And then Chris is alive. Perfectly living and healthy and not dead. Playthrough saved. Right? Right? Don't fuck this up. That's six. Right? Six plus seven, please. Thirteen? Hey, let me see that in instructions again, bitch. Thirteen plus three? I have to make another three. Okay, that's one. Man, Chris is toast. Okay, we got two. Gulp. Okay. Combine with water. That's three. Oh, I got spooked for a second. Okay, I got the vigil. Now I have to take it myself to the root. You got to get it from the root of the problem. So now... Don't worry about Chris, he's fine. He's just fighting with the the plant. God damn it. He could be dead. I'm not sure. It's uh this way. <laughs> Fuck. Don't get lost, please. That's the last thing I need. Is he gonna die? He could. Fuck. Okay. There's a ladder. He's getting tentacled as we speak. Oh. Top speed, Rebecca. Chris's life depends on you. Man, fuck Chris. I just want to beat the game, though. This is fucked up because you can avoid this entire section. So it's a big mistake on my part. Because you can fight the plant and just shoot him to death. Like a regular enemy. Okay. This is it. That must mean Chris is alive, right? If it allows me to do this... That has to mean Chris lived. No time to check? Why is there no time to check? Uh-oh. Does that mean that he's not alive? What the fuck was this? 
What was that weird ass iconic cutscene? Is he dead? She made like a I'm too late gesture. He's dead? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. What? Man, this is a roller coaster ride. Oh, he's hella not dead. Oh! That didn't even hurt. Shoot this motherfucker. Ah. And you still have to fight him? Ah! And that's how it's done. I mean, I knew it would work out the whole time. I wasn't worried for a second. Simple as that. Barely even yellow fine. Look at that. Yellow fine, dude. Not bad. Where's Rebecca? I need to thank her. Uh, thanks, Bad Doge. And Dun Gun Gwen. Or whatever. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> so much for him, we got to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. Saved again. I just... Hmm? Really, thank you. He's got a way with the ladies. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Yeah, I sure. Guarantee it. Of course I would. <laughs> well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the court. I'll save her later. Florida, but he is still you get the opportunity. The he obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. Radio law? Calm radio? the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago. I think I will be able to make something. What? Nice fucking sentence. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. At the pharmaceutical room? What the fuck? That sentence sucked ass. Is she in there? Maybe that means I could go in here and heal. Hey. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Huh? Would you like me to? Yeah. Yes, please <laughs> do something for me, temporarily. The lights turn off? In the dark? Why the lights gotta turn off for, unless it's sexual? He nutted. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? <laughs> it's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. That's it? <laughs> oh. Chris, take care. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I'm so excited for that new PoE shit to start. I can't wait. Plus, Callisto Protocol. So many cool things going on in December. It's going to be tight. Wesker. I've been dabbling a little bit with explosive arrow ballistas Chris, on up. SSF. My words exactly. SSF is such a fun mode, too. Where's Jill? I like it. Aren't you with Jill? And that's why I think that that we ruthless mode will be fun because I like getting hype about drops. While we were scouting around, I hope she's okay. I see. Yeah. Well, it's not your fault. Excuse this me. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. 
we are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safe. I wonder if he tells I'll you to do that because he knows the hunters are loose in the okay. mansion. Because Wesker's a That's bad cool. guy. He tells you to go back into the mansion right now while he's leaving the mansion. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I know Ruthless Mode is really different, but to me, it seems as though, or at least I'm going to treat it like a brand new game that I already know how to play. Because that's what it is. It's just a brand new game, but you know the rules of it. Like, you know what the items do, and you know what the stats are, and you know where to go. It's just that everything else is completely different. No teleport, no support gems. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. That's a lot of shotgun shells. Uh, but I'm keeping them. That looks good. Do I need a crank? Probably not. No. Yeah, getting hype picking up yellow items sounds really cool. It's closer to D2. I recently played a bunch of D2, so maybe that's why I don't mind. I'm gonna take a blue herb. <coughs> RF Inquisitor? Uh, really? I heard that um, stacking cold skills is really good because you don't need support gems. You just use all the different cold skills. Cold damage over time. I didn't get invited to the beta, but I'm going to league start it when the PC starts. The PC version, I mean. You think there's going to be a big p balance patch? That sounds interesting. Do you prefer old school games over new ones? Old school RE games? Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, I do. You mean like Resident Evil 8, dude? Are you asking if I prefer this over Resident Evil 8? That DLC was pretty sick, I gotta admit. The third person view. Shit was hype. One thing I hate about playing SSF is that. Sometimes your luck can be really crazy good, but only if you're playing trade. I hate that. Like, you drop all these fucking dope-ass items or, like, currency and shit, and it's like, that shit is worthless in SSF. That's the part I don't like. So, it's kind of comparable. I guess it's an even trade-off. The dopamine levels are pretty even. Because you still get hype about little things. Because you can't just buy everything. But that's kind of how trade on console is anyway. You can't really buy everything anyway. Oh, iconic cutscene. What's SSF? It stands for Solo Cell Found. Did you think it was going to be an insult like ESL? Uh, anyway, it stands for Solo Cell Found. So no trading. You just found everything yourself. Single player, no trading. Jesus, what the fuck was that shit, dude? Go in there. Now that I've taken damage, that means that these guys can one-shot. That's bad news. I don't like that. Makes me want to eat a green herb. Damn. Well, I at least I'm going to combine these two to make space. Roll up a little spliff. Uh, 
thanks, expect defeat. Hey, Tropical Punch. Thanks, dude. Happy Big Friday. Hope everyone had a nice holiday. Man, I hope you guys finished your uh, leftovers because, dude, to me, that's the worst when you're like four days in and you are at this point, you're just breaking eggs over that shit or making weird sandwiches out of that shit. That's the worst. I took home just the right amount, like one and a half to two meals worth of leftovers. You love it? That's tight. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe the leftovers you got are fucking top tier. They'll never get old. I feel like I could eat pizza every day. Uh, and I almost do. Some people just like some things. Unlimited amount of like. I could. Easy. Oh! I forgot. Go in here. Spicy Brussels sprouts? I like Brussels sprouts a lot. And asparagus and green beans and um, what else do I like, chat? Yeah, I like some veggies. I mean, meat's hella good too. I love meat, like uh, cold cuts and shit like that. Why do you think I got gout? Broccoli's great. I don't like the... No offense to you Chinese guys, but I don't like Chinese broccoli. That stemmy shit. I like that, you know, all that shit on top. That topping. That that weird hat. <laughs> Whatever, man. We don't all have to like the same shit. Mm. All right, fine. It's pretty cool, I guess. Jesus, man. It's called Chinese broccoli, dude. What do you want me to do? I don't think it's that good. That shit's all stem. I got influenced. That's not being influenced. That's being pressured. Forcing me to wear the ribbon. I don't want to wear the ribbon. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, sexy sax, man. I don't want to wear it. Man, I like jackpots. Oh. Ah! Damn, fucking shoot this little bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Fucker. That's how it's done. There's two more upstairs. I think that I took a little bit of damage. That sucks. Even a tiny bit of damage means they could kill you with the next hit. Stupid bitches. Mm. Thanks, SSJB. Broccolini. I don't know if I know what that is off the top of my head. I'm sure I've had it, though. I just can't put my finger in it at the moment. Bang. Oh! Oh, my God. Okay, eat one of those. That's good enough. Now, you! Ha! 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 Oh, fuck! Yeah! Go over here. Turn around. Yeah! Wake him up from behind. Cross up, ground cross up. Holy shit! Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, okay. Mistakes were made. I didn't count how many shells. Yeah! Not too bad. Took some damage. Man, fuck. Not too bad. Took some damage. Fuck. Uh, did I did I leave anything in that room? I did. I didn't have room in my inventory, did I? Go back. Took some damage. What time is it in Europe now? have a date with a rich but ugly dude any strats uh are you a dude <laughs> mm. 
Mm. No. <clears throat> Don't ask questions, I guess. Uh, anyway, thank you again, everybody. What am I in here for? A heal? Green herb? Okay, and... Oh, yeah, I know what I'm in here for. This isn't even where you're supposed to go. Uh, hey, you guys better be very careful what you say in here. I don't want you to die now. You don't realize how close you are. So be very careful the types of things you say. Okay, this is what I'm doing here. Um, orange chicken. I have a sandwich. Right. Oh, that's what I was gonna tell ATP you. ATP suspect. Hey, thanks, Kerchise and Brock the Cock Lesnar. Um, I recently realized how well avocado goes with sunny side up eggs, or like you know, egg yolk. That shit is in a sandwich I get. That is so good. I don't even usually like avocado that much. But when there's egg yolk involved, it really enhances avocado. Shit is really good. Very satisfying. Yeah, it's like a fancy grilled cheese, basically. It's, um... It's got cheese and avocado tomato and it i think it comes with bacon but i don't get the bacon i say no bacon which is difficult to do every single time that shit never becomes easy it's easy not eating bacon but it's very difficult knowing that you are paying for something and it is delicious but you don't want it. That shit sucks. But I'd rather be able to walk than eat bacon. Since that's the only choice I have. You know? But bacon is fucking good. It's delicious. Have you ever tried candied bacon? That shit should be illegal. They like fry it up, but they put brown sugar and syrup and shit on it while it's f like frying. So it becomes caramelized and it gets like a bark. Woo wee. Uh, excuse me, that shit is fucking good. The drug, whatever, whatever, is God tier for gout. My um, doctor prescribed some shit for my gout, but I didn't take it. I told her I don't want to. I'll just drink more water. Nah. I'm grass fed, dude. I'll do it the old fashioned way. Tramadol is god tier for gout. Yeah, Tramadol and the freeway. <gasps> oh! Excuse me. I don't even know why I've been shooting these guys. I should just fucking run. Yeah, more water. Best best strat. Even if you are like uh, drinking, no, no matter what. I mean, as long as assuming you're a human. If you're not a human, then I'm not talking to you. But if you're a human, you should drink water. A lot of it. That's like a universal, no matter what your problem is, water is going to fix it. Don't do anything stupid, bitch. Okay, that's all I needed.
since. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? These guys are everywhere, dude. Reload the damn gun. Oh. I'm about to get the fucking Magnum Peon. Oh. 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 That was an input bug. Fuck. Pickle juice. Oh, yeah. Man, I haven't been in here for a while. Doesn't even look how I remember. What the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, nice. I have enough room. I haven't been here in a really long time. Uh, thanks, Brandini. Thanks for the subscription. I haven't really been into watching anything lately. I'm sick of that shit. There haven't been any cool movies either. That I could think of, at least. You guys know anything about that Guillermo del, del Toro shit on Netflix? I didn't want to spoil it by watching the trailer, but it looks kind of cool. It's trash? Oh, bummer. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a minute, but you don't know shit, though. That's the thing. It might be worth. Uh, I'm probably going to save it. I think it's probably... Do you think it's something worth watching for girlfriend season? Not by myself. Some episodes are okay. It's okay. Oh! This fucking guy. Numeric panel. You don't know the pass number. Where is the fucking pass number for this thing? Uh, Pause. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. And I'm gonna run... To the snake? First I'm gonna go here. Yeah! Perfect. Dodge. Over here. Um... Thanks, Anatech. <laughs> Thank you. And Shoddy and Tanny Tun or whatever. Let me in here. Nah, I don't really give a fuck about this topic. This topic sucks. Because uh, the thing is, when you say... When you get into this topic, everyone starts giving you their recommendation for something that I don't even give a fuck about. Like, I ain't trying to fucking watch anything. TV shows suck, dude. And, like, I'm not trying... Definitely not trying to get your opinion on one. No offense or anything. The Chinese broccoli community and the Mexican soccer-loving community are both after me today. I want a predator mask. Thanks to real NFL Tom Brady. <laughs> the real NFL Tom Brady, huh? I'll give it up. Uh, let me take a green herb. There's no such thing. There's only one real Tom Brady. That's the MK one. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, bitch. Come on in, X2. Thanks, Danalds. Damn. Jump scare. And I'm coming. I bought two of those sandwiches, so there's one in the fridge right now. That I'm gonna have a word with later tonight. After I'm done streaming. Shit's gonna be delish. Give me that sweet magnum. I'm gonna use this magnum on the snake. Maybe that's a waste. Uh, do you like Jackie Brown? The Tarantino movie? Yeah, I do. I prefer the one, those ones, the ones that are like conversation based, dialogue based. <gasps> Fuck you. Yeah, I like Jackie Brown. I like Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction and the ones that are like conversation dialogue. 
I, I don't mind like Kill Bill and the visual ones, but I just don't prefer them. Oh yeah, Hateful Eight is awesome. I love Hateful Eight. I think that movie is amazing. Um, upstairs. There's gonna be a dude in that room, so I might as well go through this room. Play it safe. Safer. Yeah, I've seen the Hateful Eight director's cut. It's really good. That's part of the reason why I know I love that movie, because I liked the four-hour version of it. <laughs> I didn't even feel it... Like, I didn't think it was four hours, basically. But I did watch it. It's segmented. It's segmented. They turned it into a four one-hour episode miniseries. Excuse me. Ah, fuck. Come on. Oh, that was close. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, I like that movie. That movie's tight. Uh, that's not enough heals, I don't think, unfortunately. I better go downstairs. Get more. Yeah, Kurt Russell's awesome. He's one of my favorite actors. That guy is awesome. I like him a lot more than, like, you know, when, when I was growing up, everyone always liked those, all, all the same action heroes, but I never liked Nicolas Cage and, uh, like, a few other action heroes. I just never really liked them, but I did like, uh, like, Arnold, Bruce Willis, and uh, the guy you just mentioned, whatever his name was. I didn't like Steven Seagal either. Uh, I never liked him. But I like Jackie Chan. Mm, I never. I I was not that into Stallone either, personally. I know a lot of people really liked Stallone, but for me, he's kind of May. Definitely Arnold over S Stallone for me. If you're gonna compare the two. Oh, yeah, Van Damme. I forgot about that guy. Van Damme. That guy sucked. Uh, he stunk. He was the worst of all to me. Like, to me, I felt like every movie he was in, he was like the, the Keanu Reeves except not likable. You know how like, Keanu Reeves is the same character in every fucking movie? But at least he's pretty cool. That guy... He's the same fucking character in every movie, but he was not cool. Uh, and he all, always did the same finishing move, didn't he? He always did this jumping, like, slow motion kick. I was like, man, dude, I already fucking saw this movie. I got this shit on VHS. You know? Yeah, a lot of people like Bloodsport, but, I mean, even if Bloodsport is cool... <laughs> It's not cool enough for me to think that that guy's not whack. Like, Under Siege was cool, but Steven Seagal is whack. You know what I mean? There are a lot of movies that have people I don't like in them where I like the movie. This is not the right way. There's a ton of movies like that. I haven't seen Equalizer. Are you thinking of Equilibrium? Equalizer. That's probably your weak ass game that you're developing, right? Good morning, European guy. Greetings from America. Denzel Washington movie? I like that guy. I like Denzel Washington. But I really dislike some of his movies. Like, um, oh yeah, that one, uh, that one with Gary Oldman. I hate that movie. That movie fucking sucks. Uh, I didn't really like Man on Fire either. I'm not into that, like, shaky camera type of directing. That shit, it just is, it doesn't make me enjoy it. Uh, Book of Eli, yeah, that movie stinks. I really didn't like that. Gary Ullman's awesome, though. And so is Denzel Washington. Both are awesome. 
I didn't see Bullet Train. I was kind of interested in it, but I'm, I'm not in a hurry to watch it. It's not like, I'll wait for the next time I'm like desperate for a movie. I guess I just haven't been in a movie mood. Training Day is awesome, of course. Enter the Void. I think I've seen that. I don't remember it, though. Gary Ullman is tippity top tier. Hold on, let me kill this fucking snake. Thank you. Little snake. I just got a message that might be Nyan's going to bed. Everybody say goodnight or else. Clip. Okay. Uh, that was really close to me dying. I didn't bring... Ugh, why didn't I bring more ammo? Don't miss. Dude, that was not even a hit. These are Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. Oh, man. This went really bad. Come on, this last hit. It did not kill, and I'm... Fucking curled up! Let me out of here! Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This is fucked up. I'm not poisoned? How the fuck am I not poisoned after getting bit by that guy a hundred times? Cool. I'll go get some... Well, when you leave the room and come back in, I think his life is <laughs> refilled, but Thank we'll see you. about that. I got really lucky that time. He only poisons you on the first uh, encounter? Is that true? I didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks DXKO and Tommy Badway and T-Shirt and Altoids. Thanks very much for the tier two, Altoids. Yeah. Excuse me. Hope everyone's feeling fucking good. Winning jackpots or dropping rare jackpots. Um, I guess I could put this away next to the ammo for it. Well, I guess I'll put it here. And get the shells. And how about one more heal? Do I have any? Damn, man. Damn, this is my last full heal? What a scrub. Oops. Oops. Good time for a break? Oh, yeah. Combine. And use. Okay. Break time, Habibi. The run's still alive. I need to go back upstairs and kill that snake and hopefully not get killed by that snake. Mm. Fuck it. I'll be back. Break time. Let me click on this and give you something to dance to. Poof. Don't forget to drink water. I'm lubed up. Thanks, Mochi. Thanks for the resub. Happy Big Friday. All right, this snake. Uh, I got a bone to pick. Snake bone. Uh, oh, fuck, that's it? You got no heals? Oh, you got this one? I guess that's it, huh? All right, snake. I know where that armor key goes now. I just remembered where that armor key goes now. I won't remember it next time though. Fuck, I can't believe that. I forget everything every time. I do. I make the same mistakes like it's the first time I've made that mistake. Thank God. I think this job would be a lot harder. Imagine having to play Resident Evil 1 for like the millionth time when you know where everything is. 
<laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Thank you. You know what's funny, actually? If I were to be totally honest with you, a long time ago, before I even started writing scripts, just as a civilian, before I was a... Like, I streamed, but it wasn't my job. I came to the conclusion that it is not as fun watching someone succeed as it is watching someone fail uh, as a stream you know like this guy just like you know how we always get bored when knee is fucking too good at tekken it's like man perfect tekken again sleeping face you know what i mean so that's part of my you know my twitch character that i created that's part of the reason why i'm always fucking up because I think it's just more fun to fuck up than to succeed. Like, you know how I'll play Call of Duty for a couple days in a row? And then I'll start to get good. But then I'll start to get pissed. And then I'll be like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to stop playing this until I suck again. And then I'm going to start again and I'll play it like a horror game. That's what always happens in that game. I like playing it like a horror game instead of like being scared. I mean, not being scared. Uh, I'm gonna fight this snake and pray. Damn, he's oblivious. That's the thing. That's how you know I did such a good job. Like, you're not supposed to know. That's what makes it magic. You know? You're not supposed to know. That's the point. It's just like all these, like bimbo apparent allegedly oh this is like a ditzy bimbo with big tits but the real truth is it's like the wizard of oz shit you know it's similar to that tee hee anyway let me try and kill the snake come on dude his his shit got refilled though. he he's dead Dude, his shit got refilled, huh? He's like a full snake now. I'm dead. Oh my god, I lived. Danger. So maybe it didn't refill. It must have carried over. Awesome. But I'm almost dead. Ah, excuse me. At any moment, some shit could happen. I have to be careful. Man, all that talk about tacos earlier. Thankfully, I have that sandwich waiting for me. I'm starting to feel a little grumbling. It's too bad there isn't anything sick to play. I love it when I'm always like, you know, some days you know tomorrow you're so excited to play something. There aren't that many games to be hype about at the moment. Everything's in December. For me, for me at least, you probably are hype about something. If I died on one of these dudes, that would suck. Man, I forgot to register for the D4 beta. But that's like March, isn't it? I'm complaining about the next week. Evil West? I have heard of that, but most people have been saying it's... Like, if you're being really generous, it's a 6 out of 10. Uh, that's not that good. Anyway, I think I was offered a sponsored stream for that game, and I decided not to take it. So at this point, it, be, it would be kind of foolish of me to play it. Yeah, Dead Space Remake sounds tight. You refunded it? <laughs> Someone said it was like that game Outriders. It's, it was like a third-person, like, looter shooter, I guess. Oh, and Godfall. It's supposed to be kind of like Godfall. Yeah, Street Fighter 6 is going to be hype. I'm excited for it. 
Definitely, I'm excited for it. But that's not for a really long time, too, man. I mean, I'm trying to be excited for, like, you know, the sandwich I'm gonna eat tonight. And then, like, maybe whatever's gonna happen tomorrow. That would be cool. Now forget Dead Space Remake. We're getting a brand new fucking Dead Space on December 2nd. I always found it to be so weird that they make such an ordeal and give a cutscene to just a random zombie. Don't you think that was a little bit dramatic just for some weak ass- Ah! Fuck! Ah. My first time playthrough, so. So. Uh, thanks, J Best. Thanks again, Mochi. Yeah, so what? <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Karachi and Supersonic. Do you play on a classic PS1? No, dude. This looks way too good to be a PS1, man. This is a duck station emulator. It's good. I don't think I've ever gotten a pay-per-view in my life. Uh, unless you mean renting a DVD. I've done that. Hellseed? ESL Horror? Yeah, I hope I remember to check it out. I like ESL horror. Did I push this in the wrong direction? Maybe you could push it back. I've not seen Barbarian, but a couple people have recommended it. I, um, I don't know. I'll probably watch it eventually. It's sick. Maybe. Maybe I'll check it out. Is there anyone in it that I would recognize? It seems like a lot of the time they use actors I've never heard of. The first 45 minutes is slow. I've never been a complainer of <laughs> slow as long as it's Thank good. You. Some of my favorite movies are pretty slow, the whole thing. I mean, even Hateful Eight, I just mentioned how much I love that movie. That whole movie is pretty fucking slow if you think about it. Thanks. At least to some. Out on a date with a pretty girl. Here's your cut for the luck buff ATP Quan. Hey, you got it, man. Good luck. Check out Heat. Are you fucking kidding, dude? Heat? Whose dad is this? Are you trying to tell me about heat? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do right now? You're trying to tell me about heat. Come on, man. You don't think I had the two VHS? That shit came in two VHS tapes. Have you ever heard of that? Heat was a two VHS pack. You couldn't fit the whole fucking thing on one VHS. Oh, Titanic? Yeah. Titanic was that way too. I didn't even know that shit had a limit until those came out. Two VHS tapes? VCRs. 
I haven't watched a DVD in so long. I already kind of regret getting... Both of my PlayStations are the ones that have disk drives. And those disk drives have not done shit the entire fucking time. I already regret that. I got the, the, it's like a hundred bucks more, right? Idiot. I have not even put one disc in that shit, dude. Check out Don't Worry Darling. I don't have HBO. I got like a free trial for it for a while, but deleted that shit. I'm not trying to subscribe. I got Netflix and I got Amazon Prime and that's it. That's all I'm gonna get. We got fucking HBO devs in the chat trying to shill their shit. If it's something I really want, then I guess I could get my hands on it on the streets. The brown market. But, you know, I'll do it. Depends. Like, sometimes when a movie comes out and I really want to watch it, I'll get it on bootleg. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, A1. And thanks, EMP Lean Boys. Good luck. Thanks, Wizard of Edge and Karachi. Thanks, guys. Damn, full inventory. Well, that sucks. People still watch Netflix, lol. <clears throat> Not me. Uh, the only reason I still have Netflix is because I made the dumb fucking mistake of letting my mom use my account. And she fucking loves Netflix. Otherwise, I would have canceled that shit like fucking five years ago. Fuck Netflix. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I just got baited into that shit. And now she likes it. It's the only reason Netflix even fucking exists now. Yeah, I didn't... I don't like it. It sucks. It really does suck. Netflix anime? Yeah, I'm not really into anime, though. I'm, uh... Pretty... Not into it, actually. Not really into anime. I don't like the way it looks. Which sucks because I feel like this attitude of not liking the way anime looks keeps me out of things that are fun. Like some games, I won't even play it just because I can't stand looking at it. But the game itself might be good. Same with the anime. I mean, that makes sense, right? Like perhaps there's an anime that's so sick and, oh, you would love it, right? But I just can't stand looking at it. So... You know, this attitude is, you know, not a good one, but what do you want me to do, man? I don't mind uh, animated things, but that style of animated, animated things doesn't look cool to me. I think it looks lame. You know, like, the, you know how aliens look? Like the giant eyes, small mouth, two dots. Except you don't, you make that green alien, you make that guy flesh colored and then put a wig on him and some enormous tits and a big ass and you got a uh, anime, like your people are going to be willing to spend thousands of dollars to get that character in a game. That green alien, the guy that's always in an argument with Mulder and Scully, all of a sudden you guys jack off to that dude. How did that happen? You know? How did that happen? I don't know. If 
But whatever, to each his own. Everyone likes something different. Feet or uh, to get beaten up. Like, what about those dudes that like when chicks step on their nuts? All kinds of shit out there. Whatever. Aliens. I got a lot of stuff, but no heals. So what are you supposed to do now, then? Oh, I gotta go get the battery. That was a cool idea, streaming. Ball torture? <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> oh, man. So funny. Oh, come on. Did I even go the right way? Yeah, you guys are bringing out all the weird shit, huh? Hey, keep <laughs> yeah. that shit clean Thank in here, you. will ya? Weird freak shows. Weird shows? <laughs> uh, all the weird shows showed up. It's late, dude. These are all ESL Ares fans. Where's all the Tekken World Tour shit? This year's Tekken World Tour seems kind of phoned in. Doesn't it? What's up with all that shit? Yeah, I guess Tekken's sleeping face. Dude, Tekken 8 ain't coming out anytime soon. I mean, when do you think it's gonna come out? End of next year? If it's the end of next year... That's a long time, but I feel like it's going to be even after that. But even the end of next year isn't soon enough. Yeah. Excuse me. For someone like me who isn't interested in playing Tekken 7 anymore, I mean, even a new season with new characters, maybe unless it's Wang. If they bring out Wang or Bake, I would try those characters for sure. But just about any other character I would not play. And especially not a new character. Unless they, I don't know, maybe if there was a miracle and they somehow managed to create a good character. Maybe. Maybe. But it's unlikely. They haven't done that in ages. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll play the new one, of course, but Tekken 7 is way too old now for me to be interested. What's going on over here? Butt munching? I'll leave those two lovebirds alone. I mean, there's nothing to feel bad, man, about it. The game is fucking ancient history at this point. And it's not like they're over here putting all these great tournaments together for us to watch. You know, what do you want? What do you expect, man? This shit's... It's time for the next Tekken, dude. When that game comes out, it'll be fun. I think that shit will be really hype. Same with Street Fighter VI. I think the next Street Fighter is gonna be awesome. Even if it sucks, it's gonna be like... You know... Fun. Fun to play. Shoot fireballs. Watch tournaments. That'll be cool. It's also going to be nice seeing if the good players from Street Fighter V are still good in six. Like, you're going to see a lot of really good players get their asses kicked by nobodies. Because it's a new game. That always happens. So, that'll be fun to watch. And then all the excuses are going to come out. And then it's going to be like, this game is trash. It's catered to noobs. You know, all those excuses and shit. That sounds tight, man. Uh, go this way. This way. 
One button supers. Man, these fucking hitbox guys, dude. Those guys are something else. Because, you know, like, you know how hitbox, they don't... <laughs> They are constantly posting videos of how you can do these techniques that are like so cheap. They'll post like a video that is so obviously cheating, right? As like, hey, check this out. Check out Hitbox. This is something you could do. Zero frame super or whatever, right? But then when it comes to the debate of it being cheating <laughs> it's like their whole business model is showing you how cheap it is all of the twitter if you look at hitbox's twitter it's it's full of fucking videos of how you can cheat with this device <laughs> basically that's how they market it like look at how cheap this shit is look at how cheap this is look how cheap this is no 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 it's not cheating come on man Come on, man. Hitbox is cheating as fuck. And always will be. <clears throat> so? You need to come to terms with it. And you need to cheat like a real cheater. Don't cheat like a pussy. Cheat like a real cheater. The moment you, like, come to terms with the idea that you are a cheater... Then you'll think, okay, well, since I'm a cheater and I'm already going straight to hell, why don't I just go all the way and set it up so I have macros and allow the fucking, you know, simultaneous directional bullshit and, you know, just cheat. Have you ever used hacks? What kind of hacks? What are even hacks? You mean in games? Dude, I don't even, like, save scum. Are you aware of that? I don't even save scum. I create stupid rules about using magic. It's like I'm a reverse cheater. I'm married to the long arm of the law, dude. Uh, no, I haven't used the hack. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even use this hack. This one right here. I don't even use this hack. The thing you call a mouse and a keyboard? I don't even use that. I do it the old fashioned way. Mm, I should get the crank and put this away. Keyboard is magic, dude. You know you're saying lol, right? But keyboard is such bullshit magic. Just that, there, I don't know if No Pants made a video about it or what, but I fucking played a game where I was in a, I was in a, like, a shooting range in the game, and I was trying to shoot this, like, these moving targets with my pad, and I couldn't do it, so I, you know, everyone in the chat was making fun of me, oh, lol, aim, try aiming, and so I told everyone to eat a dick, and I tried it with the mouse, and I was fucking, I was... Doc Holiday, dude. I was shooting every one of these things perfectly. My time... I mean, we're literally talking someone who has never even used this device. I haven't used a mouse and keyboard to aim since I was like 15. And I grabbed that shit and was killing everything half of my time. So you're over here trying to think you're good because you're using this fucking device. Like, oh... He's got no skill or whatever. You think you're good when this thing, any fucking guy could win with this thing. It's for cheaters, dude. This shit is cheating. Mouses are magic. <laughs> Thank you. That shit is cheating. And you know it, man. I know it. Maybe you don't know it. Obviously, you don't know it. You think it takes skill to use that device. That shit is like a skill-free device. Like, oh, it, it's like saying, oh, you need hands. That's all you need. All you need is hands. Having hands, I guess it's a skill for some. <laughs> Thank you. But that's not really that dope of a skill. Mm, thanks, Equensu Ocha and Festive Foliage. Thanks, Dundercluck and Moss Car. And Ivana Jerk Menov. And thanks, Moonbear and Basomatic. <laughs> and 
Where is Waldo? Orange Cassidy and Gout Shroud. Thanks, everybody. Happy Big Friday. Um, <laughs> Thank thanks you. again, Ivana. Hey, thanks, Flynn Truder. Hey, greetings from America, everybody. It seems like all you Europeans are waking up. Is your favorite team winning in the in the cup? <laughs> Thank you. Don't go this way. Thanks, Kronk, Zlol. Soccer? Dude, people love soccer. What are you doing up? Oh, it's not even that late. It's only 10. That's a good thing. Damn, what the fuck am I going to play tomorrow? I, I want to play Super Mario World, I think. I might, though. I don't know. I want to play something that I'm going to want to play a lot. Like, I want to I wanna be hype about it. Really hype. I like playing things where you could get lucky. That's what I think I want to play. Something where I feel lucky. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, play a gotcha? Not that type of a game, though. I want to go to heaven. Gotcha player is burning hell. Where the fuck is it, dude? I went the wrong way again. Nah, man. You guys think this shit's a joke, but I honestly think that shit is so awful. You know how, like, some people, like, care about things like the ozone layer and shit like that? For me, that shit is, like, destroying the ozone layer of video games, dude. It really is. That shit is, like, it's gonna be over, dude. Because of that shit. It's gonna be over. Telling you, man. You don't realize that you're contributing to the problem. Just because you're sexually attracted to an alien that has flesh colored skin and a wig on and weird tits, that shit is gonna destroy the ozone layer of video games. And then, like, video games, they're gonna be an endangered species and eventually they'll be extinct. Whatever, man. It's not my problem. Look at what I'm playing, amigo. You're not going to affect me. I'm on Mars over here, amigo. 750th playthrough of Resident Evil 1. Uh, you can't touch me. I, I don't even breathe air. I got gills. Fuck you. But it's still true. It's it still true. Infested the world. Mm, you're going to ruin that shit. Uh, thanks, Real Car DLC. Let me guess, you're one of those Thank YouTube you. motherfuckers. You guys are so annoying. <laughs> I must say. No offense. Get in there! Oh, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, thanks, Yosh and Real Car. Mm, yeah, down here. Oh, we got some new guy in here thinking he'll live through a does chat eat ass comment. Come on, man. Are you brand new or what, dude? That is a very high risk play. Saying some shit like that in here. Uh, you will get fucked up for that. But maybe not permanently. If it's your lucky day, that is. Two mil? I don't know if he deserves two mil, but he might get it. Damn, there's a guy in here too. Yeah! That was sick. Millionaire. Mm. 
What's a good Tinder opening? Damn, get shot. What the fuck is Tinder again? Is that the, the one where you swipe? Uh, that's Grinder. I haven't I haven't used one of those internet type of things in a really long time, but I read about this strat a long time ago and used it and had good success. <laughs> you go with like you what you gotta do is you gotta go with some kind of a question that is like uh it needs to be a question and it needs to be something but weird Jack like that stands out years. so you say some shit like hey uh you know my name is Eris. you wanna <laughs> feed you. some ducks sometime or you know something like that where it's like uh easy to respond to something like that uh you, you don't even need to feed any ducks or even you don't even need to know what ducks even eat fuck ducks it's not about the ducks uh oh i fucked up it's about the opener Feed some squirrels. Yeah, whatever. You know, something that's like a... Like a bait. Chess opener? Kind of, I guess. But it's not such a... <laughs> competition. Thanks, no questions, Pendejo. I'm usually a lot more likely to answer your question during a night stream because my like uh f you know what's that thing that you use that makes you tell people to shut the fuck up that thing is like low power so i'm more likely to answer the question but you'll still probably be banned probably but you might get an answer you might But that's just how it is, usually. <clears throat> Thanks again, no questions. So the idea is you're supposed to put the battery inserted in here. Excuse me, dog. Yeah! Then run for it. And then ride the elevator upstairs for it. Oh, come on, man. Unnecessary roughness. This is... Oh, I have a green herb. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, the mods in here, they kind of do whatever they want. I mean, half the mods in here, I don't even know who they are. I'm not even kidding you. Like, sometimes there will be some people in here, and like, who the fuck is this? Whatever. Because they changed their names and shit. And I don't fucking give a shit about your dumb name. I don't even read names. That's why I call you red name and pink name and shit. You know? So, uh... Sometimes I won't even know who this dude is. <laughs> Whatever. You must be cool. Now you hit the crank. I'm chilling, getting ready to eat this sandwich. Victory sandwich. Mods are cool or aren't cool. I mean, whatever, man. That Mods are mods. Who cares? They're just making sure that you don't do something that you're not supposed to do. That's all. ATP Chasm. Thanks. Mods posting hot tub streams, you fucking gamble. What a dumbass, dude. I mean, all right, look, you know, the occasional slightly over the hill MILF in a tub full of murky water is not so bad. But, dude, he posted a chick and her entire titty came out. Full titty. You can't do that, dude. Are you crazy? Come on, man. 
Full titty out. Can't do that. <laughs> you got your build for next semester? No way, man. How could you? It's impossible. <laughs> you have no idea what they're changing. In fact, earlier, some random dude was like, they're probably going to do a bunch of balance changes, and who knows? They might. <laughs> they very possibly might. Especially considering that they didn't for two seasons. Now you take the elevator. <clears throat> I didn't see what the essay was. What did that guy say? Oh, I gotta be careful. Was it funny? Everyone's laughing at you. Hey, I wanna. I don't wanna feel left out. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. What the hell? Warp zone, boss. Hey, are you new, dude? That's like a get killed by the police. Damn, man. Wow. That's such a weird um, record of things to say. Yeah. Hmm. That's a weird record of things to say. He's a peculiar guy. Listen, man, I don't like you. Don't talk in here again. I decided not to ban you. But I'm telling you, don't talk in here again. I don't like your style. I don't like the way you talk. And I don't want to see you again. Um, if I knew how to leave a note on your ass, I would. And now I'm thinking, why the fuck would you ever leave a note on someone's ass when you could just kill them? So, if I still had your record open, I would definitely permanently ban you. But, lucky for you, I don't. But one of the mods might. Anyway, good luck with that. Uh, what were we talking about before that? Oh, yeah. Elevator. Yeah. Can we leave? Oh, yeah, you can't... I don't know. It's pretty, like... Right now, I'm doing a little bit of SSF, Explosive Arrow, and I'm enjoying it, but it's pretty... It would be pretty... Dude, there's no way to know what they're gonna do to the game, so it's pretty hard to Thank choose you. a build without knowing. But typically, I like to play things that are fucking cheap and top tier. Uh, so, we'll see. Whatever's cheap and top tier. I may be willing to play something that's fun. HC? Oh, hardcore? I don't I don't like hardcore because I like the... I don't see the appeal in it. Because maybe in another game, but th not in that game. Uh, in that game, you will be killed instantly by something you didn't see. And there's no way to learn from the experience. Like, the only solution is log out macro or... Like, th that's not satisfying to me. Like, that's like Russian roulette that takes, like, fucking, you know, months or weeks or whatever amount of time you spend. You know, you'll just, it'll be gone. And it's not the type of game where it's your fault every time. This game, it's fucking janky sometimes, you know? So I don't think it's my type of game. Other people... I, I prefer watching people playing hardcore. Yeah, like Quinn or anyone else that plays hardcore. I would prefer to watch that. But the only reason they're even playing hardcore in the first place is because people prefer to watch that. Because at the end of the day, PoE is not exactly the most entertaining game on the internet. So in order to make that shit entertaining, you have to put some incentive for loss. You know? <laughs> Thank you. But fuck that, man. I don't give a fuck about being entertaining. I give a fuck about being entertained. So, that's what I want. I want to be entertained. I want to have fun. It's the whole point.
entertain me. I'm pretty deep in now. Not a bad playthrough thus far. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm reading that word right. What is that word? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are these comments? Hey, what hey, what country are you from? Uh, thanks, Anonymous, and Brave Guy, and Kliang, and Papa John McLean, and Super Punch, and Drug Shamu. Thanks. I'm from America. California, to be specifically. I mean, specific. See what you're doing? See what you're doing to me? This is what doing nighttime Enrico. streams does. Man, um, my friend Q Dog went and lived in England for like three or nine months or something. He lived in England and he came back with a full blown English accent. I'm not even fucking kidding you. This guy, he had no accent when he left. He came back 100% like. Full blown tea and scrumpets, you. gov, you know, the whole fucking Shazam, all in it, all that shit. It was crazy. Man, don't pick this shit up. I don't want to fucking. I don't want that. Oh, I could die right here. I need the other crank. All right, I'm going to eat these herbs. Get this, get this dance! No! Get this dance! Oh, pick this fucking thing up, dude! Now run. Okay, now all these dudes are awake. Yeah, there's no iframes. They didn't even invent iframes yet. Dodge this bitch easily. Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. Oh, yeah, I am. I hope. <gasps> what the fuck was that, dude? Fuck. Off screen? Uh, do I need to take the... Oh, no. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, good. I'm gonna fight the snake soon. The eight-legged snake. That's a run ender, too. Man, I got pretty deep in this time. Deep in there. What day is today? God damn it, man. The last time I looked at the calendar, it was like the 26th. And I thought to, to myself, man, November is taking forever. And it, I just looked and it was the 26th again. I guess I looked at it today, but man, fuck. Time sucks. Yeah, it always goes slow when you want it to go fast, but then it goes too fast all the time, too. Shit doesn't even make sense. Stupid time. Uh, oh yeah. Boulder. Boulder dash. Punch that shit. December is cool. Why why don't you like December? I'm not even that into Christmas. Like I'm not into I'm not like that It's okay. I'm just not that into it. I mean, what are you doing? Like I don't get a tree. Don't tell me how to drive. I don't get a tree. That's for sure. Damn door opening fucking hunters. Uh, thanks, Turian Calendar, and Ribbed Killer, and Anonymous, and Brave Guy. 
Excuse me, Hunter. Ooh. Gorgeous George. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like Christmas dinner, but I feel like... Oh, shit. It's doable. Okay, I might be poisoned, but it's still doable. Okay, that probably... Ooh! Wow. Is that enough? Poisoned? Oh no! Okay. Oh no! Oh boy. That's bad news. I don't have the knife either. Okay, so can you die from poison in this one? Probably not, right? It just goes down to, oh, but these little guys might kill you. These little guys might kill you. I have to like run top speed in circles to Kill them, right? Oh, dude, they're gonna kill me? No way. What do you do? Can I leave the room or something? They can't kill you? Oh, sweet. All right, then. If they can't kill me, just write that guy's name down. And I'll just cut this thing. Oh, I guess they can't kill you. You got lucky. You got lucky. Uh, anyway, he was right. I could really use some heals or something. I'm starting to feel pretty tired and hungry. Ooh! Man, that was pretty cool. That worked out perfectly. Blue herb, fucking everything you need, and the lovely music. That worked out pretty nicely. Uh, I've gotten further than this, but this is pretty good. Not for a while. One time I died to the gas in the labs. Ugh, excuse me. That shit sucked. Get the blue herb. I have the, not the director's cut. I have the black label one. The original, you know, Resident Evil. Non, um, game of the year edition. Do I not have any? Oh, there's a, are you kidding me? That's sweet. That's sweet. There's an ink ribbon and the aid spray sitting right there on the table. With my name written on it. In cursive. Hey, this worked out pretty well. I think I'll probably do another, whenever it is, I'll do another nighttime stream and try to beat this run. I'll save it for nighttime, but I'm gonna have to figure out what to play tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. I think uh, something will come to me, and if it doesn't, then woohoo, four day weekend. Even though it would be like a one-day weekend, but whatever. Uh, thanks, Mr. Robot. <laughs> thank and you. Wonderboy420. Damn, thanks for the tier three, Mr. Robot. Thanks. I have a sandwich. I bought two sandwiches from earlier. It has eggs, cheese, tomato, and... Avocado in it on some good ass bread. I'm gonna eat that and then I'm gonna Kick my feet up and go to bed basically wind it down. I Recently read about a bunch of different things on the internet weird things like How airplanes are able to fly upside down and uh, the way like lobsters work Did you know lobsters are fucking hella old? And all the lobsters that you and me eat, they're like baby lobsters. And if you catch a old lobster, you have to throw it back. Because they're 
the only lobsters that have babies. So there's like a hundred year old <laughs> lobsters. And they'll catch them and they'll be like, no, this lobster needs to be protected. And they'll mark it and protect that lobster. <clears throat> They're like breeding lobsters. Pretty weird. I didn't know that. You would think that they would want the bigger ones, but instead of <laughs> like you. the big lobsters, they're keeping those and preserving those so that they can have unlimited <laughs> supply of lobster. Thank you. It's kind of this weird concept of like, um, pre you know, kind of like that whole ozone layer shit Thank with you. that Nikkei, you know? Like, yeah, sure, you could like fall into the trap and waste all your money on these big tittied hoes, but think about the sustainability of video games, dude. Come on, man, you need to have some self-control, dude. Just watch pornography. Uh, th thanks, Andy Lux and Jill Sangich. And my name is Jeff and Katie and Chief Sparta and Wonder Boy. Man, I'm fucking hungry all of a sudden. Whatever, dude. You Like I said, I'm safe. I saved already, right? You're not gonna affect me. Video games are long gone, in my opinion at least. If you cancel out of this screen, does it take away your do not save? Is this it? Did I save? Uh-oh. Whatever, who cares? Just save again then. I don't give a fuck. You think I need ink ribbons? They're for pussies. The only time you can use an ink ribbon is when you are going to bed or you're going to eat dinner. Other than that, you can't use ink ribbons. They're magic. Uh, ink ribbons to like protect your life? That's for pussies. Uh, anyway, what were we making fun of? Chat room? Thanks, Andy Lux. Hey, you guys are pretty good company, I must say. Hey, Mogu, why the long face? Oh, because you use ink ribbons? Look, there's always a, like, fine print in this shit that I say. If you are a pretty girl or a sound like one, then the shit that I say is exempt. You see what I mean? You gotta read the fine print. You know, that is a, that's a rule around here. You bypass the insult, you know? Like how I'm always bringing up the whole crystal thing. Pretty girl canceled out. That's how it works. <clears throat> anyway, damn, all the pretty girls showed up all of a sudden. Hey, all right, how's it going? Anyway. Um, I got distracted. How the fuck are you supposed to maintain a train of thought if there's all this stuff to look at in the chat? I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat that sandwich and think about what I'm gonna play tomorrow. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, will ya? Thanks for liking my stream and always being great company. That shit is pretty tight. I must say. I must admit. Take it easy. Watch where you're going. See ya. Oof. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Nice to see you. Let me click on these two things. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thanks, amigo. Thanks, uh, a lad called Zayad and Sheepface and Helst. Thanks, Blam, mm, Paiu, and Deep Blue and Smelly Goat. Thanks, bros. What do you got? <clears throat> Give me the good stuff. The excitement is uh, it's coming to fruition Thursday, right? What's today? Tuesday? My garbage cans are already outside. The 6th. Tomorrow and then pow. Tekken 8. The more I think about it, though, the structure of the Game Awards really prevents for any real juicy information to be revealed other than like a release date, maybe some <laughs> characters. Thank you. Uh, but what else could they reveal? It's the Game Awards. So it's not like you're going to get someone like Michael Murray over there saying, well, now we have this new feature, blah, blah. They're not going to probably talk about system mechanics very much. So we'll probably get a trailer 
The trailer will show things that expert players will be able to like dissect. We'll have to keep an eye on the main man's channel for that. Uh, yeah, maybe Necesito Xiaoyu and El Juego, you never know. Uh, and also, you know, the release date. That's the big thing. That's for sure. Uh, hey, thanks, Combo Face. What do you guys got going on other than that? I'm pretty pumped up. Oh, they... Uh, <laughs> so sick. Did you hear about the Elden Ring DLC they announced? That is so tight. Free DLC. It's basically a non-DLC. Uh, it's just like Sekiro's, right? Sekiro had a free DLC, and I was like, wow, this is gonna be sweet. And I started a playthrough, and it was just a bunch of fucking swords on the ground. It was pretty tight. I'm glad about that. When I saw there was a DLC, I was disappointed because I felt I feel like DLC would cheapen that game a little bit, like paid DLC. So the fact that it's free is even better. Perfect. I'm super hype about that. But as far as I know, didn't it say it's like a free the first DLC? Like it suggested that there, there are more. I wonder if those will also be free and I wonder what those will be. Mm, they're going to announce paid DLC on Thursday. You never know. I hope they don't. Uh, but they might. <laughs> hey, Darla Dale. Thanks for the 64 months. Happy Big Friday. What did you guys, uh, what did you guys eat? I ate, um, grilled cheese with avocado and eggs. Ah. Excuse me. Pepperoni pizza. Did you have it with a Pexi? That sounds really good. I've been watching some fucked up videos on the internet about pizza man sucks you have to travel though pisses me off i've been watching a lot of pizza videos where people eat pizza from like good places and they talk about it pisses me off uh yeah especially <laughs> new you. york pizza that shit looks like to me new york pizza looks like my kind of pizza thin crispy and fucking good. Like, I like Chicago deep dish, but it's not like my personal favorite. You know, I like to be able to fold it and eat it without it fucking getting all over the place. But I also like the crust to be a good weight bearing vessel for a shitload of stuff. But even cheese is Mama good though. Mm. Hey, thanks, Titty Kaka was an inside job. Thanks, amigo. Nah, not greasy. It doesn't need to be greasy. A little bit of grease is good, especially on the inside of those cupped pepperonis. Oh, yeah. That's how it was in, um, uh, where was that shit? Detroit. Detroit Pizza had these, like, cupped pepperonis with this nice little, uh, pool of a little bit of grease in there that was highly flavorful. It was like a pepperoni gusher. In each bite. Mm, delicious. Uh, thanks, Real Disco Stew and Butt Orcs. Thanks, bros. Maybe I should fire up my PlayStation. Man, the excitement is palpable. <laughs> I have to look up the exact definition of palpable. <laughs> Stupid fucking word. Uh, thanks, Pickled Fetus. Uh, palpable. Pal I'm going to look it up. Might as well, since you're remembering. Palpable definition. I do that shit all day. Palpable. Shut up, bitch. Uh, interesting. So intense as to seem almost tangible. I like that definition. So intense that it's almost, you can feel it, you know? Uh, the hype level for, I used it correctly. I thought so. Um, but I didn't know the exact definition if I was going to be honest. Sometimes I like to know exactly, you know, but anyway, I'm firing up my PlayStation. What's your go-to wing place? I don't really have one. There's a Italian place I go to that has really good wings, but it's not like my go-to wing place. I used to get Wingstop, but I fucking retired from that shit. I'm done with Wingstop. It sucks. Selling any Christmas merch? Man, Thank you. that's funny. Not only am I do I not have any new merch for Christmas, but apparently my t-shirt store is missing like 70% of its stuff. 
So for Christmas this year, I'm selling less fucking merch than usual. He is a genius, you know that? A fucking business mastermind. Half of the merch on my store is fucking missing. Sweet, just in time for the holidays. Whatever, man, who gives a fuck? Merry Christmas, dude. I'll have a new design ready for next Christmas, hopefully. Uh, thanks, Mutable. Mm, and uh, thanks, Stephen Hawking. And Tortuga. Thanks. Let me fire up my PlayStation. Yeah, I don't know. I, I direct message them saying, like, what the fuck? Half my shit is missing. What gives? What is this thing they added to the chat? Oh, God. What <laughs> is you. this? So now there's a gear. There's this, like, bull's head that says chat highlight settings. And then there's this new thing. Turn on shield mode. What the fuck is shield mode? <laughs> Thank you. Shield mode? I liked Callisto Protocol. I don't want to click it. For people without mods? What does it do? That sounds pretty cool, actually. Is it like robot? <laughs> Thank you. Warriors? Uh, thanks, Fuzzy Rabbits and Ghetto Sith Lord and Tall Summit. It removes first-time chatters? That sounds sweet. Mm. Uh, hey, thanks, Fuzzy Rabbits. Let me turn on my PlayStation. Oh, it's on. Let me reset my PlayStation. Give it to me. Shield mode sucks. Such strong support. Man, my whole chat's full. It would be cool. You could probably get like a plug-in or something that takes away this shit in the chat. It crashed too? Good lord, dude. This shit crashes? You've collected all of the level 1 emotes has a fucking bar on it that fucking stopped moving. It's taking up so much of my chat. Sucks. And the other thing on top doesn't even... Hold on. You can't see yet. You know I'm in the middle of a playthrough of this. In fact, I'm almost done. That's what made me want to play. Hey. What in the Ghani Ma? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Doo doo. Why didn't it make that noise? Doo doo. Where's the fun sound? Oh, I probably have to restart the whole thing, huh? I, I bet you you need to restart the. And maybe not. You don't. You don't. <laughs> Street Fighter Six is gonna be fun. I can't wait. Hmm. You know, that's something you also don't really get too much of you. when you watch online stuff. People talking shit, like, for an audience. <laughs> I, that was Thank pretty you. fun back in the day. Like, there's a bunch of people in the arcade, and you're talking shit because you're winning, and everyone's hearing it, and everyone's laughing, so you get, like, a laugh track. That shit is sweet. Crowd response. It's really funny. When people talk shit to each other and they're losing, not only do you lose your money, which is 25 cents at least, but you also lose waiting back of the line. Everyone's waiting to play. You got to go all the way to the back of the line, wait for 20 minutes. That shit is funny. Pissed. Pissed for 20 minutes. Hold on. Let me turn on the game capture. I don't even know why you can't see yet. But I'll figure it out. You can see it, right? And you can hear it. And you can hear me. Thanks, Mokiyun and Blood Cake. And everyone. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Yeah, it's good tunes. I'm pretty deep in, dude. That's why I didn't want to give up. I never want to give up. 
Ah, excuse me. Let me take a look at how things are going. That's good. Magnum. Not a lot of heals. Oh, <laughs> damn. That's Thank a lot you. of Magnum ammo. One eagle. Mo disc. I don't need that wow, key no. anymore. Green herb. I'll take it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Damn, I have a ton of Magnum ammo. Makes me kind of want to take it. Nah. Won't need it. Uh, thanks, PC Dongle and Buzen Jashetsu. Thanks, bros. Mm, yeah, Elden Ring DLC. I mean, obviously, you know me. I'm not really trying to do PvP, but it seems like some people are hype. They wouldn't have made that if people were not going to hey, appreciate what are you it. Looking at? You know? Mama Mia. Oh, snakes. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't have even made that shit. Even if it is cut content. This is the wrong way. Even if it is cut content, they wouldn't have bothered releasing it unless there was a community of people who actively do PvP in that game. What is this? Is this locked? You have to go back and get the flamethrower, don't you? Umbrella. Okay, I remember. Don't get bit by these snakes, though. They're venomous. Mm. Oh, remember that sour candy I tried yesterday that was so sour it was like poison? I put one in a mason jar in water, and I let it dissolve. It dissolved really quickly, and I took a sip of the water, and it did not taste very... Like, it didn't taste like anything. So... You would need at least, like, <laughs> my guess is four or five for it to... It's a lot of water. I guess that's what it is. I put a shitload of water in it. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to do that shit. It's like, uh, I was just wondering what it would do. And it did not do anything impressive. Yeah, a little experiment. Oh, God. A uh, little experiment. I don't want to lose this run. Oh, dude, I just said it. No. This is terrible. That, oh my god. There's the flamethrower. Can I have that, please? I'm gonna need that green herb now. Stupid bitch. Uh, reload this. Actually, no, I didn't really... I thought I'd be in danger after taking two jump attacks and two swipes. But I'm not complaining. I think the Elden Ring news is pretty neat. Um, I don't know. I'm hopeful that the next DLC is also free. And like a nothing DLC, you know? Like, we added swords in the ground, or like, uh, we added a boss rushing mode for free, you know, some shit like that. That's what they did with Sekiro. That's what they did. Mm, but you're probably right. A girl could dream. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, perfect. Okay, good. Maybe I should go back and heal. What do you think? What's in here? It depends on what's in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> I think I need a crank for that, right? Elevator? I don't want to die. Friends. How many of us have them? Hey, thanks, friends and freebie and panic at the Discord. Ghost of Marn's diet. Thanks, Billy Hoyle. This is not where I'm supposed to go. Uh, thanks, Juby and uh, everyone else. I think I thanked you all. Oh, Karachi, thanks. 
There's nothing here except for... Ooh! Never mind. Let me get one of those. Let me get two of those. I'll eat that shit. Right now. <laughs> Why not? Roll a spliff. And then eat it. I figured if I die today, then I'll just play poker. Because I was about to play poker anyway. But then I remembered I have this sweet run going. Mm, anyway, yeah, Game Awards. There's a lot of potential other things that they could announce other than Tekken that would be hype. The Tekken thing is just like a guaranteed minimum. It's like a guaranteed drop. I need to crank. There's snakes in here. <laughs> That's Stranding 2? I hope so. Actually, I'm looking more forward to... Uh, Resident, no, not Resident, what's it called? Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. That shit's hype. Is that not out yet? I think that's not out yet, is it? And it's multiple, how many parts is it, the remake? Evil Within 3? It's three parts, and Part Two isn't even out yet. Ouch. And each part has DLC, huh? Well, well, well. I think I'm gonna load this gun. And take it with me. Just in case I run into some big fellas. Because I don't have a lot of heals and I'm not trying to die. So far, there's a no death run, by the way. Which is every run. Mm, that's good. Oh, and I need a crank. Damn, do you know which crank? I'm gonna guess Hex. I always get Waldo when I try. Hey, thanks, Waldo Kage. When I try. Thanks, Eileen Ulick. And thanks, Kovos and friends and Afro Kano. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. This crank is my guess, not this one. Wait a minute. Hey, which crank is it? Do you guys know? The one I need to save me from the boulder? Bow. Excuse me, crank two? Well, which one? Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah, uh, hex crank? Excuse me. Uh, thanks, Sungmina. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Parade of Wasps and Danian Dak. Seems like everyone's feeling good. I like that. Big fan of feeling good, personally. Excitement, palpable. I know the full definition. this way all right now i don't know how the fuck this is supposed to work but i think you can die <laughs> <laughs> thank you right <sighs> hexagonal at least we were right about that i think you're supposed to turn this crank two times I liked Callisto Protocol. I thought it was fun. Just stopped smoking yesterday. Got fired. <laughs> you got fired from that donation message too, amigo. Get fired, bitch. Uh, hey, thanks, Rolling for RE4. Uh, you didn't like that job anyway. Uh, and thanks. Mm, thanks, animals. Our friends, not food. Nice, uh, nice parry. Thanks. Oh, you didn't get the parry. The other guy did. Into the night. Thanks very much. Thanks, Yuri, Tardic, <clears throat> and Doppel. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Yuri. Uh, what about this boulder? Yeah, that's what I thought. And then you just run in the thing, right? Finally got COVID? Damn, man. You must be a scrub. Why'd it take you so long? 
You've been trying this whole time? French kissing doorknobs? Hmm. I haven't gotten it yet. Mo disc? You need three? Well, I got two now. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, thanks, Meat Spin Marcus and Perry D. Thanks. Is this gonna need the other fucking thing? What does this shit do again? <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, doesn't it push out the wall? Where is the pushing out spot? Is this it? I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it out. Let me crank that shit. Wait a minute. What's this? Is that the pushing? I don't know. I'm gonna crank it first and hope that it's the hexagonal thing. Nice. Thank goodness. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. I didn't know it was there. Everything looks so shitty, so you can't really even tell. There it is. Okay, okay. Still looks way better than it's supposed to. Duck Station is really buff. I never ended up setting up that... Dreamcast emulator. I really gotta do that. People keep talking about a Caesar's Palace game on Dreamcast. That seems cool. Caesar's Palace? It's not a first time playthrough, but I don't know that I've ever been this far with Chris, have I? Not Blue Stinger, but that's another game. I think Blue Stinger is gonna suck. I played that when it was new. I can't remember it, so it must mean it sucks. I do remember in that game you go to like vending machines and buy food. Aha! Cut that bitch off. What is this dude? What do you want? Attention? Oh cool, it's someone else banned you. Oh, he's new. Hey, what's up man? Uh brand new guy. Uh thanks Carmen San Diego's tits and Ozzy Mog. And Tequium and Free Range Ocelot and Meat Spin Marcus. Thanks, bros. People probably like hear about my stream from some fucking Reddit thread and they go like like with their friend and like I bet you I could get banned in this chat. Cause they know if they use caps and talk to me, they're gonna get fucking banned. It's like just some fucking like clown shit. Hey, all right, man. At this point, I'm not taking new fans. But I'll let you know. <laughs> I got you. the second thing. So now I just go back. Uh, check. I'm ready to go to the labs. Hit the lab. Thanks, Coxie Normus. Damn, generous. Generous and Coxie. Thanks. Thanks for the subs. I gotta go all the way back without taking any damage. It's not even that far, right? But I do need the flamethrower because I need to open the other door, don't I? Maybe not. Favorite X-Files episode? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. One that I always think of, though, is the I one where uh, Mulder relives the same day over and over again. There's like a Groundhog's Day episode of... Uh, X-Files, where there's a bank robbery that goes wrong. I like that episode. I also like a lot of the episodes with, like, Crycheck. Alex Crycheck. Especially the ones towards the beginning where you don't really know what the fuck, dude. This guy's, like, an alien. You know, shit like that. Before they, like, started making shit up. Mm, this isn't the right way. Uh, wait a minute. I wonder if you actually have to put back the flamethrower. Mm, thanks, Wack21. Thanks again, Coxie. And thanks, Carmen San Diego. Favorite Simpsons episode? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I never really thought about it, man. 
They're all good. Not all. Season two through seven are good. Five seasons worth. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to do some shit in my box. Um, I won't need the mo, and I won't need the crank, but I do need the crest. Where is it? There it is. Now all I have to do is go back to where that was. It was the elevator. I gotta go to the elevator. Where was the elevator? It's through the flamethrower room, isn't it? But the other way. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really pinpoint one that's my favorite. But sometimes people have one that always pops in their head. Uh, this way? No, it's not this way. It might be this way. Yeah. Perfect. I saw that. Vampire Survivor DLC. I guess I'm not hype about it, but it's cool. It's covered in snow as usual. This dog sound is like used in so many different things. Books on tape. I remember back when I used to listen to some books on tape. Uh, they would use this type of sound. It's like a stock dog sound. Free to use. They still called CD books on CDs. Didn't they still call them books on tape? Maybe they didn't. Whatever, fuck you. Damn, he's old. You misspelled damn. Hey, what are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Better check Greek town. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are so lucky, dude. That shit was really funny, though. He's talking into his wallet. <laughs> Putting out an APB and ordering lunch. <laughs> and the guy's like, you're talking into your wallet, and it unravels. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that shit is so funny, dude. Simpsons was mega genius level funny back in the day. I'm in the lab, dude. I never get to the lab without dying. Cool. But I do die in the lab. The last time I got here was like a year ago with Jill, and I died in the gas room because I didn't cover the vents correctly. Stupid bitch. Uh, the first season was insanely good. Of what? Simpsons? Season one of Simpsons is trash. Have you even seen it? Everyone looks stupid. Their voices are weird. That shit sucks. Season two is when that shit gets hot. But you know, season one of everything kind of sucks. Everything. Like, even season one of Seinfeld sucked. Remember, George's dad wasn't even... Uh, uh, Frank Costanza, he was some other clown. Um, a lot of shows. Even, even, oh, what about Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1? They didn't have Worf, they had that blonde. What the hell is she gonna secure, dude? Worf, come on, they need to get a Klingon, Chief of Security. Um, she sucked. She had big boobs, though. Man, talking to you sometimes really sucks. You know that? Mm, anyway. Uh, thanks, Super Lime. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks, Method Man. And Oost to us. And thanks, 69. And Zion and Whack. And thanks again, Coxie. Give me that box. What am I putting away? Ouch, lol. What are you ouching about? Hands up. Maybe I don't need to kill this guy. He seems kind of... Ah! Fuck. All right, I'll kill him. 
I didn't know there was a fucking guy there. I never get to this part of the game. I'm picking this shit up. In case of mistakes. I'm in the lab here. I probably will have to go back to the box just to empty my shit. Chris's small ass prison wallet can't carry anything. Look at this jerk. Perfect. I thought that might miss. Oh, I got the third Mo. Is this the thing that you use them on? This thing? No. Maybe not. Well, I have three Mo's. I wonder where you put those. Visual data room. Man, this really does feel like a first time playthrough. I don't know Thank if you. I've gotten this far. If I have gotten this far with Chris, it hasn't been for a long time. But you guys would know better than me. Uh, this is a new game. I don't remember any of this shit at all. Every single door is a total surprise. I'm gonna trade this for my Moe's. Mo. Mo. I don't think I'm gonna need the gun, huh? The Magnum? Mo. Mo Sizlak is one of my favorites. That guy is so good. And it's not just his the things he does and his jokes, it's his voice. What's his name? Is it Hank Azaria? The guy who does all the voices for The Simpsons? But he's <laughs> Mo Sizlak. Thank you. That guy doing Mo's voice. You could just Google that shit if you haven't seen it. Hank Azaria doing Mo's voice, dude. Wonderful. That is uh just like wonderful. It's he's so good. Mo's voice is really funny. I'll take nothing, right? Just an empty slot. He does all the best voices. They killed off Apu! Didn't Hank Azaria do Apu's voice? And they killed him. <laughs> Thank you. He used to do Apu's voice. They canceled him. Yeah. That sucks. Mm, that shit was so cool for so long. <laughs> you know? Six pack of Skittle Brow. This shit is like a uh, classic. Yeah, who needs the Quickie Mart? Well, naked guy. I did not expect that. Oh, I know what room I'm in. Okay, cool. I think that you use the Moe's in here. I hear some activity. Two dads, huh? I cannot see shit, dude. <laughs> Come on, between the cheeks? Is this intentional? Is that like directing? <laughs> Thank you. Nice too. I can't quite judge this. Ha! Ah! Fucking son of a bitch! Damn it! Couldn't judge the range from that angle. Damn it. Uh, well, whatever. Oh, another one. Is there anything in here? What is this? Oh. Oh! This is the room I died in, I think. I'm going in. <laughs> it's locked. I'm not going in. Thanks, Draven. Is there anything in this hole? N what? Weird. It's too dark to see anything. This is a first time playthrough. In case you're wondering. Thanks, uh, Generic Soda and ESP Rave. Slow motion. Uh, little Bungorf and Mistake. Thanks. Thanks, Method Man and Super Lime. Happy Big Friday. The excitement levels about Jeff Keighley's birthday. I'm pretty hype. I must say. <laughs> Thank you. How long are the Game Awards? And what time are the Game Awards? I need this information. I hope they're, like, at least an hour or two. Don't take that. 
They're not six hours. They're like two hours. Don't take that either yet. Is this the combination for something? Something is written on the picture. Shut up, bitch. Oh, does this move? Can I push it? Nice. This is crazy. I feel like I'm playing a mod. What the fuck, dude? I don't think I ever seen this, have you? <laughs> this is the first time playthrough. Tree, apple, man, woman. All right. Poison apple. Used this recently. Did that shit say Ada? I didn't read it, but I think, huh? Oh, Lawn Ada. Lawn Ada. Lawn with a J. I forgot about that. That makes sense. That's the password. Oh, this is where you put the Moe's. Right? You don't have the passcode. This is not where you put the Moe's. Where do you put the Moe's? I don't know. Did you guys decide on a league starter? Man, it's so hard to decide, dude. So hard to decide. What? These guys are rip. These guys, uh, they, they, uh, fucking, they wake up, they respawn. Shit. I didn't know that. Damn, someone got shot. What'd you do, man? Don't pick that up on the ground. That's a x-ray. I think the x-ray only gives you the solution to a puzzle. Computer is used to open electronic locks. Will you turn it on? Yeah. Whoa, cool fingers. Oh, I haven't done this with Chris. I've done this with Jill. She goes like, sweet. Going spark. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to decide because I know I want to get a mage blood. And I feel like if you want to get a mage blood, you should go with something you know really well. And if I'm going to do that, then I'll probably start with uh, Juggernaut Righteous Fire. But I kind of want to do Venom Gyre. Everyone's hyping it up so much. But I have a feeling Venom Gyre is going to suck ass on uh, Pad. Because you have to hit Withering Step. You have to hit... It's going to be hard on Pat. I don't know. You also can't lock on bosses to do the Whirling Blade shit. Mm, I don't know. I haven't decided. And then there's also like... Yeah, I play on Pat. I only play on Pat. I don't like playing on mouse and keyboard because it's for little bitches. No offense to you, but... Uh, I've never liked mouse and keyboard. I also don't like sitting at a computer. Unless I'm here. Like streaming. No, no, it's cool. You don't have to apologize. I don't give a fuck what you do. I just don't like it. Like, um, when I'm... Like, you know how they added pad support to PoE on PC? I still play it on PS5 because sitting at a computer, to me, sucks. It doesn't feel good. I like to put my feet up and just fucking really maximum level chill. Sitting at a computer, you can't max out on chill. You know what I mean? You always have to have this, like... You know, I don't know if I can explain it any better than that. I like maxing out on chill and just fucking gambling until I fall asleep. You know, gambling in that game, of course. Uh, but that's just my preference. Um, you know, someone in the chat mentioned seismic trap, poison seismic trap. It's so tempting to do that, even though I fucking hated it. But it's so tempting to go poison seismic trap just to get a mage blood sacrificing fun i don't know i haven't decided anyway isn't this shit john ada lawn ada i hope it is Oh. <laughs> Thank you. All of them, right? 
Yeah, he's slamming that shit like crazy. I was thinking that too. <laughs> you guys slamming that shit. Did I do that right? That was so confusing. Oh, it's asking for another password. Uh, uh, mole. You're right. It was on the tip of my tongue. Verified. Give me that thumbs up. Oh, he does the, oh, both. Both of them. Damn, the pop off. Yes. Yes. Thumbs up. Unlocked. Okay, now escape, right? So now all the doors are unlocked, I think. All right, so I did that. Are you going to play the new league on hardcore? I'm actually playing hardcore. I've played hardcore recently. You know, after playing PoE so many times, sometimes you beat the campaign and get to like red maps before you die. So I tried it. I mean, it really depends on the build you use. But hardcore fucking sucks, dude. I'm convinced that it just takes a certain type of person. And I'm not that type of person. Hardcore sucks. <laughs> it really makes you feel like shit. I don't want to feel like shit. I want to feel good. I think hardcore is more necessary if you are, let's say, a PoE streamer, though. More, not totally necessary, but more necessary. Because it's more fun to watch when someone dies. Like, when I watch PoE, I like to, like, you know, I hope this guy dies. And then he does, and it's like, yeah, nice. Let me see that clip. Yo! Cage. Cage. I never, um, hope they die when they're playing in softcore, though. I don't know about you. I only hope they die when they're playing in hardcore. Uh, thanks, Vomit, and your beats, my soul, and cat milk. These guys respawn here? That's cheap. Ah, excuse me. Don't bite me! Didn't I fucking open this? Didn't I just open these, or am I tripping? Oh, dude. Can I make it through here? Yes! What the fuck is going on, man? Didn't I just unlock these fucking doors? Why are they all locked? These naked guys end so many runs? Oh, because they respawn, people don't kill them, huh? Only the doors that were electronically locked. Which ones were those? I haven't been reading. I've just been listening to the sound that it makes. Uh, <laughs> Thank thanks, you. Picnic and Vomit. Which ones are those? This one? Yeah, nice. Oh, man. What? No! No, 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 no. Don't do that. Two bites? Three for one? That was cool, but man, I need to heal. Three for one was pretty... Oh, what is this? Vax lol, dude? Don't mess with me. These naked guys end so many runs. Maybe it's because they have, like, a longer... Damn! Ooh la la! I don't remember that! Ooh la la! Passcode output machine. What do you mean, if I had a mode disk? I got three fucking mode disks. Huh? Huh? What? What the fuck is going on here? So you use the three modisks at three different locations? I guess you were supposed to. That makes sense. I can't remember. Hey, is that an item I could pick up? No. Fiction books. 
Uh, anything on this shelf? Nothing special. Uh, do you think we should kill this motherfucker who's trying to talk to me? What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to you. He's got a little green name. Yeah? Hey, let's let him say one more thing. Hey, what are your last words in here? Let's see if he's new first. I'll look at you. 24 messages, two timeouts. Let's see what else you have to say in here. Um... Well, what do you think, bud? You're not dead yet. You have one last chance. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, there you are. You got anything to say, man? Any last words? <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to the chat, you know? They're your compatriots. Hey, what do you guys think? He's eating sorry cream. You still want him dead? Let him live? I tell you what, someone's gotta go, so... Which one of you guys is gonna volunteer for him? Damn, you got a bunch of people yeah, jumping you. in front of bullets for you, man. That's pretty impressive. All right, I'll let all of you live then. Uh, but only if you shut up. Uh, thanks, Garza from Tekken and Picnic Purin. Uh, yeah, I don't like stupid fucking comments like that. Not a big fan. It's funny how I think that the thing that really gets people, like, breaks their fucking ankles in here is for a stream that fucks around as much as this one the rules in here which are unwritten rules are pretty strict don't you think i think that's what fucks with everyone in here like they think oh man this chat room is all about talking shit i talk a lot of shit myself this must be anything goes but they don't realize that things are really strict in here you know <laughs> they get Thank swerved you. on I hope I don't die. I gotta go up the stairs. I don't think they're that strict. They're just a little bit, like I said, unconventional for a channel that fucks around so much. But really, I guess I don't fuck around that much. There's a box over here. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Billy Hoyle. Thanks, man. Thanks for the five gifted subs. I have three Mo Discs and I don't know where they go, but I have to heal. That's essential. Do I have another one? Yes. I'm gonna need both of those. I mean, unless there's a red, you guys are going to have to tell me where to go, man. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I unlocked one of the modus. That's all I know. Where the fuck are you supposed to go then? Uh, I'm mildly concerned. And mildly aroused. I got bit so many times by those naked zombies. They end a lot of runs from what I hear. Oh, it's break time? Almost. Not quite. Thanks, Kairosin and Garza and everyone. So, it's definitely not there. It's got to be downstairs. Unless there's another Modisk spot somewhere around here. I thought this was one. But I guess it's not. Maybe in the remake? Oh! Maybe I unlocked this door. Maybe this door was one of the electronically locked doors. It was! Alright, good shit. I got it figured out. It's the first time playthrough. Why not? What did that say? Intercom? I thought this was the Modisk machine. Dental plan. Now what the hell is this? There's a panel? Will you open it? I don't remember any of this. I'm having fun. <laughs> cool. A 
projector. Lab key. I think that opens the door by all the naked guys. Man, those naked guys are actually a big problem, huh? Because they keep respawning. But where do I put the other mode disc? And also, you know, I don't have that many heals. That's kind of... You know what? <laughs> hey, how do I use this projector? Is there a light switch on the wall or something? Uh, thanks, Boom KO. Seem like I'm hella good spirits today. Yeah, I mean, I usually am. Uh, chat room sometimes gets annoying and I have to yell, but that doesn't really affect my spirits per se. In fact, uh, most of the time, yelling at the chat makes me feel really good. It's like a stress relief. Hmm. Hey, where's the zombies? I thought. Haha. Uh -huh. Coming? Oh no! Through! Oh no! That's oh no! Fucking thing sucks. Oh no! Oh god! Don't bite me now! Fucking shit! I just smoked a whole blunt. Wasted all that shit. Now I'm yellow fine. These naked zombies end a lot of runs. Naked guys are horny. Dude, I am kind of fucked. But this guy's not naked. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't there another item room in here or something? Uh, thanks, fastest corn. Nice. Oh, I need one of these. Damn, why are they being so stingy on the heels? They mean business. I'm not gonna save. Savings for bitches. No offense. I'm gonna replace the shotgun with the magnum. And I'm gonna smoke this green herb. Yeah, I got a lot of um, magnum rounds actually, so. I'm gonna take all the magnum rounds I got. And I'm gonna take the magnum. I have one green herb, I have one blue and green mixed spliff. Ah, excuse me. Uh, so I'll save those for when I need them. Break time, cuh. Damn, perfect timing. Thanks, fastest corn. Okay, so I got my magnum. I got 24 of these, which is more than enough. As long as you don't fuck up. And two mows. I don't know where to go after this, but I'll figure it out when I get back. Uh, this is board play legless. You think we should kill this fucking guy too? The last guy got really lucky. Hey, you could get killed saying shit like that. I'm pulling you over. Pull over to the right, please, and let me see your driver's license and registration. Uh, 238 messages. Zero timeout, zero bans. That's tempting. You are now currently timed out, but I'm going to assess your sentence and adjust it based on how obnoxious you have been in the past. Let's see. Mm. I'm scrolling up. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. I'll let you live. You got lucky. I was really trying to be strict, but I didn't see anything that broke the rules other than that. Uh, so you can live. It's your, it's your lucky day. And it's mine too. It's both of our lucky day. Um, anyone know what PoE league starter he's going for? He doesn't want to break the rules. I like it when people do that. Like people ask the rest of the chat room instead of tagging and asking me. I could tell you're a seasoned veteran. Impressive. Someone banned that guy. Uh, I am on the fence between uh, Righteous Fire Juggernaut, um, um, Saboteur Poison, 
uh, Seismic Trap, which I really don't think I'll do because I hate it. And uh, Venom Gyre, potentially, but only because everyone's talking it up so much. But I think it'll suck on pad. Um, and uh, there's a couple others, actually, like... Um, Poison Trap is Sleeping Face, I know, but I want to get a Mage Blood ASAP. And that's how you do it. But am I going to sacrifice fun for that? I think RF would be more fun. Venom Gyre is fun, but I don't know if I can do it on pad. It's going to suck. You have to hit Withering Step and all this other shit. Mm, I don't know. I'll, I'm still <laughs> thinking you. about it. The good news is I have like uh five more days after the pc league starts to decide so i'll be able to kind of observe everyone else and see where everyone fucked up and then make my decision uh they released the list of maps t16 toxic sewer that's tight that's good for rf uh, but i still would probably farm the apothecary stages that's like to me it's better because you could always get the apothecary uh, thanks, Andre and Irene Inferno. <coughs> anyway, they removed waste pools. Mm, I'm gonna get up and take a break. I'll be back. We could continue all this uh, this yippity yapping when that happens. Just a sec. Hold on. What do I do? Mute this and give you something to dance to. Of course. Poof. Break was a little too good. Uh, hey, thanks, Flopper and Andre. Thanks, bros. I hope I don't die. Where's the sound? Beautiful piano. Don't forget to drink water. <laughs> I gotta drink more water. Thank you. Thanks, Newt. Thanks very much. I should do like a... Like a stream quota. Like, you have to drink two bottles or some shit. One every two hours minimum. <coughs> mm, this way. I have a Brita, but I use plastic water bottles on stream because I don't want you guys to think I'm a bitch. But I use a Brita too. I use both. Oh, damn, you didn't have to shoot that guy. Oh, no. Power panel. Uh, yes. I don't know anything about these guys in this. Oh, no. What the fuck? Is this a door? This is not a door. It's just a dead end. Okay, this is a door. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, mo disc. What do you mean if, dude? You have one. Okay, that's two. I don't know where the third one is, and I would really not like to die. Oh, fuck. Still fine. Oh no. Could you? Oh, nice. Dude, there's a lot of these fucking guys. Ah! What the fuck is this? Uh, I hope I'm still fine. Uh-oh. Yellow. I didn't bring any heals. Our connection switch to the elevators are not fully connected yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything here? That shit got intense all of a sudden. <laughs> what? You. Triggering system activator? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. Mm. He's Badman. 
quite big. Badman? That's pistol. Ah! Oh, come on! I wasn't even near the fucking guy, dude! Oh my god. Other way! Is this the door? Hey, where's the other Mo, dude? The other Mo machine. Oh my god. It's probably over here, huh? Oh god. Don't do it! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, I don't have that many heals. So it's not exactly a fucking celebration. I have this mixed herb and I have one green and that's it, dude. That's <laughs> it. You. For the rest of the fucking game. I'm using both. Should I? I don't know. Uh, I don't know where the other Mo is, either. Do you? Ink ribbon. I don't use ink ribbons to prevent death. I only use them to eat dinner. There's a switch. Will you push it? I think going here... I fucked up, right? Oh, shit. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you that ass. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. Does this mean that I missed my opportunity to do the Mo discs? Because I only did two. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. What? I would never work for a company like Umbrella. As Mr. my subordinate. You were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars. Now you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my star's team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? <laughs> yeah, like this. Oh, Rebecca! Why did he shoot her? If you do, I'll kill you, Chris. I have something to show you. Now. Walk. Thought she'd never leave. Now we could kiss. I don't. I don't think I've seen this. Oh my god. <laughs> Iconic! Thank you. Nutsack. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! <laughs> 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 Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Wester, you're pitiful. <laughs> this is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? Scrub. You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Hey. 
His mouth? Look at his mouth. <laughs> Why is his mouth doing that? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Thank you. Go to hell. Go to hell. I'll join you too. What? Don't come this way. No. <laughs> Dude, this game is amazing. You can't kill me. Can't kill me. Don't kill me. Chris. He will kill me, right? In one hit, I think. If he hits me. Nice cooch. Is there any stuff in this room in this room? Miserable death. That was tight. Don't come this way. Uh, thanks, shooter. Oh, and he's like, S -s stop. <laughs> I know. I don't even know if I've seen that. Fucking uh, Chris laughing at him. That was awesome. Unlock the door. Which door? You may still have the opportunity to do it. To do the Mo Discs. I don't know. I'm concerned about dying. This definitely feels like a personal best. I'm feeling pretty damn great. Uh oh. What? Wow. Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is ha! pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Wait a minute. This is cool. me Chris what Rebecca I saw a research file in this lab it said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here we should blow this place up <laughs> damn we are already into it over our heads Rebecca can you do it yes sir I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb okay now we have a chance to escape See you outside the house. <laughs> Thank you. Weird. Okay. That's very weird. Um I guess I still could do the third modisc. I have no idea where it is. It's I mean, it's in my pocket. I have this heel. I got these bullets. Uh, that's kind of weird. I feel pretty like I don't know where the fuck I'm going, but that's kind of the way it always is, so. No problem, what's this? Nah, I don't need that. I could use some health. <laughs> Thank you. The gas room? The gas room. That's where I died last time. Um, the room after you exit the save room. This one. This room. Um, thanks, Jonesy and Ekra and Shooter. Thanks for the new Prime. Yeah, this is a deadly room. Uh, thanks, Faded, Milo, Konichi, what's up? And Adrogar, thanks, Tolga, that dude. 
And probably that's everybody, but you know the drill. My bad if I missed you. Thanks. Uh, red herb. Ooh. What do you know? Red herb. And I can make a three-way <laughs> spliff with Thank this you. blue and green, can't I? Turns into a swag. Triple. Uh. Ooh. I died in here last time. I don't know how to do this puzzle. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now and thinking, how the fuck do you do this puzzle? Okay, you gotta move the wood things to block the vents. But since the angle's kind of funky, you can't quite like tell it's covered until you turn that shit on. You die if that happens, right? Oh God, don't do... Um, I think the door's locked. Is the door locked? <laughs> Thank you. You can run out. <sighs> and it's off the next time. I used it, I'm fine. I didn't realize that when you walk on the button, it triggers it. I thought you have to push the button. All right, don't walk on the button. So that's part of the puzzle then. Man, that pissed me off. Um. Well, what the <laughs> fuck then? All right, the new strategy, new strategy. Don't step on that stupid button. Move this all the way over here. Okay, then move this over here. Okay, but not all the way over there. Now squeeze through and then move this one smidge that way. Then cover this. Okay. Then move this back over here. No, I changed my mind. Don't do that. New plan. Move this over here. All the way. And then move it over here. <laughs> I think. And then... That's when you squeeze over here. Damn! I didn't think that would work. Okay, I think this is gonna work. It is. Right? Yeah, no! Come on! What? Why not? <coughs> okay, it didn't work. Maybe from this side? Yes! Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh. 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 Man, fuck. All right. This could work. Come on, you little bitch. Push this fucking thing, you scrub! All right, well, what about if you push this this way? Perfect. Damn, he's good. Okay. Now all I need to do, move this that way. And push it this way. All the way over here. Go around. Push it here. I got this. And when it pushes the button... 
No gas. Very nice. Air shaft. <coughs> Is this room not safe? I'll take it. There's got to be more. Modisk machine. Sweet. So, I wonder if you have to do the modisks to beat the game in this game. Seems to be a morgue. There's gonna be naked guys out here, right? Oh, you don't have to do the mo discs. So I'm getting the best ending? Is this automatic? What? What is that? Purple guy? Out of the way, Pendejo. Purple guys? I don't even think I've ever seen that. <laughs> what the you. hell? This is the door I unlocked with the... Okay. Do I save Jill? That would be pretty sweet. I gotta stay sharp, dude. Any enemy could just turn around and kill me. At this point, I have no heals. That's it. No more heals. Completely used everything. Jill! Jill! Are you there? Chris? Damn, two chicks at the same time? Jill, you're all right. Uh, yes. Wesker is here. He's... Fuck Wesker. He's oh, dead. I know. Anyway, let's get out Anyway. Forget Wesker. Damn, teapot. <laughs> Thank you. I'll lead the way. We're going to the elevator now, right? Excuse me. Let's that ass, going. dude. Poking that shit out. Damn, Rebecca Angel. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm going to the elevator now. Assuming these guys don't hit me, I think the only way I could die is tyrant at the very end he could kill you i mean i have a lot of bullets this is not the right way and they ho fuck where is the right way this is the right way i think upstairs upstairs you're wrong, it's not upstairs, it's right here. I think. Yeah, where did she go? The only reason I knew it was there is because of Remake. But Remake is different. Man, shit's a little too intense. I feel like I could die still. I'll be really pissed <laughs> if I die. This is not the right way! Hey, someone shoot the guy who was right! Hey, where is that shit? It... Upstairs? What's this? Nothing? I don't know where to go. Jill disappeared, so I must have gone the wrong way. How could it be upstairs? It can't be upstairs. But it can't be this way either. So it must be upstairs. You think it's upstairs?
Thanks, P Puka. Ho! Cola. Out of the way, bitch. Okay, I'm upstairs now. These stairs? <coughs> okay, there's new dudes here, so that could mean I'm going the right way. Oh, no. Thank God. There's no auto-aim in this. This is probably the right way due to the new enemies here. Yes! Get going. That ass. I don't have any heal. We're going up here? There's a ladder, will you climb it, I guess? I totally feel like this is my first time playing this. Or at least getting here. Oh! It's this way! Okay. Where's, uh, Rebecca? Ah, excuse me. Careful. And the sign. Oh yeah, give me that. Damn, that's weird. That's how it is in the remake too. Why would they put? Why is this even here? Like, they put this final puzzle where you need to put the battery, which is on the floor, right in front of the thing, in the thing. And they they brought that back in the remake. Why would they do that? Really weird. Inventory space for the rocket launcher. Hey, you're pretty smart. It forces you to have inventory space for the rocket launcher. Let me take care of You're right. Chris, That's pretty smart. Right it's still okay. really weird. But it works. I bet they could have done that in another way. I like that it's so subtle. That's pretty cool. The elevator gonna explode? This is it. Good ending, Chris. As long as I don't die. What's this? Oh yeah, the flare. Clock's ticking. So you fire that shit off, and then you get interrupted, right? Dude, if I die, I'm gonna be so pissed. Wait a minute. There is no tyrant? Are you gonna move so you can fucking land? Gonna land on top of you, you dumbass. Slow. He doesn't have a dash or anything, huh? I think I got this. Let me just ah! Oh my god, he has a dash! Oh no. No! Oh my god, he has a dash. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit.
Fuck. Better try again. I can't believe that. Fuck. I missed a couple of times too. Darn. I don't save. I mean, you know, I don't like. When I die, I restart. Damn. Damn. That was close. The combos are what did it, man. The combos are what did it. Shit. Damn. I was doing so well. I had full health, but no heals. One heal would have been nice. The combos, man. Damn. Yeah, that was not bad. That's definitely the furthest I've gotten. That's the furthest you can get without winning. Man. Damn. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, well. Drink some water. It would have been better if I didn't take that extra damage at the end to those naked zombies. If I hadn't taken that damage to those naked zombies, I would have been able to have just a little bit more health and that would have been enough. I feel like I was one shot away from killing him too. Fucked up. Oh well. <coughs> and the gas. Unnecessarily stepped on that gas that took that extra damage. <coughs> Fuck. Oh well, thanks Tito, thanks Puka Cola, and Twisted Jericho, thanks Low Effort Attempt, and hey, all right, man. Damn, thanks Halo Mafiano, hundred bucks. Did you like send that before I died? Hey, no refunds. That was gonna be the celebration donation. Uh, anyway, it's still just as good. I'll get it next time. God, that was close. That was close. No death run. Thanks. Uh, uh, Halo Mafiano, thanks for the hundo, man. It's very nice of you. Fuck. Uh, and thanks again, and thanks. Shooter999, that's a new guy. Yulioth, sternly worded letter. Big thanks, Shinoslav. Appreciate it very much. Fuck. Um, and Jonesy and Ekra. And, and Milo fix and thanks faded damn it uh damn it that stunk what are you guys eating <laughs> thank you thanks vexy doll and zap cold pork pizza <laughs> thank you bye now darn I mean, what are you doing my I friend? could already uh, taste that Hey, thanks, Shooter McGavin. Appreciate it. Thanks for the dollary dues. Thanks, Bino and Vexy Doll. Yeah, darn. I could taste it. Ugh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank Thai you. chicken. Hey, thanks, Bushido. Appreciate that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I don't have any food, so I'm going to order something. Uh, anyway, yeah, my bad about the water bottles. I'm not trying to offend you. Like I said, I have a Brita. I use the Brita, too. I do both. Um, I, I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to look like a bitch on stream. So, I still use bottles. You can do it however you want. Uh, Indian food? I did have that the other day, but I might. <clears throat> Damn. What do you guys want to play now? I was planning on playing poker. You guys want to do some poker? In the rear? Carl won't work because if I plug in my head crumbs, it'll fuck everything up. I'd have to restart the stream, and I'm not going to do that. So... Poker isn't an option. Uh, the options realistically are nothing or, man, nothing's looking pretty good actually, now that I mentioned it.
Uh, you know what I mean? What are you guys playing? I'm hype about fucking Thursday and Friday, dude. Thursday and Friday are getting me going. Take a break. Yeah, I'll take a little breather and see how I feel. Not a stretch break, though. Uh, I do want to kind of turn off these horny sounds. I think I did. Uh, thanks, psych. Yeah, Thursday and Friday are going to be super exciting. Warhammer. Dude, so many people mention that now. Um, there's no way you guys know what you're talking about. But maybe you do. Maybe that shit's cool. Uh, league starters. I feel like I'm like six, 65 or 70% sure I'll go RF Jug. That shit just feels guaranteed. Like you won't run into any problems. And then if I want to try a Vol Venom Gyre after that, I will. RF Inquisitor is good, but Inquisitor got nerfed a little bit. Uh, RF Jug is guaranteed. Like you could just do it and it'll work. <laughs> Thanks, Crap Thank Monkey you. number 90. Thanks. Thanks again, Psych and Shooter McGavin. And big thanks again, Halo Mafiano. Man, I can't believe I died. I was about to win. I didn't know he would run. I should have shot him right at the start of the fight, but I ran around and let him run. But that attack didn't hit me. What's leveling RF like? The last time I did it, I... Uh, it's easier for Juggernaut, actually, than it is Inquisitor, because you don't need Pious Path. You just need your first Ascendancy, and then you could use RF. It's pretty easy. You don't even need the second lab. You don't need a second lab. You just need the first one, I think. Uh, check out Signalis. I've checked it out. I think it looks like trash. Are you one of the devs? A lot of people recommended that game to me, and every time they do, I feel disappointed. Uh, but it's not a big deal. It's super sick, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me Google it. It's possible that I'm wrong, and I'm thinking of something different. Signalis. Uh, wow, 10 out of 10 rating? <laughs> Thank this you. is the game I watch, dude. This game stinks. I mean, okay, let me put it this way. It's very possible that this game is tight. Very possible. But watching it makes me not want to play it. Let's put it that way. It's very possible that it's sick. But watching that shit makes me not want to play it. That I was going to play it. And I watched it and I was like, wow, this game sucks. I'm just telling you like it is. It's bad for streams? Yeah, probably that's the case. It's just boring as fuck. I remember the soundtrack being really boring too. But that doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, Path of Exile is terrible for streaming. And it's amazing. I love that game. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Did you not get sick? That's awesome. I heard that... Um, What's his name got sick? Pesteban. I've tried Darkwood. Is that the top down scary game? I liked it. Oh, nice. Damn. Impressive. I haven't gotten COVID yet either. I liked Darkwood. It was a fun game. Pretty cool. Man, too bad today isn't Jeff Keighley's birthday. What am I supposed to do for two days waiting for this clown? Uh, thanks, Everin. And Otherworld. You have COVID now. It's awful. You'll get better soon. Just man up. You got this. Did he get shot? At, uh... Do I like you? Oh, that's a different guy. No, I don't like you. <laughs> Thank you. Of course I don't like you. 
In fact, I'm thinking about banning you. I'm looking at you right now. I'm pulling you over and looking at your registration. Mm, let's see. Nah, I'll let you live. You just seem like an idiot. But at this point, <clears throat> if I see you again, I'll remember you. And I'll remember that I let you live this time. Just letting you know. Hella sweaty. I don't know, man. Even if that shit's not gonna kill me. You know, people say, like, okay, it won't kill you, right? But there's a lot of stuff prior to reaching death that sucks. It doesn't have to be death for me to be like, oh, in that case, you know, it could be really, really, really shitty and I won't want it. It doesn't have to be like life or death for me to be like, okay, then it's okay. You know, I'm not even trying to get anywhere fucking near death, dude. I'm trying to stay a billion miles away from death. You know, shit sucks. <laughs> hey, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing great. Feeling pretty good. I mean, I just dropped a flawless no death run at the last boss. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. <coughs> Thank you. Not a bad personal best. If you watch Jeff Keighley's birthday on stream, you could win a Steam Deck. Shut up, bitch. Uh, thanks, D-Dub, triple underscore. Thanks for the resub. Uh, I wish I didn't read all that stupid shit. Uh, that reminds me. Oh, my God, chat room, dude. I don't know if any of you geniuses are here. But a while ago, I asked for your advice on how to fix my Path of Exile on my PlayStations. I told you the problem. This PlayStation ha didn't have an issue. The other PlayStation had this issue where when I leave a map and come back, the fog of war has returned. And you fucking geniuses said, uninstall the game and reinstall it. And it worked. I was so happy, dude. I really was. I was like this. I didn't even move the PlayStations. That was my second plan B. Switch PlayStations as a test. It worked. I've never played a game where there's a bug in the game. And to fix the bug, you have to uninstall the game and reinstall it. I've never played a game like that. So I didn't come up with that. The chat did. And holy moly, it worked. And I was so happy. I really was. It was actually in the middle of the night the other day because I couldn't sleep at like 4 a.m. And I was pissed about that. I never have that problem. I never have a can't sleep. But that day I did. And it made me think about how people have this problem all the time. How the fuck do you guys function with that shit? Being pissed every night? That shit pissed me off. I was actively irritated with the fact that I couldn't sleep at 4 a.m. So I woke up and I was like, well, what the fuck are you going to do then? And that I remembered at that moment, oh, yeah, these morons said uninstall and reinstall. You could try that. And I did, and it worked. And you know what else? After that, I went to bed and went right back to sleep. It was really cool. That was, I forgot about that. It was kind of like a meant-to-be feeling. Like, I was meant to wake up and at this moment remember the advice from the chat. And it worked. It was tight, dude. Anyway, I solved that problem. And I feel pretty fucking good about that. Shit was bugging me. I heard Mills Lane died. That's too bad. That guy was cool. Let's get it on, old guy. Mm. But I mean, he's really old, so that's cool. It's not that sad. I mean, the guy's a legend. Let me get there, man. Let me get to age 95, dude. 95? That's pretty good. Dude, even 85 is pretty good. Shit, man, let me get to 80. I'll, I could do that. I'll live with that. 80 is good, too. I think life expectancy for a dude is like 70 or 65 or some shit. That's a good PB. <laughs> Only 20 years to go. Someone shoot that guy. Um, What the fuck am I going to play? Cards? Cards? 
Lucky BKH run. Oh, you mean Dark Souls 1? I, uh, I technically did finish it because I stopped playing it when it starts to suck. Um, I did all the fun stuff. I'm finished with it. Oh, except for the DLC, I guess. I didn't finish that. Uh, I flushed Dark Souls 2 this time. That game, I don't know. I, this time, I, this last time I played it, I thought it really sucked. And I'm usually not that big of a hater of Dark Souls 2. But this last time I played it, I thought it was boring as hell. And looked like it, like shit. But, you know. To each their own. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Uh, thanks, Naked Indian Chief. Thanks. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't stomach it this time. It's kind of like Balut. I'm sure there are some places on Earth where... Anytime a kid hears the balut man, the balut truck coming around the corner with the music playing, they get excited. Let me get one of those. The balut truck. Did any of you guys try the Mexican street corn um, Cheetos? That's a new flavor. Yeah, it's a new flavor they came out with. Mexican Elote Street Corn Cheetos. They're all right. They're all right. Not as good as Flamin' Hot Triple X. They're all right. Now, I don't think they're going to be spicy. I think they're going to be like corn and queso flavored. And maybe a little lime is my guess. I like Triple X. That's my favorite of the Cheetos. But my favorite Flaming Hot is Doritos. Those are too good. Especially if you dip them in something like uh, either like Greek yogurt or like hummus or my famous, world famous dip. Secret ingredient. You're getting my mouth lubed up. Flaming Hot Barbecue Ruffles. I tried those. I think they're okay, but I prefer regular. Flaming Hot regular, not barbecue. I think the barbecue takes away from the heat. And I prefer heat. But they're pretty good. Tzatziki's good too. <clears throat> for dip, tzatziki is great. Especially for really hot chips. Heat over barbecue? Only in that case. In Honestly, I'm not even a fan of barbecue flavored chips. I love barbecue. But barbecue flavored chips, to me, have never been that good. I would prefer spicy chips, you know? I mean, it really is not even, it has very little to do with barbecue. It doesn't even taste like barbecue to me. Yeah, they never hit. This guy's right. They just never hit, dude. Speaking of hit, you guys want to play some cards? Might as well. Got a couple of games.